Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Sorry, I'm a bit bacon, oh, lettuce and tomato-y, but it's amazing. Oh, okay. you're so I'm, muscly. I, I'm garlicky, so there we go. That's We're fine. great team today. Beef and, uh, not beef, I had uh, <laughs> <laughs> beef, I didn't have beef. Bacon, I meant, lettuce, tomato and garlic. That's how the show's going to go today. Well, if you don't know Nadia, oh, well, I'm Jenny Cleary, this is wonderful Nadia. If you don't know what Nadia can do, just take a look. Just take a look at what Nadia can do. Of course, if you follow Nadia on Instagram, you will already know how fabulous she is um, and uh, that she could definitely beat me in a fight. Now, have a look, because today we are talking... We're not doing that. We're not... We could have an arm wrestle, just to see how far I've got to go in my training, because... My kids always want to do an arm wrestle. They break me all the time. I do they? Yeah. Well, basically, if you have an arm wrestle with me, it, it would be like arm wrestling a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Nadia's dream, which I love because it's half term at the moment in a lot of places. For my kids, it is, uh, or my child, I've only got one in school now. Um, this bright, fabulous, fresh look is so on trend and it's so right for festivals and parties. It's brilliant. Oh, have a look at the bracelet as well. Pumpkin time anyway. So for it is pumpkin like time. Definitely. So we've got a bracelet. We've got lots to show you later on. We're going to have a quick look around everything. We can have just have a little swizzeroo around it all. Um, have a look at the bright. So it doesn't have to be about Halloween, even though it is the season. Um, whether you believe in that kind of thing or not, um, it is the, it is that Halloween. The, the earrings, the green earrings, look like the hungry caterpillar, which I love. I love that book. 
And also now it's on the stage, isn't it? Uh, so Nadia is going to be giving us a huge insight on how to create these gorgeous pieces a little bit later on, about an hour's time. For the first hour of the show, we're going to be giving you some fast-paced, fabulous deals. Um, we've got the busts, the busts coming up in black or white, up to you. So we've got the busts coming up later on in about... At about half an hour. These are brilliant. They're man. going under like £10. They're a great deal, but this is a last in stock deal. Great, uh, great for you to have in your stash, even just to photograph things on. Um, but let's get started. I know that we can't stop looking at those Labradorites, but let's start with some Beryl. I do love a bit of Beryl. And if you're looking for something that's soft and pretty and delicate and feminine, then this one could absolutely be for you. We have got for you. A strand of large beryl pebbles. They're calling these irregular tumbles. They, they almost remind me of sea glass, where you get that incredible tumble, they do. that lovely colour. Yeah, just because they really are so bright and wonderful, aren't they? Mm. It's just what you pick up off the beach. Really like the shape as well, so. We know we've got aquamarines in here. Beautiful. We've got some gorgeous morganites in here. We've got some lovely colours running through this strand. Um, you've got such an incredible array actually do you know what you've got amethyst in there you've got lemon quartz and rose quartz in there as well i picked this up and thought it was all beryl but That's actually it's multi-gem well. did you right. and then yeah. i looked at it and thought well hang on what's that then this is this is multi-gem see i thought that was aquamarine that does look like an aquamarine it, it could does, be yeah. one so you've got that you've got that uh, variety and when you've got variety like this it's a great thing to have in your stash because you've got lots of things you can choose from you do i mean if you wanted to i always say tend to say with these kind of strands that you can separate them out and make baby jewelry for it you know like a yeah. reve revealing parties uh -huh. for instance you have your pinks yes, there yes you could do the gender yeah, reveal parties that, yeah. um, that's a thing now isn't it oh it definitely is yeah i'm too late for that me too. Yeah. It was a pretty boring one we had ours. It's like, is it a girl or a boy? I think it's a girl. Um, <laughs> 9.99, under £10 for this one. So an exceptional deal for you. DEK Y65. You've got a huge carrot weight. These could go in feeding bracelets. These could go at the tops yeah. of tassels. These could go with macrame around them. These could really work their way into many, many different styles of jewellery, couldn't they? Oh, definitely could, yeah. I really like to use these because they're so pretty. You'd really want to show them off. So mm -hmm. I would suggest maybe pearl knot them with a bit of spacing oh, in between. Oh, great idea. And keep them all together. Yeah, and also because they are, the especially the uh, the greenish ones, they have a little bit of a, um, a clear... Um, like a glow. A glow to them, so you could actually use coloured cords as well to add an extra touch of colour in there, so they're gorgeous. Oh yeah, because you've got yeah. that clarity in there. Well, it looks like those might just have sold themselves oh, well. out. Well done to you. Number two has nout in it, but I've got some little black hearts in three. Are these oh, smoky these are quartz? quartz? What are they? Oh, they're agate. Oh, wow. See, these are. have got clarity to them. I wouldn't they necessarily do. say they're all black. Some of these look deep smoky. They're gorgeous. They are really, really unusual. They look perfect with pearls, I think, as little spaces in between. Definitely. What an added touch, isn't it? Great for um, charms also. Yeah. Oh, you these. know what they would be great for? When you're working and you're finishing off your jewellery, you could use these as little, uh, a little finishing touch. Oh, at, like an accent bead. Like an accent, you know, at the end of a chain. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, something like that. Great. So like your trademark could be, so exactly. if you get three or four of these, yeah. you've got every piece that you you finish. That's a great idea. Yeah. Has that identity tag on, that on is, it. That is beautiful, and they're gorgeous. They're really, really nice and subtle and small as well, so that would work really well for that sort of thing. There's so many different things you could do with a strand like this. Great if you want to put them on chain for earrings and have it chandelier style. Great if these are charms. Brilliant opportunity for everybody in um, in so many different ways. LRKY82. We don't have very many of these. And they're just 8 95 We only have single figures of these, do we? Is that what is that? Oh no, we've got we've got just over twenty. But that's not enough because I think we're going to see lots of multi buyers for this one. Twenty five oh, carats. They are, aren't yeah, they? They're pretty. They really are. As soon Unusual. as I saw that, and there's something different for our stash as well, aren't they? Well, that's it. It's not so every day that you find tiny little perfect carved hearts like that. So definitely something to add to your stash. We see a lot more stars than we see heart, um, hearts, don't we, like this? Yeah, no, there are. There's lots of stars going around. And as always, you know, it's a timeless um, addition to mm. your jewellery. You can always add a star or a heart or yeah. um, something that likes two pieces. It's always popular. 
It's just so nice to be able to identify with, isn't it? Eight pounds and 95 pence, lots of you coming in for this. And I, do you know what? I'm glad you have because I love those. Continuing on, oh, we're fast. We're gonna be out of breath. You're not, because you're well fit. Now, <laughs> working out every day. Have you worked out today? Not yet, no. It'll be and after. you will later? Yes. Is there a gym at your hotel then? Actually, there is. No, in town, so I'll go there later. If, if I have the energy. You'll have the energy. You will. You'll find it. Oh, these are crap. Aren't they fabulous for Christmas? Oh, I'm no, thinking no. because you've got all these incredible colours on there. If you're making angels, they'd be oh, great yes. for that. With their little, they could be the heads of the angels, then choose a long drop body. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, even if you have, you know, if you have those little glass bells, you could use those yes. as a drop inside them. That yes. would look fabulous. Yes, those would look great because yeah. you can see straight through yeah. them, yeah. as long as they're polished. Oh, JKG P50, they're gorgeous. They're such a, and you've got like this mystic coating on them. So I think if you had them next to Christmas lights, you'd get even more effect from them. They, do, they really do give me that, the Christmas feels, don't they? Me too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I you've got the wait. crackling there. I'm very excited for cream boat. So these are slightly graduated, 10 by 8 to 18 by 11 millimetres, and they're on a 38 centimetre strand. They're going down to just £6.95 for you. Wow. I'm going to give them a little count. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's not many pennies, is it? For, for a lot of gemstones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 31, 2, 3, 4, 34. 34 for 6 90. 21 pence each. Did you nearly do that maths then? No. <laughs> you did? You went 20? I would never have been able to do it that quick. Uh, there's a couple of ways that you can shop with us here at Jewelry Maker. You can get on the phone lines 0800 644 You can get online jewelrymaker.com and you can actually um, communicate with us that way live on the shows or you can tap the app. If you'd like to communicate with us in another way, you can try telepathy, but I'm not sure whether it'll get through the doors or you could try sending us a text 60777. Start your message with the word JM Studio. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Which what number, darling? Now, I think we all love a little bit of lapis lazuli, don't we? We do, and especially when they are in that shape. And the oh, quality. This oh, is such a great quality strand. They are. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, almost like a labradorite. It is. The, um, the kind of sheen you get in those. That's beautiful. You've got these incredible little lapis stars inside, which, of course, is... is um, is called by, caused by the pyrite. Um, oh, and we always gosh. touch on the fact that these are usually mined in Af Afghanistan, and this particular strand comes from Afghanistan, and for reasons of which most of us are aware, um, it, it can't be easy to get things in and out of Afghanistan at the moment or for the last number of years. Now, ordinarily, we know that it takes about 10 to 15 years for a gemstone to come from mine to place where mm. it ends up. Mm. So we're thinking maybe there's going to be a little drought of, of lapis lazuli. Maybe there's going to be. And that would be hitting us any moment now, then, if that's the case. So it always it always mesmerizes me that we give such great prices for this gemstone. Because mm. of its location, it's difficult to get. You can only get to the mine by horseback as well. But then oh, that's, that's not interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. And so you can only I bring back what the horse can, can take as well. Wow, that's incredible. Can you just imagine the actual effort that must be going into mining these particular gemstones? Incredible. And the danger that's involved mm. because of the current climate out there. Um, when you've got something that's this beautiful, and, and this is a gemstone that used to be ground down just as uh, turquoise did and used in makeup and paints, and it's still used in paintings today. That true lapis blue, you're only ever going to get that from mm. lapis lazuli. And uh, this is that incredible gemstone, lapis lazuli. And you don't get many opaque blue gemstones like that either, so... Such a strong mm, colour, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. And I like the fact that it's got, uh, it's a really quite a sizable piece, each and every one of those. It's got a drill hole at the top. Mm -hmm. So even, let's for instance, you are a new wire worker and you really want to try and create your very first a uh, cabochon piece, this would be a perfect starting point because you have the actual safety anchor point at the top and yet you have the absolutely gorgeous um, shape and size of the gemstone to try with. So perfect strand for a beginner as well. They're gorgeous, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. Now I've got five on my strand. You're guaranteed at least four and you're guaranteed that 50 carat. So you'll get between four and five uh, on those um, dependent on the carat weight. And again, because we don't get a lot of this gemstone coming through readily at the moment for the reasons we just explained. And, and, and again, remember, I'm not trained in the, in the, not in the dark arts either, no. I'm not trained in the ways of uh, <laughs> Afghanistan. I'm just speaking from what I do loosely know. Um, now, 
Lapis lazuli. I feel like we're going to insult everything we just said. Oh dear. Because if somebody gave me some money and said, go down to that mine on a horse, it would be a lot more than eight ninety five just to go down the Eight? mine on the horse. No, 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 no. Eight ninety five. What? Do you, like it's a risky business just getting up on that saddle. W A V X twenty six fifty carats. 18 by 11 to 21 by 14 millimeters. These are gorgeous. A minimum of four pieces. I've got five on mine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Do it now. Quickly grab this. What a great strand. What an incredible amount of color. I've got some Chrysler Cola that will go very nicely. Oh, Indeed. Look at, that. look at the color tones together. These two pop. Aren't they gorgeous yeah. together? But then equally, you know, you want to put something black next to it. That's going to look fabulous too. You could go quite wintry with these. You can turn this either from classy to fun to just your everyday piece of jewelry, depending on what you put with it. You mm -hmm. know, perfect for everything. Absolutely. 8.95 WAV X26. Now we're going to keep going and we're going to continue with some rose quartz this time. <gasps> I love graduated stripes. Me too, because oh. they're so easy, aren't oh, they? No, you, just, no. you just do it straight away. Now I'm going to... Um, just to use the bus that's coming up in about 15, 17 minutes time, because I'm doing some maths. Um, have a look at it. You know, you were saying earlier about just simply pearl knotting. That'd that's be a it. great one with this yeah. strand, wouldn't it? Some really bright red core. Actually, the core that's coming up in the kit would be absolutely Fabulous. perfect for that. That's it, because it's got such a nice contrast to that. Beautiful. Look at the shape and the sizing of that. You could use different colour threads. You could use the colour... Oh, totally. Do we still have the colour change threads? You know, the one that's a real and it's loads of different colours. So that'd be cool. I have that that for ages. Be, yeah, that'd be great. In between, yeah, you could do some really nice, easy Shambhala bracelet yeah. styles with that as well. Are oh, they gorgeous? Yeah, they are, aren't they? I really love this. And I know, of course, if you believe in myths and legends, and I'm not saying they're true, it's just, you know, what each individual believes. Um, this is a gemstone of platonic love. This is a gemstone oh. that gives a friendship kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, so we'll be friendly to it. We should all have it. CZPO30 is your item code. Becky and Paul are Rose Quartz friends in there, aren't you? £6.95 is all you are paying. You've got that colour, you've got that clarity, you've got that femininity, you've got Rose Quartz, you've got that, uh, that myth and legend behind it as well. I'm a big believer. I am a believer. Join the club. Are you too? Mm, I am so I into things yeah. that come from the earth. Um, mm, but listen, we're absolutely. not saying, oh, this is that, that's that. It's not up to us to preach to anybody. Goodness, we all believe in what we want to believe in. Um, I just happen to believe in things like that. 6.95 CZ P O 30. We're going to keep going. I feel like we've we've packed a lot in the last uh, 15 minutes, and I love that. That's that's how it's going to go. Microfast. They're ideal, aren't they? Oh, I love them. These are the perfect strand. I really like to use those in my um, higher end pieces mm -hmm. uh, as a dotted accent throughout. If you use, for instance, you bear coppers with a little bit of liver sulfur through them, and these will make every Ooh. piece pop. Yeah, these are absolutely so stunning. So oxidize the, the copper. Oxidize the copper, so give it this antique look. You can achieve the same sort of look with your um, antique bronze wire that we have. Mm -hmm. If you don't have, you know, the bare coppers, and then if you use those, dotted as an accent piece, elevates every single piece with that, because they're just gorgeous. Aren't they just? Yeah. I, I think the richness of Chrysocola is just something that's outstanding. It's found very much in the regions that um, they find malachite. And you can almost see the strength of that sort of malachite green just sort of trickling through into some of these. You've got a deep, rich uh, blue running through these colors as well. It's just gorgeous. Going under £10 for Chrysocola. Chrysocola does tend to keep a higher price point. I, say, no, I haven't often found um, Chrysocola going out, especially the micro facets tend to be quite a bit more expensive because of uh -huh. all the effort that goes into them. So that's a good price for that. It's a mm. great, great price. You, as Ed, N, V59, those micro facets giving you that super sparkle. You can put these into Soutache. They're ideal to be sewing oh, yeah. into projects as well. Maybe you're doing almost like a gemstone tapestry. That'd be a great idea. You UZN V59, 20 carats of Chrysocola for that incredible price. These three mil rounds are flying out. Don't forget to give us a hello, hello, if you're watching us this afternoon. I keep getting a bit like, you know when the kids are on half term? You forget what day, what day even is it? It is Wednesday, <laughs> yes? It is actually, yeah. Already, oh. I just don't know where the time goes as well. I, I mean, just now it's Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas. <laughs> I know. I'm a cheesy grin from me. I cannot wait. I can't cannot wait. wait. I love Christmas. I love it. 
Are you going to be cooking, Nadia, for Christmas dinner? My children hope I'm not, but, you know. Who's going to cook if you don't cook? You, is your husband a good cook? No. So <laughs> the kids can do it then, yeah? No. We'll just get, take out. No, I, you I'm can't. kidding. I, I, I make... tried. It's Christmas Day. No one wants to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. I mean, they've survived the last, you know, 21 You're Christmases. You're not a bad before, cook, so are you? It's okay. I can, I can make things work, you know. You're a good, you'll be fine. <laughs> to be fair, it's just a roast dinner. Just a roast bigger. dinner? Do you realise what you are saying here? Oh, just roast a roast dinner. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> you just got to add extra trimmings in, okay? Because it's Christmas. You've got to have a starter. You okay, you that. mean I, don't, I mustn't try and burn the pasta? No, you don't Can't have not. pasta on no, Christmas we do. Day. We do, you do. <laughs> no, I'm joking, we don't have pasta. <laughs> okay, this is why you can't cook Christmas dinner. <laughs> See? I'll just cook it for you. Okay. You take it home have? with you next time. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are just ideal for finishing off pieces. You can put this at the back of a pearl bracelet, for putting in earrings, uh, for adding... Do you know what you could just do with this? You could just put chain either side. I don't know why I've gone high pitch. And it's a, this, it's a necklace straight away. This, Isn't it gorgeous? this, for me, I mean, bridal pieces as a uh -huh. drop that goes on your back. Definitely. You know, it, goes, it follows the, the path of your spine with a gorgeous, maybe one of these... Um, Amethyst that I see on the strand over there. Oh, these little like, babies. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Oh, how beautiful is that? That works, yes, on the back. <gasps> yes. Look at that. Look at that. That's a great combination, Nadia. Can you see that? Um, can you see that okay? Oh, it's beautiful. And these, these kind of pearls are just so classy when they come oh, in yeah. sterling silver like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, aren't they? And look at that chain. Gorgeous. Big fan of these. Sterling silver three gorgeous very round pearls and one tiny price of just seven pounds and 95 pence you know what to do but do it sharpest e sharpest sharpish not sharpish uh e h r because that's not a word f 72 no, make it a word <laughs> they're gorgeous we're gonna keep going because we're rolling number 10 here we have now we've Ooh. seen these a lot um, we're down to um, just 17 left of these, and once they're gone, they're gone. So a big trend in the high streets, as I'm sure you know, if you go into the high street over the summer, a little bit now as well, lots of shells mm, in the jewellery. And so. I was thinking, why is everyone wearing shells? They love them. They can't get yeah, them. And actually, I love that trends change too. Mm. And, you know, this is definitely the, a trend that's been aimed at the younger generation in, from teens upwards, depending on how trendy you like to be. Um, Do you know what? This is also a trend that has made uh, a comeback because when I was young, many, many moons ago... Me too. <laughs> you wore shells? I, yeah, I used to wear shells. Um, on my ankles and to the beach, I even had a belt with chains in them, similar yeah. to that, cowry shells, you know, little, um, but natural ones. I really like the fact that these ones have got a touch of colour to them, just mixes it up a little bit. They could be lobster claws because of that colour, couldn't mm. they? Now you get the macrame cord and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven silver coloured beads there as well. Um, there is on our Facebook page, our Sue has done. Um, a little example of how, how you actually encase these into macrame. You don't have to use them for macrame at all. Now, these are actually carry shell beads. They've just been coated in that colour. NGGP05 is your item code. These are just £5.95. pence. They could be like little mouths, couldn't they? Hello there, cherry knickers. Little lips if you look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Why did you do a dog sound? Or did I just hear that? I did not do. Don't, because when you do sound effects, I'm not sure if they have come out of me or not. I'm like, where did that sound come from? Was that me? <laughs> oh. I didn't do a dog noise. Don't. I didn't. Don't, because remember last time we had that ghost in here with us, and then I said her name, and we went up afterwards, and I wasn't. I kept calling Alison. What was it? Anne. And I was like, why do I keep calling you that? And that was the name. Of the oh, ghost. Really? really weird. Don't that freak was. me out now. Oh, no, I'm not freaked out by <laughs> no. it because she was nice. If you believe in that kind of thing, you might not believe me at all. You might just think, Jenny, you're a nutcase, love. Next up, we're going to give to you. These oh, are wow. big ones, aren't they? Look at that. Is that. Oh, you've got a little bit of yellow running through that one. 
Now, we don't have loads of these and I think they're great in home decor. Right in the middle of a great big gorgeous cushion that you've just sewn, mm. you could pop one of these. It's a decorative cushion, it would, but that would be uncomfortable, said Paul. Paul, a lot of cushions are simply for decoration, okay? You're not actually allowed to lie on them. I don't and have whatever any decorative you do, don't... cushions, but... Do you I can't have them, what have you got? When, when my bed, I arrange the cushions, and then when I get in the bed, I take the cushions just, off. See, that's why I don't do it. I get so annoyed that I have to put them back, so I don't yeah, have well, anything Yeah, well, my other half is like, <laughs> what is the point in these cushions? You take them off the bed to get in, and then we have to arrange them, and then you get cross when I arrange them wrong. And I'm just like, because it it looks nice, <laughs> completely pointless. He says, um, I know because yeah, well, he's like only me and you see this. Exactly, who sees it? Uh, Paul, Paul is going. But if he hates it, get rid of them. No, that's not how life works, Paul. <laughs> exactly. Can't give him everything. <laughs> okay. I get my way in this relationship. No, I don't. Obviously, he's a bigger diva than I am. Now. Th these are huge. These are huge, and they've got an amazing pattern running through they do, them. Yeah, I do. Yeah, what I like actually most about them is the actual shape mm -hmm. to go with the pattern because you, the shape really allows the the actual markings to be displayed so beautifully. I can see those actually as um, I don't know. In the olden days, <laughs> we used to have my gran used to have like a tablecloth, and the, on the ends she used to have like a little um, a weight. A weight, yeah. Um, you could have these on, let's say, a curtain or something like that, just yeah, to display them. You know, you're either a curtain could or a curtain table cloth. Could be a tie back. Could be, yeah. So you could have these as decorative piece in your curtains because they are just so sizable. They're really sizable. They look a little bit like dragon eggs, don't they? They do. I mean, if I was a dragon, I'd want to come out of that egg. <laughs> IHG P20. And I'm not going to get into the whole, do we think dragons were actually dinosaurs? I, uh, this is my theory. No, no, I know it's not an argument. This is just right. No, look, I think a dinosaur may have existed about six, about 700 years ago in a cave. And I think that people might have been like, what is this? It's the uh -huh. last dinosaur. Because dinosaurs could have lived up to hundreds and hundreds of years old. But they called it a dragon. Absolutely. How they else would it have come to life otherwise, the myth, you know? Yeah. So. Where did the dragon myth come from otherwise? Exactly, yeah. No, I think that was perfectly I think perfectly it's a good reasonable. explanation. Mm -hmm. I think that's reasonable as well. You, but Paul, you don't know... How long is there, have we been humans for? Longer than a million years? No, not longer. Yeah, no, you just don't know what's hiding in some caves around the world. You, you don't know. Absolutely. He's getting really angry yeah. about this, everybody. How's a solitary dinosaur supposed to have lived for that many years? I don't know. Maybe he was an egg for about 100 years, and then the Earth's, the Earth's temperature changed, and that allowed him to thrive and hatch, and suddenly he's like, beep, beep, I'm on my own. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know all the answers, Paul. Oh no, now, now we're getting questions from behind. How old is this dinosaur? No, it's not a dinosaur anymore, it's a dragon now because the human race has existed and exactly. they're saying, oh, dragon, because that's how we must have spoken years ago. But that's what I'm saying. It's the, they're saying a dragon and a dinosaur is different, but that's where I think the original dragon idea came from is because someone was like, oh, look in that cave, there's something crazy in there. Let's call it a dragon. They didn't know that later on we were going to come along and be like, no, we're going to call that a dinosaur. It was already called a dragon. <laughs> now, let's continue on with some lovely, friendly rose quartz. <laughs> There's a lot of passion when it comes to Jenny's theories. When it comes to my theories in life, you guys get quite strongly against my theories. But I think my theories sound quite nice. Like, you can't prove to me there are no unicorns. Wow. Have a look at this. They're taking the mickey out of me and my ear, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the pigeon isn't a dinosaur. It's just, it's a lovely bird. They're being mean to me now. Just um, turn them off. Yeah, I will. I will. No, I can't. I rely on them. I rely on them. <laughs> Oh, I did teach you about how to get your chicken to lay 
a different coloured egg, didn't I? Yes, thank you. To explain that to everyone at home, if you feed chickens beetroot for a long period of time, the yolk will turn purple. Oh, really? It's that very is exciting. so cool. That's if you deep. feed them curry powder in their feed, um, which they will eat. No, they'll eat it. Their chickens eat pretty much anything. Everything. Don't give them pasta, though, because it's not really very good for them. You can get the flavour come through. Oh, really? Yeah. That is so cool. That's like strong, I... different strong flavours come through in the egg. Now, I, need really to get, I need to get chickens, but I don't think my landlord would agree, so maybe not. I just want to try that now. Is there anything in your tenancy that says absolutely no chickens? Well, it says no pets, and I live in a flat, so I oh, think yeah, the, the, the neighbours... Yeah, it's probably neighbors not a great idea. idea. Even I'm gonna, <laughs> even I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Six pounds and ninety-five pence for this beautiful rose quartz. We were doing so well, they said, until Jenny piped up about dragons and dinosaurs. Text in. Do you agree with my theory? Six zero triple seven J Studio. And have you got other theories? Like unicorns could have existed because most horses and ponies have a bit of a whirl here, so I think they might have had horns. And unicorns, <clears> the na national. Isn't unicorns the national animal of Scotland? Like, I think they might have had horns. Because it's not out of the question, because actually the only thing that protects a horse um, from a predator is hooves. Mm. So I think they fine, might have yeah. had horns. Because if you give yeah. a goat a horn... Well, I was thinking maybe that in the olden days they used to have, or maybe it was yeah. some sort of mutation that somebody saw one day and decided this is a magical creature. That's yeah, called and then drew it. Something like that. Yeah, exactly. It could be. Just, just you know, like... They uh, didn't have cameras back then. No. It's just like dinosaurs could be dragons. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, it's time. Do the white one, yeah? For your first star by another theory on stars. I thought you were gonna <laughs> Okay, so the busty star by is your first one. Um, now we have got for you an opportunity. Now, of course, you're going to want the white one if you've got if you've got black gemstones because if you well, I'll, you know, you need that one because if you have that one and you're trying to take a photograph, it's going to get pretty lost. So you're going to need both of these depending on what colours you're using. Why do you need them? Well, to photograph your jewellery for Etsy, for Facebook Marketplace, for wherever else you sell it, for your websites, but also to display your jewellery if you're selling it. Also, it, it acts as an aid for you to sort of offer it up to the bust, have a look at your jewellery, does that look right? Mm, mm, rather than have it down flat, because once you elevate something, you can see how it will look and feel against the skin. I can't design without my bust. When I work on pieces, I, ha I continuously go back and place them on, as you're saying, yeah. upright, just to see how they actually fall, how the shape is, because really, uh, quite often when you design something, the way it looks on a board, as opposed to when gravity does its work and things, um, you know, well, there's a curve on this as well, That's as, as there yeah. naturally is on the body. You can't have that if you're holding it up. Even, even if you're elevating it against something like a macrame board or something, you're just not going to get that effect. So it's nice to see exactly how your jaw is going to lay, how it's going to behave when it is on the body. And also, it's just it's nice to have something that's lovely and cushioned. It, yeah. it sits better that way, I think, because we do do some <clears> harder <throat> plastic back ones of these. And I think, you know, they're all great and well and good for display. But when you really want to get that feel of how it's going to look against something soft but upright, you know, against the body, this is going to be ideal. It's definitely got a very nice natural shape as well. And I think it's the perfect sort of size around the neck here. It may be small uh, in general, but if you want to get the right shape around the neck, this is a perfect size and the way uh, jewellery lies around that area. So great little piece to have photography and for jewellery display and especially for designing. We're going to give you a great price, but I need you to know we, all, we only have a few of these left. We only have 20. Oh, look at that. Now I'm going yeah. to... Did you That's know great. that was there? Yeah. Okay, so you've got just here, That's really, you get a really piece useful. that pops out here. And what you can then do, let me see if we got something that's long and chain like. Do you want to mm, use this? Maybe. Yes, please. So if you have this like this, you'll see, oh, right, okay, well, that's that's fallen down. So what you would do is go 
like that. Hook it onto Especially here. when you want to photography, you really what you want oh, to Jenny. take a picture of is actually the um, you know the front section where you've put all the the, the, the work into yeah, it. That's so. the bit you want. Quite often for the ones that I've got at home, they don't have that and I have to use a pin to make a hole in the back. So to actually have this available is... Yeah, you've got it there. Quite cool. Now I could actually keep going wrapping that chain around if I wanted to. And the fact is it's tucked in to that part there. So you've got that element. Um, a lot of people don't know that's there, but it is. So yeah, do utilise it. Yeah, quite a lot of the bats don't actually have that. So that's really quite a handy little feature. It will go through the chain link, yeah, well, actually. Uh -huh. You can put it through the chain link if you would rather. So here we have a fabulous price for you. So you put your chain link through there if you want to as well. Of just eight pounds and 95 pence IQZ X87. We expect these, thank you so much, Nadia, uh, to sell out. So <coughs> please come in fast for these. Deborah, Jacqueline, you've got yours, Christine. Um, another Deborah, this one in Surrey, Derbyshire, West Midlands, Christine. Uh, we've got a message here from Kiko. Um, Jenny dear, I'm with you on all your theories and we probably share the same meds too. <laughs> Lollishness, I love lollishness. Um, I'm on no meds actually, I know this would surprise you. I don't think I am, am I? I'm not, I don't know why I'm looking at Paul, I'm not, no I, ne I never take medicine. No, even if I've got a headache, I try and find a. Like, I will take a oh, tablet, really? oh, no, but sissy. I will try and find like a wet. Like, why have I got a headache? Am I thirsty? Let's try that first. Oh no, I don't. I just pop. You just. I just, I just, just a pop. pill popper. Yeah. Take. Don't like headaches. Get rid of them. You don't think she means paracetamol? Oh. Keep it legal, darling. Keep it legal. Now, um, we're going to give you the same. Mm. In black. But this time in black. So if you had a lighter gemstone, you might want to place. You might. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in my ear. You might want to place this here. Are you exhausted already? Sorry. So, so I exhaust Paul. I've been exhausting him since eight o'clock this morning when I was going to be. I was caught in traffic. I wasn't due there till ten, but I thought because I'm caught in a little bit of traffic at eight, it's going to affect how my ten o'clock works. So I'm going to be six minutes late. So I decided to stalk him to tell him I was going to be six <laughs> minutes late. He's like, "Look, I don't care <laughs> if you're six minutes late. You're just six minutes late." I was like, "Okay, but I want to explain this at eight a.m. Why I am late at ten a.m." At 10 10.06. Now, the best thing is, yeah, I woke Ben up first at 8 uh, o'clock. He's like, I'm not on till the late. Uh, SFZ X27, £8.95 is the same price. More theories, more of my theories. Jenny's, I should do a little Jenny's theories book, should I? No, I'm not sure. Uh, the star theory. Um, no, I can't get into it. It's too long-winded. It's too long-winded. What I generally do is I tell my kids stuff and then they come back to me about six years later and go, do you remember you taught me that? Thanks for making me look like an idiot at school. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> that is true. It's true. Um, SFZX27. They told her the past was in black and white, Becky Redicus. Yeah, see, do you remember <laughs> believing things? And then, and yes. then somebody telling you, be like, what? No, that's not true. This is a thing. And then being like, no, it's not. My oh, mum yeah. told me that if I didn't wash my hands religiously, I would definitely 100% get worms that would then turn into snakes. And I believed that till I was about 15. Well, it, it, it worked, didn't it? You washed your hands at every opportunity, didn't you? Yeah, of course. Thanks. After that, it worked. <laughs> but I did believe it, and my friends laughed at me for like hours about snakes because I genuinely believed it. You missed it. My mum told me that if I didn't wash my hands religiously after going to the toilet, I'd get worms that later then turned into snakes. So I actually <laughs> believed people went round. I thought that people with big bellies had That's snakes nice, in. It? Yeah, and I'd be like, they haven't washed their hands. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of darts players that don't wash their hands. <laughs> £8.95 SFZX27. Let's continue on. Thanks for the warty wart warts. Just have a little sip inch of it. Mm. Well, you know, these are, it is funny when you get told stuff when you're little. I'm just trying to remember what that one used to be told. I don't actually remember anything in particular. You will. Yeah, probably. Because we all get told at least one 
completely bonkers thing when yeah. we're little that we believe right up into a point where we're like, where we're adults and we go, wait a minute, that can't be true. <laughs> I've been conned my entire life. Now, like the, um, like your nose growing or your tongue going blue if you told a lie and things like that. Something like that, uh, strange yeah. to remember. Is your nose growing? Where do they even come from? Oh yeah, your nose growing, that sort of thing. Yeah, that was Pinocchio. It was Pinocchio. I mean, if you're watching at home, kids, um, <laughs> if you're watching at home, it is a true theory about your nose. No, it's not. It's not true. It only grows when you get older. It, it never stops growing, truth be told. The truth of it is, your nose and your ears never stop, stop growing. growing. It's a bit scary, that, eh? Yeah. So, basically, the best your nose is ever going to be is the day you were born. That's why babies but, look so cute. But is your eye, But do your eyeballs... Are you, gr are you born with the right-sized eyeballs? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I think you are. I think babies do have adult-sized eyeballs. <laughs> I think they do. No, but, but tiny babies do have great big eyeballs. They're lovely big eyes. I think it's true. Mm. I think you get. I think you get born with the with the same sized eyeballs, and your eyeballs can't grow. Yeah, think about it. You get the, the you know you get the right sized teeth as well. So if all those teeth fit in your mouth, why not your eyeballs? You know. Oh yeah, because the teeth are in there, aren't yeah, they? And they come yeah. down later. Yeah. So a lot of it is adult sized. Actually, you are, some babies are born with teeth. You're wrong. He's like going, not your adult teeth. Do you know? Do you know this? This is a fact. When you're, <laughs> when you're little, you're, you know your like, pointy, spiky, your vampire teeth, they are up next to your nose and they make their way slowly down. Mm. That's where they start. Because once Mia kept getting like, things where she couldn't breathe properly because she had a real flat nose... Um, and they would look and see whether her teeth were too far up. And I was like, well, why are you looking for her teeth up there? And they're like, oh, they start there and then they descend. That's, and I was like, that's crazy. It's mad, that's isn't crazy. it? That's crazy. They're here. They're here and then they go... Oh. Unless the doctor was having me on. <laughs> 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 I wonder whether people actually do that to me and go, she'll believe anything. <laughs> The red gun, this red gun is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing. I wonder whether people do do that to me. It is possible. Five pounds and 95 pence for this pomegranate gorgeous garnet. Uh, they graduated very slightly, these rondelles, a three by two to four by two. And of course, this is January's first gemstone. We do love it. It's said to be the heartbeat of India, if you believe who told me. Uh, five pounds and 95 pence. No, it is said. I read that. When you read it, it must be true. Uh, apart from if you're reading it on a toilet wall. Now... <laughs> Because I don't lovely wag on. Now. Oh, <laughs> look at that. These are gorgeous. That goes well with the unicorns theory, those. It, these are from Magical. unicorns, I think. No proof against it. No. These, no. Do you know, when you split a unicorn horn, which you probably shouldn't do, maybe it's all sparkly inside. Right. We shouldn't collect them, though, because they're an endangered species. Now, we have got here some incredible sparkle. It is unicorn sparkle. These are great for little girls' bedrooms. They'd be brilliant if you sew them into the bottom of a pool blind or something like that. They'd be fabulously decorative. You could have them in curtain tie backs. You could have these suspending from a mobile. They're very pretty. Mm, no, they really are nice. I actually would just like to wear them because of the sparkle. They're really eye-catching. Mm, they are, aren't they? Mm. Would you put them in earrings? Would you put them in yes, macrame? Yes, no, earrings. No, I actually would want to keep them open, as open as possible, mm. because you want. I really like the back as well of them because they are really rustic. And um, because to show that the actual beauty of nature coupled with um, the um, what we can do with gemstones to bring out the absolute best in them, so... I think they're gorgeous. Lovely edges to these yeah. if you wanted to put them on gallery wire or something like that. $7.95, I've got on my strand one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have there or thereabouts. VHRU70. Now, Ooh. Oh, so this will go really well with the, the uh, flat ones. The, we have these, so you could alternate them. Oh, you could actually, yeah. And then you could have, um, oh, look at that. I've just put them together with the rose quartz we had earlier because it's um, 
pretty much a mirrored strand, but just in a different gemstone. I think those would work really well like that, stranded up together, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's perfect. You could actually uh, create a suite out of those because you'd have enough. You oh put, gosh, yes, look. Um, yeah, no, you've got enough to make several pieces with that. But you don't have to use them all in one piece as well, you know, so. You could just take this section of them yeah. and then have chain if that's you wanted it. to. Again, how, how like another wonderful gemstone. Um, how light often actually is dyed because it takes the colour really well. Uh, it's dyed turquoise, and a lot of the a lot of the turquoise out there on the market, people say it's turquoise, mm, actually ends exactly. up being dyed how light. It's mm. still a, it's still a lovely gemstone. You've got an amazing matrix through these. I love the veins. Yeah, no, it does. It's very classy in my mm. eyes. I always find that the actual colour ways and the markings are very classy. Yeah, in that gemstone, almost sort so. of marble like, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah, it's very beautiful. PEPO47 is your item code, that's P-E-P-O-47. £6.95 is your price for these. We are sweeping our way through this mid-show and it is so lovely to have your company here today on Jewelry Maker. We hope you're having as much fun as we are. Uh, don't forget texting in. You can um, you can put as much as you like in a basket here at Jewelry Maker. It'll only cost you one price, which is £3.95 all day long. Um, full stop, capital letter, amen. And hallelujah. You're not gonna be you're not gonna be charged any more than that three pound ninety-five. Also, it's a free phone number to call us and everything comes with a 30-day money back guarantee. Continuing on to boop, 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 some more rose quartz. Now we've got some really lovely rose quartz hearts coming up, and I think these would be the perfect accent for them. I'm quite a fan of actually putting um, like for like colours in a piece. I don't know what it is with me. I really like to go from, from different hues, but it has to be the same colours. So to have all these different options available today is great. It is, isn't it? Yeah. No. Oh, that look amazing. That with these, these would look lovely, mm. wouldn't it? Lovely little seed beads here. They'll go so nicely with uh, because they're that feminine colour. Anything else you've got that, that maybe some amethyst. We've got some lovely amethyst coming up for you later. These could go with so many, so many things that you've already got or, or create things in their own right. You could put these as a beady bead. They look great in earrings as a beady bead. You could put tassels mm. or beady beads on shoes. You can sew these into little pumps. They look so pretty. They're great in earrings. They're wonderful stretchy channel bracelets. Setting, channel wire, setting them. Yeah, yeah I think with, with a gemstone this size, Nadia, you have got quite a lot of options, haven't you? You do. I mean, if you wanted to make a really sparkly piece, you could um, combine, use the whole lot in just a single piece, or you could just, as I said earlier, with a Chrysocola, adopt these around your designs oh, for yeah. an added touch of colour uh, here and there, because as I said, you've got options. You've got clarity, you've got that lovely femininity from the, from the colour of the strand as well. YDK, Y90, £5.95, pence. brilliant value here, 0800 6445 is the number to be calling, jurymaker.com if you're doing it online, or you can be tapping the app for genuine rose quartz, 20 carats of. Now, as if that wasn't good enough, we've also got some opal for you, which is going to go really nicely together with these. Oh, look how beautiful. gorgeously well these are, such a cool, look how long that strand is, such a cool tone, isn't it? It takes me back to summer. Oh, yeah. Summer, Love a bit coupled summer. with a bit of spring was the year in the purple. Not too far off, think about it. You know, spring. Well, just, it's not. Just We've just got to go really. to winter. We're in autumn. Well, that's, that's just a minor thing, you know. Winter. I love the different seasons that we get. No, I do. I actually do like quite uh, when it snows, I must say. I, mean, I love it's not, the snow. It's not, it's not very popular. I'll take snow but, uh, over rain. Definitely, yeah. No, I really like it because it makes everything so crisp um, and it smells nice. I think. Yeah, it does. Have a look at this colour in opal. Now, you might not know that opal comes in this colour. You might be thinking, well, that's not opal. It is, and it's natural. It's blooming gorgeous, isn't it? Maybe this is your birth gemstone. Are you an October baby? Are you an October mm, baby, Nadia? I am. I'm I an October baby. That's you my are, gemstone. I thought you were. When's your birthday? Uh, it was on Sunday, actually. Happy so, birthday, <laughs> Nadia! Oh, I didn't put happy birthday on your Facebook page. What's right. I doing? Thank you. I was working. No, you probably were. I mean, yeah. Oh no! It's a... Someone bumped into the back of me that day. That's why. Oh no that way! Way. way! What happened? Um, I was going through the McDonald's drive-thru, just about to pick up my Big Mac, and BAM! You're joking. She hit me. She just, uh... Yeah. I hope she said sorry, at least. Don't get me... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even care. I was like, oh, no, don't worry. But she didn't say sorry! 
Oh, and she then, did not. You're joking. Oh, are you going to say sorry to me? And she went, well, obviously I'm sorry. And I was like, mm, it's not really very obvious if you don't say it. But she... <laughs> Oh, my word. And my son's coat went all over him and he was all in his football. And I had three kids in the back. I was taking them for a treat because they won their football match. <laughs> oh, anyway, don't get, don't get the crew started. They are done listening to this story. Uh, They're like, oh, God. So you can just carry on with it. <laughs> since the fourth time he's heard the story today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Paul. Okay, I promise I won't mention it anymore. It was just quite annoying, that's all. See, and I, I, I don't I, I care. I haven't heard the story, so I need to know. You know well, I'm know not bothered by it. The only thing, because everybody who makes mistakes, she just didn't say sorry. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Paul's like, you said the trigger went, oh, no. Oh, no, she didn't say sorry. We all know where this is going to go. No, no, she didn't oh. say sorry. Which is quite disappointing, because she was, like, quite young. And if that no was my kid, she exactly. just said sorry. No respect for the elders, anyway. Well, don't get me stuck to the Well, most of them do. That's the disappointing thing. There's no way my daughter would do that and not be like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, it makes you wonder sometimes, eh? But mm. hey-ho. Well, I'm sorry. Teach your kids to say sorry. No, you don't need to be sorry. <laughs> Paul doesn't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> oh, don't we overanalyze things, eh? Don't we? Here we go. Your crackle quartz at plain rounds are approximately 10 millimetres. They're on a 38 centimetre strand. Now, these, we were talking about Christmas earlier. These would be fabulous because they're like, um, you've got these amazing icy crackles within these. Great for wine glass charms on your Christmas table. Totally. These are the perfect Christmas charm, aren't they? They do go with those rose quartz. I'm a big fan of these today. They do, yeah. It's lovely. I really like to use these kind of crackles. Um, you know, if you want to go really elaborate, my mum always used to decorate her tree with uh, not real pearls, obviously, but back in the day. Yes, but you used to go around with gold pearls, ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think these would look fabulous. You could just make a um, couple of. You, well, you could actually just hang them all over the tree individually, couldn't you? But look at that for a Christmas you day. Could. And you could bring them out every year. You know, if mm. every year you build up your genuine gemstone Christmas tree stash a little oh. more, you know, in a you few years. You can make years. a wire one, Nadia, and yes. have these as mini baubles. I actually made a Christmas tree. I must bring that out again. A wire Christmas tree was just that, but it was tiny. It's a tiny but little that, one. That's a mm. brilliant idea. Yeah, no, bring it, it works well. Bring so you can out. do that for your. For your real big one mm -hmm. with little baubles like that. So. I'm going to have two Christmas trees this year. Are you? Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, six ninety-five. Yeah, I can have two this year. We moved house and I got a dining room. I'm going to put one in there. Is that a nice the big room. one that I saw that you put up the other day? Not the other day. It was a few months ago. Pictures of it with a nice big yard and all the horses. Yeah, and yeah. Arse. It's not all mine. I live on one half and the farmer lives with his wife on the other That's half. Excellent. It, it was half. It's just a normal three-bedroom house when you go in it, but it's a little bit bigger. But, oh, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, L-I-K, are you, are you um, L-I-K, why all licky? 38 is your uh, item code. I like looking at that. They, they always make me laugh, the item codes. Uh, six, <laughs> that tickled you, didn't it? <laughs> Nadia can't stop laughing now. It's, I remember when, uh, yeah, because Enid Blyton, there's an Enid Blyton book and it says, the dog's licky. That used to really make me laugh. Now. Oh, there's goodness. a lot there's a lot in Enid Blyton books now that kids find funny for the wrong reasons. I, I noticed that when I tried to read my kids The Magic Far Away Tree and I couldn't get past them. I couldn't get past like the first chapter because they were in hysterics. And I was like, I'm not reading this, go back to Roald Dahl. Because uh, you have to change the names, of course. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there's, there's a great <laughs> many uh, stories you, know, you can't tell anymore without getting I the know. wrong reaction, you know. So. Or songs you can't sing. I know. Because they are quite killy. Like, for instance, yeah, yeah, Rockabye Baby, totally killy. Like, it's not a nice song, is it? When the bow breaks, the baby will fall down, will come baby cradle. That's horrible. <laughs> Why are we singing that to our children? Rock-a-bye, baby, you're going to fall down. Why are we singing that? It's Do really you know, horrible. I, I never actually think behind the words, you know, you just hear the sound. Yeah, exactly. Oh. We've just gone with the masses and sang these crazy, killy songs that our kids, like Jack and Jill went up it's the like hill. It's like ring a ring posy as well, you know. It's got it's some the really dark... It's about the plague, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Let's all we cheer for skip with the around rain. with the plague of chew, we are dead. <laughs> no, it's not a nice song. Let's just make up our own happy, nice rhyme. Bar, bar, black sheep, I can all go with, we can go with that. What else can we go with still? 
I can sing a rainbow, that's okay. Something about twinkle, twinkle, little Your star. star. I wonder, yeah, that's okay, <laughs> that's fine. I wonder what you are. Let's stick with those ones, because the rest of them are pretty mean. Well, you sing them, I can't sing, so. Humpty Dumpty, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, Smashed pretty much. his head in, didn't he? Eight pounds <laughs> and 95 pence, why UK? Why 81? <laughs> Poor Humpty. No one calls their kids Humpty anymore. 70 carats. Baby Humpty. It's quite cute, isn't it, Humpty? Yeah. Maybe if I get another dog, I'll call it Humpty. Humpty! I had a dog called Numpty. Numpty, actually. that's mm. cute. Yeah. But not Humpty. Com completely random, but yeah. What well, dog's names are? My dog's called Maeve. Now, we're going to continue on. I didn't even talk about the fact that we just had beautiful smoky quartz there. I do apologise. Now. <laughs> but don't you... Th but that's my thing, like... Nursery rhymes aren't necessarily nice songs. No, they're not. And I never actually realised until just a few years ago. I never put any thought to them either. Because yeah. just as you're saying, you know, you sing them along and your family sings them, your mum sang them to you when you go to sleep at yeah. night. And then... Uh... How do we... I mean, it was touch and go. If the child <clears throat> actually thought about what they were being sang at, that, maybe that's why they've got sleeping problems. <laughs> now, look at this. Gorgeous tiger's eye. This will go nicely with the smoky quartz I didn't show you properly. Um, tiger's eye is such a great gemstone though because it's, it, you've got this incredible power, you've got this wonderful chatoyancy, you've got those, um, it reminds me of the fur of bumblebees. It's not the fur of bumblebees, but it's got that kind of magic about it, hasn't it? Those caramel tones, those incredible sort of burnt toffee colors there as well. Uh, tiger's eye really is a celebration of a gemstone, especially if you are into crystal healing. It's a gemstone said to give you courage, a protective talisman, if you believe in that kind of thing. And again, I must stick that those are just my beliefs necessarily they're not yours EIP I still didn't get my eye test by the way 076 <laughs> four pounds and 95 pence is your price this is a great price under five pounds for tiger's eye that's great that's these are sizable pieces as well so I would use the bigger ones for main pieces and mm. not actually put them with anything else Again, on a very simple shambhala. And actually, you know what I would put them with is the rose quartz. Because um, oh, you've got graduations yes. to go. Um, I think we've got some, um, some free forms over there as well. I certainly yeah. do. Look at that. Yeah, they look gorgeous together, don't they? I do love a bumblebee, and these do remind me of bumblebees. Like they the do. fur. We never see just, like... No, of course we wouldn't make coats out of bumblebee fur because that would be cruelty, but... How would you do that? I wonder what even? it would look like. <laughs> no. I wonder what it looked like. If in the olden days they were like... Uh, you'd, have to, you'd have to be... Oh, no, because you'd have to be a pixie or a fairy to sew it together because you need little okay, tiny so that, fingers. So that would be a, a great topic for a nursery mm. rhyme song. Yes, yeah. mm. bumblebee jacket. Yep. £4.95, UIP 076. Uh, again, I'd like to just confirm after, um, was it Kiko's message, that I am not on any medication. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Despite the rumours. <laughs> not counting the gin. No. Now, straight after the break, we have got for you... We're going to do the rhombus, which isn't a dance, Nadia, so don't worry. Oh. I'd call these marquees, but we can call them rhombus. That's right. Oh, they're classy. Aren't they? They are fancy. They're very fancy. They look very high-end. They're coming up for you after the break. We'd also welcome your interaction, as always, here at Jewelry Maker. And we've got Nadia's kit and her fabulous inspiration all coming up in the next hour. Keep it interactive. We cannot wait to see you. We'll be back in... How long have we got? Oh, we've got 20 seconds to talk about the next hour, actually. I mean, I could have started one of my theories off. I had plenty of time to do it. <laughs> Uh, but I'm being denied access to that, um, oh, unfortunately. But it's so much fun. Um, we need some of your theories. We'll we have do. theories. Mm. I, well, I'd like to know the jewellery maker's theories. What are yours? Maybe, and like we were saying earlier, you were told something as a child that you believed right up until recently. Get your text in. Are you new to jewellery maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. 
As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging? Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Now we're good. Now, before we do your wonderful kit, we're, by the way, we're going to sit and relax for 20 minutes and have a fabulous demonstration from Nadia in a minute. So get ready for that. Before we relax, these are so gorgeous. Let's give you these. We're calling them rhombus, which I always think does sound like we're going to have a dance. Yes, yeah, should we like rhombus? Sound, yeah, sounds like let's rumble. Can't Let's really do, do it. Proper. Let's get ready to rhombus. <laughs> These are gorgeous. Almost that checkerboard kind of finish. You've got black onyx here. Now, we haven't had onyx for a while, okay. have we? We don't see a lot of black onyx. We see a, a lot of black spinel. Black we see black well. other, but we see uh, snowflake obsidian. Mm. We see 
black gemstones in that formation. But to see these gorgeous black onyx and to, and to look at those edges. Now, I know that, um, that Gemma this morning, together with Carol, they were talking about gallery wire. Gallery wire is going to be perfect with this because you've got those edges and you can really enjoy those edges. You've got that drill hole as well. You've got an opportunity <coughs> here to maybe take your cords around here. Yeah, you, you, can, you know, there's such a lot you can do when you've got a lovely edge, I you've got think, a fabulous face. Yeah, no, I really think that these, because of the edge, as you were talking about, are absolutely perfect for prong setting mm. because you know how you have to bend over the prongs to make sure that the, the setting is flush? Mm -hmm. These ones allow for the prongs to sit absolutely perfectly against the stone. There's no gap in between. So these are absolutely perfect for rings. They're great for prong set necklaces and they're gorgeous for that. Really like it. Now, yesterday I recorded a DVD with the fabulous Alan, Alison Terry. Not Alan Terry. <laughs> Who's Alan Terry? <laughs> oh, Alison. I, she yeah, goes by many names. Anne. She goes by many names. She'll know. She'll know. Alison, not Alan Terry. Oh, um, we know. She's just. She's fabulous. She'll know. She's, she's fabulous. fabulous. She did the most amazing ring, and there was a promise <clears throat> element to that. With she, oh, I'm not supposed to give it away. Um, <gasps> You're naughty. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Well, you're not saying what exactly this is. No, 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 I'm not you showing you the design. Like, when you see it, you'll be gobsmacked. It's just mm, brilliant. Sure. Now, this would be an ideal strand to get ahead of that because this will work really yeah. well. Take it from me. Oh, I bet. These are perfect shape as well. I mean, they're quite easy to, to actually get the prongs around because of the uh, the widening uh, middle as well. Mm. So if you do prong sets, this is a great shape to get started with. Because quite often when you have oval shapes, so to get the prongs to sit nicely is a bit difficult. So mm -hmm. for starters, these are great. They really are, and you've got a lot to work with. YDV are 23 95 carats of your rhombus. Nice. They should be 14 95. We're going to take these under 10 pounds because this is a star buy for you. Uh, they're top drilled and they are ready to go and be in your collection. Are you ready? Nine ninety-five. Yeah. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on my strand. You should have there or thereabouts for under ten pounds. YDV are twenty-three ninety-five carats of black onyx in your graduated step. Oh, cut you know what else numbers. you can do with those? If you think about seed bead super duos, the way they sit, like in the next kit, we have those coming up, actually, seed beads. You could use, obviously, you only have got one side of drill holes, but you could actually use those in a, some sort of star design, mm -hmm. where you could maybe then, if you make your star um, out of the um, rhombus, and then uh, use wire to um, to come out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's like one. a four-pointed. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that would work, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? Fabulous. You've got so many different options with these and that's always always going to be something delightful to behold, isn't it? When um, you've got different gemstones in your collection that will always go with these as well. There we go. Oh, nice. Aren't they gorgeous? Do you know, black is just so versatile because it, can, it goes with everything, as you're saying. Uh, Maxine's got anything. hers. Nancy, you've got yours. Antoinette in Belfast. Margaret in Newcastle upon Tyne. Dumbartonshire, Julie. Collector in um, Yorkshire. I, I can't think of any more Jenny theories. They just plop out of my mouth at the inappropriate times. But have you got any theories? Has anybody got any theories at home? Did anybody message in with any? No. They must all agree with me then is all I can think. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinosaurs are dragons just mistaken by the people. So what we're going to do now is give you our very first kit. That did what? Where where'd you out? I wound you up again instantly when I said that. Well, I know. Think of how my siblings <laughs> felt growing up with me. I got a lot of Chinese burns. I would have had, liked to have you as a sister. Would have well, been. I was the so youngest, I though, oh, so you? I was definitely oh, right. the most annoying and the one that they definitely did not want anywhere near them. I'm the oldest, so... Oh, so you can identify with that, can't you? Like, if you had your little sister yeah, and you're like, get out, go away, you're annoying. Yes, wake me up in the morning when I want to sleep in, you know, when you turn yeah. teenager and you really want to sleep in, but your little sister wants to watch the telly and she wants yeah. to pray. Yes. That. Yeah, that's that. me, I'm afraid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am the one that played hide-and-seek in my brother's bedroom with my friend um, when he was doing his GCSEs, and I stood and ripped on all of his GCSE papers. 
He went wild. I didn't know. They were just lying around. I just wanted to play hide and seek. It wasn't conventional hide and seek either. I used to play this game with my friend Chuck. This is a brilliant game. Um, so you would blindfold them and they're outside the door and you would hide somewhere, but you'd spend about an hour setting traps. Oh, that's so, so cool. like upturning pins and stuff. Don't do this. Um, <laughs> the best one I ever did, um... probably also the worst, is I filled up a whole bag of shoes. I suspended it above the door, so when Chuck walked through the door, <laughs> she got flat. Goes home, black and blue, never comes back, never allowed back to you. It was, <laughs> it, was the funniest, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. She just went... Bruh, bruh, bruh. But of course, my mum went absolutely mad because, you know, that could have gone horribly wrong. And she heard the crash from upstairs. Oh, did she? Came upstairs and went, what's going oh. on? And Chuck's on the floor like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bants. Anyway, uh, let's give you... Uh, things you used to do, I mean, even at my age, when you were little, you know. Yeah. When we were young, back in the old, old days. We're the same age, so just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have got loads of different bright, happy colours in I your know, kit. These were so much fun. With all the dreary weather going on, it was quite nice to have a little bit of a touch of colour going on. So that was really nice to have that. I really enjoy all of these together. They're great, yeah, aren't they? they are. They make for a lot of fun. Pop of colour. I'm just going to move all this stuff away so you can actually see You this. could do 80s jewellery with this as well, couldn't you? You could do pardon? 80s jewellery. 80s, yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We were around partying in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Could be that. Could be that. You could do so much. And I love the cord colours together. They're fab. They don't have to be Halloween-y. I mean, you haven't got much time to get involved in Halloween because this will be here, tom you know, tomorrow, maybe the next day. It's called happiness. Oh, well, it's perfect for this dreary time before actually... You know, there's kind of like a, like a slump in between autumn and Christmas and then again between January and spring. We actually just need that little pick-me-up. Yeah, you a little need a little pick-me-up. So. so here's These your happiness great. for you. You've got those three cord colours. You've got the beads as well. BDX C41. $21.95 for all these beads and all of this cord. Now, we're going to give you... We've got some alternative colourways as well. Do you want to do those mm. now? Or do you want to... Yes, and what about the findings? Those are separate. Oh, those are separate, Jenny. So these are a little bit more subdued, but gorgeous sort of autumnal colours, those. And winter colours as well. Could be more masculine. Yeah. Could Depends. Be. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? A bit nutty, these colours, aren't they? I do love a nut. Now, we have got... Walnuts are my favourite. Or oh, hazelnuts. I like them all. Dipped in Marmite. Yeah, Delicious. so do I. I like walnuts. Now... You have got what dipping ever, anything in marmite is horrible. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Even I raw... have it on toast, but dipping nuts in marmite. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to say it like that because then it makes it sound wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Sorry. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I was going to suggest that you dip your raw cauliflower in the, in the marmite too. I feel I missed the moment. <laughs> oh my God, French stomach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you ask for theories? Sir? I did as well. There we go. <laughs> Woodland walks. <laughs> Your impression, Jasper. I love these colours together. They are very cute. Okay, we're all right now. Okay, you all right? Let's go. Good. Let's go. These together. Do you ever, if you ever shopping like Jules, the uh, or Bowden or anywhere like that? Back in the game, never happened. Uh, these are very much like those sort of rustic country colours, which I love. Yeah. I love these colours. I think they're fantastic. 
No, they are they're quite, they're, they really are wintry and they really bring, and I like the fact that you've got actually a pop of blue in there as well. Mm, they're gorgeous. That's really nice. I can see cufflinks with those. Definitely. Beady beads, the, the cord colours are just gorgeous together as well, aren't they? Yeah, I quite, you know, I'm quite a fan. Either you go really bright and standing out or you go a little bit subdued with the pastel and earthy colours. Mm -hmm. So these two are my sort of go-to uh, colour palettes. So. Yeah, earthy, lovely yeah. earthy tones, yeah. ORX C57 is your item code. Under £20 for this, which is just gorgeous. Uh, so we've got the nylon cord in celadon and maize so maize is the that one that's am i saying that right celadon i don't i've never heard of the word celadon in my life have you no actually does it what does it what's mean what's a celadon yeah what does it what is a celadon oh we've got a we've got a we've got a that was a sigh from paul what do you know what a celadon is can you help me there paul Oh, he's asking the uh, power that is Google. Other, other engine searches are available. ORX, but none such as good as Google, in my humble opinion. C57. I think we ought to get to demonstration before... Uh, Yay. Oh, a jade <coughs> green is celadon. So there we go. We oh, learned right. something okay. new about yeah. today. That was great. That. Okay. Let's learn something else new from cool. you, my dear. Right, wonderful. So, um, I thought I'm going to show you how to make this necklace and it, I think it would actually look really, really nice in that colour palette as well. So I thought um, it was a mermaid's tail when I first saw yeah, it. Yeah, it's quite nice, quite nice different effect when you kind of brush the, the cords out. So it gives you that sort of um, splayed effect. It's yeah, it's a lovely nice. texture, isn't it? Um, so for this one, I've used uh, all these cords that are in this kit <clears throat> and in the other one, actually the point nine, so which is really nice for um, a sort of rustic look and you can build up your work a lot quicker as with the uh, the point four is, is quite quite fine it takes a lot longer so um, I'm going to bring this necklace across so I can talk you through it set it here so to make this necklace you always need to have a starting point for your macrame so I'm going to start with our base cord at the top here okay so we're going to have cords attached to a base wire here all right so I've already laid out some cords And that's your here. base cord that's across the base, the That's the base board. cord. Also, just make sure you make it long enough because later on, once we're through with this, we're going to use, you can either pearl knot it or you can just do macrame knot in between to actually create the neck piece, okay? So we're going to attach our cords here. The more cords you attach, the bigger this actual piece will be, okay? okay? So for this one, I can't actually remember exactly how many cords I've used, so we're just going to count these quickly for you. If you've forgotten, you can actually just turn your piece upside down and the, where you've attached the cords, you can see uh, little knots, okay? So, Do larks head them over the top Yeah, then? larks head them. Oh, you remember this, eh? Oh, I remember a lark's yeah, head. Yeah, you remember that. So I'm going to count the knots. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cords on either side, which okay. means it gives you a total of 14 cords. I'm glad attached, you worked that okay? out. So, <clears throat> yeah, when you, when, you, when you turn them over, this is one way where I can actually do math only time. I don't so, think so. I think you're quite mathsy. Anyway, let, let's just do the demo. <laughs> <laughs> my math skills. My dad used to go grey over it when he used to have to teach me at school. So no. Oh, was your dad a maths teacher? No, but he used to try and teach me. Oh, Wasn't with your, yeah, yeah was trying and help you. I used yeah. to go grey with me. So no, we're not going to go there. Okay. Well, no one bothered <laughs> with me. They realised it was a lost cause. <laughs> my dad eventually <laughs> realised. So there we go. <laughs> Perfect with everything, eh? Well, no, you can't. I'm still trying to find my thing. Oh. <laughs> right, <clears throat> so we're going to attach cords. I'm going to show you how to attach our working cords, which are these ones here. So these are base cords, these are working cords. And to actually do this piece, the working cords are going to be roughly about 50 centimeters long. And we're going to fold these cords in half. And we're going to grab the loop and feed it under the base cord to attach it and we'll bring it down and then just feed the two legs through the little loop mm -hmm. and attach, all right? And then to bring these two cords a bit further apart, we're going to spread them out. So we're gonna go over our core cord once, loop it over, pull it tight and do the same ah. on the other side. So over the core, make oh, sure it always goes over. Okay, so you do three at a time, do you? Bring it through. Um, we'll do, yeah, one on either side. So we first attach with the lark's head knot, yeah. and then we're gonna spray, splay them out 
uh, one side at a time and then this is attached. You can see how it kind of spreads the cords yeah, out a yeah. little bit more. Because I thought they were just individual arcs heads, so that's really fabulous to yeah. see. So you, you just bring them in. So now obviously I don't have my seven cords on either side because otherwise the knotting would take forever. So I'm just going to use this for um, demo purposes. Um, and you're going to count your cords and make sure that you have the same number on either side. Okay. okay. So whether you've got seven or eight or whichever number, you're going to have to have the same amount. Uh, so this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then a half because we've got a loose uh, tail. I've <coughs> got a loose tail. So I'm just going to. Uh, oh, here we are. I like to use pins in my work just because they are helpful to um, keep everything separate and to give you angles when you need to work with them. So I'm going to bring this down. This will give you a tiny bit of an angle and we're going to start on the right hand side and we're going to tie right double half hitches which means we're going to go clockwise over the cord out towards the right and pull that tight and do the same thing again. Um, Pull that tight, and then we're just going to keep doing this. Have until you switched we reach to the, the next center. cord yet? But you're keeping hold of that. Yeah, same so one. basically, the cord that we've taken from the outside sorry, I forgot to mention that is going to be our core cord, and this is going to be the core cord until we've done the row. So we're going to tack the first cord aside that we've just knotted, move on to the next, and go clockwise over the core out towards the right and attach and then set this aside again. You can, if you want to, use your macrame board to tuck these out mm -hmm. so that you don't get confused with um, the actual cords. So you can go away. one, two, away. Yeah. One, two, away. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> I was, like you're doing this, a little mantra actually helps yeah. with remembering things. I always think things. that. Yeah, yeah. No, it really does help. That's a really good idea. Um, quite often when you're learning new techniques, two, to have a little away. mantra in your head to follow will actually help you remember the techniques. Yeah. So that's a great idea. I think it does if you're, if yeah. you're that way inclined. Yeah, no, I find it helps me as well a lot when I learn something that confuses me. Um, like chainmail, for instance, I find that really difficult. Yeah, Do, doing, um, uh, doing that with a pattern in your head mm. works, doesn't it? So, once we get to the center, we are just going to set aside, and we would do exactly the same thing on the other side as well, okay? Uh, so you'd bring the cords down from the um, left hand side and this would be a, a left double half hitch, this was a right double half hitch and the difference being is we were knotting from left to right so it would go anti-clockwise over your core, it comes from under, uh -huh. okay your core in all circumstances has to be over your working cords, Okay. go over the core out towards the left and pull that tight. And that is a left double half hitch because we're knotting from left to right. So you would then just carry on until you actually get to the center. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and get a piece that I've already made because otherwise you'd watch me knot forever. Uh, it get very boring, I think. So I always have the little piece set out. Um, actually, no, because I need to show you the start. So I'm just going to carry on with this and I'm going to show you the start of this bit. Okay. Here. So, so we would just carry on. And you start from outside in? Again. You start from outside in um, and this you can do as many rows as you like. It depends uh, how thick you want this actual middle section to be. So you could repeat this step um, with as many cords as you like. Mm -hmm. Obviously you'd have to grab the outermost cord every single time. So. And using a, use a needle, and once you have a couple of rows going, you can use that needle to actually pin through the row to give you a little bit more structure and something to grab onto while you're not. Because there's nothing worth trying to knot something neat and tidy if you, you know, your work is all over the place. Mm. So, right. So now we are in the center, and to actually create that point, you need to attach the left hand side to the right hand side to create a continuity, okay? So there we have the section. And you can see because we attach left to right, it creates, it, it makes that row continue on this side. Right, so now you need to decide 
<clears throat> what you'd like to do with the cords on the left. So here for me, I decided I'd like a little pattern with square knots and I'd like a little pattern with um, a single half hitch column and then use some cords on the left to attach some beads to. So it's entirely up to you. The more cords you have, the more options you have, okay? So to create this center row, okay, we're going to pick up the cords coming from the center and pick up cords from the left hand side and we are going to attach these cords here coming from the left and we create a continuity which means that this will create a starting point of the oval where the bead will actually sit into and it naturally creates a little round shape as you knot. If you're pulling the core cord down creates that little shape and the more you do that. Obviously you need to gauge how big this cradle needs to be. Mm -hmm. So if you pick up your bead. The bead we're we're like, creating this sweep around we're here. We're creating the moment, a sweep. Yeah. So if you want, it's just a single row. If you want to do it with two, you'd have to have two base cords, okay, okay. but with just one. So if you want to gauge how big this cradle needs to be, you kind of take your bead and you see if you just offer it up. Halfway kind of fits. So this is how many cords you'll need to create a cradle for that. So once the bead fits in halfway, you can just remove it and then start to work your way back. So we're going to take the cords we've just knotted to that and we're going to reverse knotting direction. So the core cord that was previously on our left is going to move to our right. Make sure it goes over your working cords. And we are then going back in this direction. So the working cords now attach. We were previously tying right double half hitches. We are now tying left double half hitches, meaning we are going in the opposite knotting direction, which brings the cords back out. I hope this all makes sense. You can always play it back, stop it, play it back if it doesn't really make sense right now. Quite often with cram, it can be a little bit confusing. I think sometimes it's confusing until you actually do it and then go, oh, right, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's quite, well, it's quite confusing yeah. when you, you have to tell someone how to do it, it's easier just to get <coughs> hands on and go, oh, like this. Well, if it you can pause together. it, which is the nice thing with our tutorials and, and um, you know, workshops that we have, DVDs, you can, you yeah. can, DVDs, you can pause, you can go back. If this uh -huh. is confusing, don't worry, you can pause and then go back to it. You do you know, do so. workshops here, Nadia? Um, I don't do any here. I do them up in Edinburgh and uh, in Dunblane, I think. Okay. Uh, it's called, I'll oh, never remember the name, but yeah, no, I do teach Where's workshops. Where's Dunblane? It's up in Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, Dunblane, oh. Dunblane, Dunbar, one Dunbar. of those places, yeah, Dunbar, a, Dunbar. Isn't, isn't Dunbar, isn't that how you make Thai, not Thai, uh, Iron Brew? I don't know, actually, it's, it's, I know no, it's, I, know. There, I can never remember what it's called, but I teach it as well, so yeah, I just had recently had a workshop up in Edinburgh at oh, the moment, which Edinburgh's I really amazing, enjoyed, it's isn't beautiful, it? isn't it? Oh, I love it. I still get slated for never going to the, um, to the Fringe Festival, but yeah, one of these days I will go. You've got to go, <laughs> got to go to the Fringe. Right, to create the other side of the cradle, you are going to have to make sure you use the core cord that was used to create this row here. So you kind of gauge where it comes out, like here, and attach cords from the right hand side. So we're gonna go <coughs> and use these with left double half hitches meaning that we are knotting from right to left and you attach the same amount of cords on this side than you did on the other side. Let me pull this through. Mikram is all about counting your cords and working, well for me anyway, you can go asymmetrical but I'm a symmetrical girl, I like to work everything um, in symmetrical shapes. So now we have our cords attached here. So we've got four cords on the right. I haven't attached the very last cord on my way back because I need that one to attach the bead, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go back this way. And attach these as well. I said Mikram is quite, quite a long process. It's very repetitive, which is actually great for you to practice your techniques. So now we have 
two cords left. So ideally, okay, what you would do is the bead would fit onto two cords because that would create the perfect placement, but sometimes it doesn't quite fit through, then in that case it doesn't really matter. We're just going to attach one cord and then just put the bead through the other because obviously they don't both fit. So we're just going to take this one and attach it through, through here. It that went through, lovely. Yeah, easy. You could, if you wanted to, you could put both through, but you don't really have to. And because it sits nicely without. So it's attached, you just continue attaching. And then it's quite important to attach left to right again to close off the um, the over or the frame or whatever you'd like to call it. And pull it tight and then you can just pop the bead through and place it in nicely. Fabulous. Okay, so that's the way it will work. And then again, you have your little design. So again, this is rustic as well. So you could on either side so these ones are going to be set aside and you would just create more rows coming in from left to right so going to set this aside and then the cords that you have on the side you can use to either create square knots which i'm going to show you very quickly here take the two center cords and attach these to your board macrama board by the way is something that you're going to need to get mm. so on our website mm, perfect perfect little um Get as many of Assets. them as you can. Yeah, no, I've got I've got about ten, I think. Yeah, you just and you can have loads of projects on the go. Then, oh, you do, yeah. So that's good what you've done there to elevate it. <clears throat> yeah, I do because you've got space to work underneath. It obviously distorts your work a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because you can put that back later on. So you've got the cords elevated, and I'm just going to create square knots, which is really easy. So you can have a shape of a four. Coming back on the other side, you go under, and feed it through and then come back from the other side create the shape of a reverse four and then bring the cord that you've previously knotted underneath it and this is one full revolution of a square knot okay so that's one option for the design and you would just tie it in as you as you work so I'm going to do some more and then show you what I did Just carry on, do a couple more. So again, you need to gauge, you know, depending on how many cords you decide to go with your design, you would then gauge what you can use and what design you're going to. So you remove your needles, bring it back in. And then you'd have, you obviously need to, this to be a lot longer. So once you're done with your knotting, you would then bring the rows back in and attach the cords I'll set this aside, come on you. <clears throat> and you bring these in and you would attach these cords. You can use both of them if you want and bring these in to create the rows like that. And you would just continue doing the both, doing the both, doing both designs on the other side as well. It's come together really neatly, hasn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, obviously, as I said, you know, it, it, um, it takes time to create a design, um, but this is a very versatile design option because you've got all these cords that you have attached from the bottom and you can use these to create all sorts of different designs and then bring, um, feed them back in. So basically, just carry on from the section here, create the rows to come down at the bottom, and then when you're done... So you taper down to the bottom. You taper down to Do the bottom. Do you add these... At which point do you add these parts? Here? So the seat beads here, you'll obviously have some, not the seat beads, the beads, these gorgeous mm. big beads here. If you want to bring these in, these are on the left hand side and on the right hand side outmost. Okay, so we're going to add these. So beads. on existing cords already? On existing, you don't add anything else in. So you have these cords here. And then basically, this is just a macrama knot. So you have these on one, you bring your outermost cord around and you tie these in. So that's a lock set knot. Lovely. And another. So again, you can use any bead you like, however many you like. And once you've attached as many as you like, again, you bring these, taper these to the center, and you bring all these cords together once you're done, nearly finished now. This is quite a lengthy design. And you would then just use all of these cords together and tie 
a square knot around all of them, like so. And this would gather all of the cords at the bottom. Not very neat right here, but it will be when you, when you spend a bit more time doing it neat and tidy. Um, so bring that through. And this will then tighten everything up. What am I doing? I should do it again. So obviously you would have your cords and you would then tie, I'm going to just attach it to my board. Okay, so basically you use these cords on the side and then you would have obviously beads here and then beads here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you bring it into the tail. Yeah, I'm just showing you basically what you do at the bottom. Okay, okay. not necessarily with these cords, but so you tie these up. Here we are. And then tie this together. And then obviously, you don't have to do the same thing as I did at the bottom here. You can either do a spiral knot or you can do square knot. Then I cut these off and all I did is I used a brush to brush the oh, cords. Oh, and it looks it great. Gives you that, I love that, that sort crinkle. Of feather effect, yeah. If you want to get rid of the twirl a bit more, you can make it wet and then, you know, it, uh, it'll bring it out a bit. So, yeah, it's a bit long-winded. No, it's not but, at all. Um, this is the design that you can do. So it's very rustic. So make it your own, change it up, um, and, um, yeah, show me. Put it on the Wall of Fame. Thank you so much, Nadia. As always, Nadia, an amazing inspiration. Uh, don't worry, Nadia's not going anywhere, but there's a new star by a knocking at the door. <laughs> Look at this strand. Who's that, but who's that? It's full of drama. Look at this. All the drama in one gemstone strand. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good grief. Oh, crikey. Do you know what? The actual shape and the cut and the colour remind me of um, dragonfly wings for some reason. <gasps> There's no evidence to, to suggest ah. that dragonfly wings are not incorporated in this exactly. strand. I mean, who are we to say it isn't, isn't it, right? Who are we yeah. to say that there are no fairies' wings? There are no dragon scales? Look. Look. These are fabulous. Are these brand new? I've never seen them. I've only been on twice. Not on my watch. That's for Oh! These are the best Labradorite I may have ever seen in my existence as a human here on this planet. I know. I mean, you were a fairy in your previous life, weren't you? I might have yeah. seen them. I might have seen them during the Dragon Age. <laughs> look, these could oh, be fossilised fairy wings. Oh, there you go. They yep. could be. Yeah. Fairy dust. Oh. Fairy dust. Could in, be. Yep. These are oh, just, do you know what? It doesn't even matter what you're going to do with them because you've got to have them because they're that special because we don't have anything like this. This is genuine Labrador. Right, I always think this. If I was an alien visiting Earth and I came down and I thought, I want to see what they decorate themselves with these humans, and you gave me a bag of diamonds or a bag of Labradorite and said, which one do you think is the most beautiful and stunning and expensive? I'd go for this one if yep. I didn't know about, if I didn't real, if I, you know what I mean? If you came, if you didn't know anything or if you just woke up tomorrow having forgotten most of the stuff that was ever told you. You don't know, an alien might come to see what jewellery we wear. They, they want to absorb our culture, actually, Paul. They don't just want to know what we eat. They want to know what we think and what we decorate ourselves with. Okay? That's a good theory. There we go. Because right. they could be naked and we want to know why. Now, because we wear clothes, which is probably quite a bizarre thing to anybody. Like, what are you doing? No other animal does that. Like, oh, let me cover myself up. You don't see horses doing that or sheep when they're in a field. Have a look. We are, as a, as a race, the humans are quite peculiar. Now, these are blooming. I'm not wrong, beautiful. Could these have been made from the rocks that lay at the bottom of the unicorn's drinking pool? They are mine, they they are mine by the dwarves looking for angel dust. They could be. Yeah. Yeah. They could be. 
leprechauns leaping. Have a look. I just adore these. I do. I think they're fabulous. I think, do you know what? That spinny thing, that's not doing it, this strand any justice. It's way more powerful than that. Yeah, I know. Whoever took this didn't respect these. Beautiful. Look at them. It was Ben. He was, yeah, that's okay. He's going through some stuff. Now, <laughs> have a look at the greens. Have a look at the blues. Have a look at the reds. These are wow. great. Wow. I think you just have to have one um, on a single strand. I think it, to have the whole one would be quite an, uh, uh, you know, powerful piece. I think 100%. to have them singular with a little bit of wire wrapping, just like a single twirl or something like that, would make the whole thing pop. If I, if I was the leader of the humans, you would perhaps expect me to be wearing a whole necklace of these. I don't know how I became leader of the humans. Maybe the other humans actually respected my opinions. <laughs> NRG P42. 29.95. Look at them. If you are a member of the Janiki tribe, then you, I don't know why I've added Iki onto the end of my name. Uh, then you need these. They are fab. Oh. You. Lars, they are just incredible. They're just powerful. They are incredible to wire wrap. I, yep. I genuinely think, think about what they're gonna do for you later because you need these, you need to see them. You need to enjoy that 30 day money back guarantee. If you believe in myths and legends of gemstones, then this is a very, very powerful strand of Labradorite. So I will kiss them in respect. Let's give you some sterling, whoops a daisy, one piece down, sterling silver findings. Oh, They're... who doesn't need sterling silver findings? But you findings? do need them, don't Absolutely. you? Yep. Especially for Christmas makes mm -hmm. and special makes, high-end makes. If you want to be able to boast that your piece of jewellery that you are making for somebody or selling is sterling silver, then every element has to be solid sterling silver. I love the fact that you've got this tiny little clasp because so often when you buy findings, the, the clasps are huge and you really don't have a much opportunity to make something dainty with it, you know, mm -hmm. so that's beautiful. You get your bolt ring clasps here. Now I'm missing a few items from my um, board because of my butter fingerness. Um, but you have got exactly as you see here, you've got your open jump rings, you've got your crimp bead covers, your crimps, uh, you've got your ball head pins, you've got a pair of shepherd hook earring wires and you've got your bolt ring clasps. And we're giving you that for under five pounds because we are lovely, that's why. V Y R F 56, is that a 50? Yeah, it's a five. Can you see that? Yes. Read that code Cannot really it. well. I mean, I can see it, but I have to do... Five, fifty-six. Yeah, yeah, I can no. see it now if I do that, but slightly... Go back. Can you see it now? No, I can't. Mm. Still haven't got around to that optician's appointment. Now, number four, knock on the door. I'd say it's age, but we are the same age. I mean, can't say that. It is probably age. <laughs> it is po probably age. <laughs> I'm 62, how old are you? No, I'm but, not really. <laughs> Could be. Sometimes I feel like in my 90s, to be fair. No, you don't, you've got all the energy, do you? Oh, no, you're joking. I wake up sometimes really tired, so I've overcome that now by going for a really long walk in the mornings, oh, and it's working. It does help when you get a bit of But I don't want to get out of bed to do it. I to really make myself. Well, not now anyway, it's too bloom and cold. I did, I got up at six o'clock this morning. Oh, you're brave. But Actually, the sunrise was lovely. Anyway, no one cares about what time I got out of bed, do they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, I was six minutes late and I told you two hours before and it's because the satellite navigation system predicted told it. You. And were you six minutes late or were you Actually, eight minutes late? No, it told me I was going to be 14 minutes late. I ended up being just six minutes late, so oh, it's fine. There you go. That's not to me. You excuse me. And I did spend about a few minutes of my journey in the slow lane because I had a sneezing fit. So, you oh, know, you okay. have to account for that too. <laughs> Amethyst faceted slabs. These are February's birth gemstone. Again, these are a gemstone that have a heavy association when it comes to things like crystal healing. Uh, the name came from, and I learned this from Melanie Blakey, and I want to kiss her every time I think of it. Um, so amethyst in um, some language, Greek or something. Um, they Is it Greek or is it, what's the other one they te used to teach at school? Latin. Um, Ameth is anti-alcohol and um, 
men of the cloth used to wear rings of the, of amethyst because they pre believed it prevented them from getting drunk. Kings and lords would have an amethyst goblet, which and everybody at the table had an amethyst goblet. And while their guests were drinking wine, they would drink water. They get their guests really drunk in order to negotiate with them um, is... into their way of thinking. Wow, amethyst, you little so trickster. Cool. I know. That's that's one little fact of, of this stone that I actually never knew. Yeah, me Quite either. Quite cool to know it's about. Cool, yeah, isn't it? it is. I want an amethyst goblet. Yeah. I take oh, that I'll thing everywhere I went. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Are you on the wine, Jenny? No, absolutely not. It's my amethyst goblet. No. <laughs> I bet oh. you could even find something like that, you know. I'd love to. Um, a bet. goblet. I'd love to have a goblet. I'd love to look at my table and it'd be like a medieval table. Oh, yes. I'd love that. Is it when you get older you get excited by like what my Christmas table is going to look like? I know. It changes, you know. It was like that when you're six and it goes away when you're a teenager and then it comes back as you get older. Yeah. We're not going to say what age it changes, you know. Well, just enjoy life. Whatever phase you're in. It's all a learning curve, kid. Mm. No. Look at those. <laughs> Aren't they? But look at those chocolate swirls running through these. These are like um, these are like a quail's egg. Yes, that's what they remind me of. That's right. Oh, I used to have quails. I used to have. They used to lay eggs. Remember that? That's right. You we have quails so... on the farm. I don't go to Waitrose and buy essential <laughs> quails eggs, which always make me laugh when I see them in the. Have you ever been into Waitrose and seen their essentials range? Essentials. Yeah. yeah so no. it's basically like Tesco Value, or you could be in Sainsbury's, but the Waitrose version. So. Where Tesco Value would have like essential penne pasta, 12p, okay, right. uh, Waitrose have essential quail's eggs because Tarquin, <laughs> darling, they are essential. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love that. I, I want to be, I want to uh, be that person that finds quail's eggs essential in life. But they are, aren't they? They are that fabulous colour. You've got that incredible pattern. And these are, re these are of real interest. I think they're really pretty. I love the I love that the fact that they're so big as well. They so are, we're wire definitely. wrapping around these. Mm. We're wearing these as a huge statement necklace, maybe. We're putting these in a ring if you are that bougie. We have got for you your autumn jasper. Now, if you love Chrysocola, you'll love this gemstone. $14.95. You've got a lot of puffy ovals here. I think this is gonna be really good as well for Sue Tash. I think it'd be great for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are gorgeous. So you had quails. Did you eat the quails' eggs? No, because they never laid enough for me. It was always no, no. I had I had a handful. They're little, also. aren't they? Yeah, they're tiny, tiny, tiny little birds. Yeah, I love them, uh, but I never laid enough eggs. Yeah, but yeah, they're cute. Them. Yeah, they're lovely, interesting birds. Yeah, they are little quailies. Um, they're not quails' eggs. They go well with the kid, birdie. actually. Just saying. Look, Amazonite. Aren't they lovely? Wow, look at that. Where's that rough formation of these will go with these, won't you? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just peering what else you've got. These look really great. Now, ordinarily, we'd see these drill hold this way. I really like their drill hold like that. I think, actually, Nadia, these are going to be great just put straight into a necklace like that. They're striking, oh, they're strong actually, colour. Actually, um, pearl knotted again with a different colour cord mm. to give it a bit of yeah. pop of colour. Oh, look at that. Now, now you're talking. Mm -hmm. Those are gorgeous together, aren't they? Yeah. These are beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, I really like these. And you've got a lot to your strand here. Again, these could be cufflinks. Yep. If you love that colour and you want them in the cufflink, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29 on my strand. You should have there or thereabouts. That colour, that shape. Quirky, quirky shape. Mm. I really like that. And they're so popular at the moment. I see a lot of my friends actually these days like to wear genuine gemstones. Maybe it's because I told them about us, you know. You go shopping here, so they like to wear genuine gemstones. And a lot of them like the quirky shapes, just like me. I think there's been so much more um, attention put on genuine gemstones, though, I think, um, from different shopping channels that we have in the UK and around the world to um, different places that sell jewellery. Semi-precious gemstones are, are hot on the market. And I think people think they can get something that's real and it's out of the earth, or they could just get something that's coloured and it's, you know whatever else i think probably if they could choose they would go for something that was natural something Absolutely. that came out i mean from the i earth. mean who wouldn't who wouldn't exactly. want to wear rather you can go you can buy something for the same price or even more expensive that is you know handmade not genuine or you can buy something here and make your own with it yeah 
and it's absolutely 100% natural, so it's definitely worth it to me. I absolutely mm. agree. £14.95. CYG P13 is your item code. We're going to give you some more Amazonite, but this time we're going to give you... These are kind of more like... What's that shape called? Not a square, a longer a one. Tubes, rectangles. Oblong rectangles. Or it could be an oblong, couldn't it? Yeah. I always get... Oblo no, these are oblongs, aren't they? I don't know. Quirky, quirky oblongs. <laughs> so, this is nursery school stuff. Sometimes, Paul, I've got so many words in my head that I forget one essential word, okay? One. It's going to get me one of those things you put shapes in holes. I remember trying to hammer the wrong shape into the wrong <laughs> outline, though. And, I'm and stubbornness. <laughs> I will make that go in there. Give, pass me that hammer. And who <laughs> says it doesn't go in there? <laughs> I'll make it go. <laughs> will not conform. <laughs> I was not 35. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed hammers anymore. Now, we have got for you here these graduated faceted... What your neighbour? My neighbours don't like me with a hammer. <laughs> because of home decor, yeah? Not violence. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Just clarifying. <laughs> Whatever you say, Jenny. <laughs> Jerry Maker does not condone violence with hammers. Uh, all right, 100, uh, six, triple four, six, number five. These were the pearl in between. They're gorgeous. Mm. We haven't seen much of this gemstone around lately. Look at that together. I just love it with pink. Mm, no, I do. It's really it, purple amethyst, actually, is my favourite to put with... Um, then you turquoise. shall have it, my yeah. dear. Look at those together. Uh, what about smoky quartz we had earlier? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, the little hearts in between. How's oh, that? Oh, the hearts. Do we have oh, we haven't got them. That was in the... But I have got these hearts. Oh, oh wow. Look at those. Garnet hearts. They're pretty, aren't they? That's nice together. A bit juicy. Um, but very, very pretty with these. I've got some wheels, actually in between that would create absolute gorgeousness. Really like that combination. £12.95, you know what to do. Do you know what you could do? You could put this with that uh, Janiki strand. That's nice. They're actually kind of tropical together, isn't it? They work, don't they? Is that really pair? nice. Because you've got that. Oh, look at that. Isn't it lovely? Labradorite any day. Actually, if you go onto my, my Facebook page, you'll find that I constantly say that Labradorite is the stone to have. Yeah, I think, I the think you're right. The stone to have. It is. I think so. And again, if you are wanting to become a member of the Janiki tribe that I haven't quite thought through yet, uh, Labradorite is going to be our leading gemstone. Everyone's going to come and live on the land. The Janiki tribe. The Janiki tribe. <laughs> we are the Labradorite people. Cool. Imagine I if I requested at my funeral, not any tombstone, is that what they're called? Yeah, I want a labradorite one. Gravestone. Or a plate. Like one of Just those that you put on top. Yeah. No, because that would suggest I'm being burnt and I'm not. Oh. I can't okay. stand the idea. In, really? case, like, in case I'm not actually dead. Buried alive isn't okay, but I could gnaw my way out. <laughs> <laughs> With these gnashes, <laughs> and like a beaver. What number? I haven't got anything in there, darling. What was it? No. Oh, it's the rose quartz I already took out. <laughs> no, but I have seen Kill Bill, so there is the chance that I could get out of that. Okay, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. You need to goes. watch that. Is it good? Oh, you would love Ooh, it. Cool. You need okay. to watch both episodes, probably tonight. You would love it. So, anyhow. Here we have, remember children are watching and it is half term, so only watch films that you are allowed to watch and please make sure you've got your parents' permission. Here we have for you 320 carats of rose quartz. These wheels I just got out and I did think they would go very well indeed with the arms and I thought that was really fresh together. Sure they do. They do, don't they? Mm. But you could put them in between the uh, hearts if you wanted to keep it pure rose quartz. You could also break it up with a bit of a nugget shape. We've got those um, free forms. These? These. Oh, this, yeah. Which one? Um, actually, I'm looking at the, um, the strands These. you have on top. Yeah, These. Either, either of those would work really well. Look at that. That's a good kind mm. of combo, isn't it? Beautiful. But then we've got, you could put yep. the pinks in it. Is this <gasps> bloodstone? Ooh. It's lovely. That's really it? nice. What is that? Well, I thought it was bloodstone, but it could be just, it's crazy they sag it, which looks like, look at oh, that wow. one. Look how psychedelic that one is. 
And that one too. They're fabulous. Look, that looks like moon kite. They're going to go at three o'clock, so we won't look at them yet. It's a bit teasy. Now, £9.95 for these. Again, great cufflinks ideas. Uh, wonderful sort of sweetie bracelets uh, or sweetie necklace style that you could incorporate this one into. YWGP83, under £10, gets you a genuine gemstone strand. Uh, don't forget to text us in. We'd love to hear from you. We are super busy this afternoon. 60777 is the number. Uh, we're going to give you some little bars now. Now, now, now. Oh, now. wow. Are these? I think these will... Base metal bars. So you can they? put these. You can have one on a leather cord or they probably graduate, don't they? Let's have a look. So you've got, let me show you first, because you've got the drill hole. So one of these on a leather cord is cool. Or let's do some at. Boop, boop, ba -doo, doo -doo. Oh, are they all the same? They're all the same. So you could skirt them along something, couldn't you? These are cool. Do you know, that's really cool. I've got my family coming over from Swaziland for a visit. Um, you could actually oh. take these and maybe stamp initials on them or something yes, like that. Yes, that'd like, be amazing. Make gifts for the whole family with that. Oh, I like that yeah. idea. That'd be so cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. These are really amazing. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I like these a lot. So you have got the silver on base metal pendant. You get a five pack. WRG P09, less than a pound each. Make a good clunky nice. sound together. They could go at the bottom of a dream catcher. Oh, yes. And make that tingle tangle noise. Or oh, again, as I was saying earlier, uh, Christmas tree bells, if you have them as the yes. little, um, what do you call that thing inside the bell? What's uh, it called? It's got a name, actually. The middle of a bell. What's that called? No, that, that the dingling. Dingling, yeah, let's call it the dingling. <laughs> Dear. I've got that, I've got that song in my, what's it called? <laughs> my ding a ling in my head now. <laughs> the thing is, when you start to talk about bells, there's many places where it could go wrong. Now, we're going to give you, oh, I love these. Right. So we launched these actually oh, on okay. Sunday and they were part of, um, hang on, we sold out of these. Oh, they're different because, oh, hang on a minute, let me think. Ah, oh, these are so much they're fun. They're so lovely, aren't they? I can see them packed full of pearls and tiny gemstones and you know those little microfester that we had all along, you can just pack these full. Beautiful. Aren't they great? Yes. These are hair clips, you get five of them. Oh, they're a different um, style to the ones that we had with Sheila on okay. the bridal show on Sunday. Um, but uh, honestly, they're such a great idea because you can weave in and out of them. Mm. You can put soutache onto them, which is going to look fabulous. <gasps> you could Because you've got all these holes. Or you could just simply use them as they are. You can put them in resin. You could decorate them with ribbons. Or else you could make like a bridal piece where you have something across your forehead and yeah. you have um, have these on either side of your head. Do you know well, you could I mean? have the chain yeah. going and have them yeah. on either side of your head, but then at the back you could have, it could secure Ooh. in your veil. That would be, oh yeah, would be, oh, so much you can so do So we were talking those. about yeah. doing that and then having the chain yeah. across. There's so many things you can do with these and they just look fabulous. They look fantastic and they're such a great price, honestly. Oh, honestly, yeah. If I were to get married again, wow, that's great. You can't do Turn them it. for that price. These were four ninety five. Why are you doing them for one? Yeah, I promise you, they were four ninety five. Okay. What do you mean, whoops? Whoops. Well, it's at that price now, so get it. One ninety five. If you've got a basket open and you don't put them in, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Are they going to sell out? They're going to, aren't they? I'm just going to have one in my hair now. Because <sighs> they're so pretty. They're also quite sturdy, I have to say. They're very grippy. Yeah. They're very grippy. You'd use those in ultimate grippage. Well, Kath, well done. You've got six. Barbara's got two. Sally's got two. Multi-buy them at that price. These were supposed to be five pounds. They were supposed to be four ninety-five. those. Never mind whoopsies, you. I've put my son in my hair for good measure. 
Now, wheels. Lapis lazuli wheels are next. I'm thinking mm -hmm. these with these. I love those striking blues. Any blue together just looks great, doesn't it? But look at the <coughs> wheels. Would you use them face on or side on? Depends on the design. You could use them either way. Um, I quite like, I've seen several designs where they're kind of used as buttons. Yeah. So they're flat up uh, in, in several soutache pieces where they're actually sewed on with a seat bead through. If, does that make any sense? Yeah. You lay them flat and you use the seat bead as kind of like a stopper. Um, and then you sew them onto your satash piece. That looks absolutely amazing. But in, in jewellery pieces, I think it looks great just the way it is because it makes makes everything stand out. Indeed, um, yeah, I totally agree yeah. with you. I think this is just a lovely, lovely strand. And we were talking about lapis earlier on, mm. weren't we? And how, what, a, what a treat it is to get knowing what uh, the process of having to actually get this entails. Horse back to the mine um, and then only being able to bring back what you and the horse can carry. Uh, and, and the fact you're in Afghanistan, you know, it, there are many factors that go against us having this gemstone. So to have it at such yeah. a great... I think it makes you appreciate the fact having these gemstones even more. That's what I like about us as a, as a company is that we really reveal a lot of the facts about the gemstones. I find it, for me personally, purchasing the gemstones makes them a lot more precious to me personally, uh -huh. knowing about these facts. So I think it's brilliant. Me too. I yeah. love it. I think it's magical. Fourteen ninety five J. Sorry, G K R U fifteen. 100 carats of lapis lazuli. Uh, now the crazy lace agates that we were showing a mo ago. A mo ago? A mo ago. What do I do with them? There they are. We, I think these are. Mm. Literally, I know what they're called crazy lace. Look, they're psychedelic. That's natural. That pattern is mother nature. Just, you know, doing a bit of art. Look at that one. Exactly, that's what it is. That's really so appealing about the whole gemstone business, really, mm. if you think about it. Mother, Mother Nature. Nature. Oh, jinx. Oh. We're like twins. We said it, don't worry. Oh, we can't talk now. Okay. Oh. Naja. Now you can speak, I said your name. Okay, can I say? I don't know what the thing of, um, of that whole jinx thing is anyway. Don't know how um, it works either. I think it's more girls that do it. I don't know. We'll, we'll chew the fat on that and, uh, of course, we can uh, invite you to tell us your tales of jinx So we'll see you after the break. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. 
The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the program guide on our website. Okay, we got that crazy lace agate. Okay, we, well, when we both looked at this, we were like, is it bloodstone? Is it this? If, is it that? Have a look at this formation. Amazing. Yeah, Isn't I just always just... wonder how actually, what actually happens at that precise moment when this pattern is... Look at that. That's my favourite. Every that. single one. So, let's have, so we're going to have a good old butchers at this. Look at that. Then I'm going to move to the next one. That's why we thought it was bloodstone. Yeah, then definitely are you ready? has got a lot of bloodstone characteristics, doesn't it? I'd say. And then you've got these incredible mm. purples mm. in this one. Mother Nature's just gone wild. Look, she's psychedelic. She is. She's having a party. Look. How fabulous. Reds and greys and yellows and whites and mustards. Gorgeous. What a fascinating strand this is. Every side. It is like a, an art board of wonderfulness. Mm, is, yeah. This is the nicest strand of agate ever. I, like, I mean, agate I like. It comes in a lot of different um, colours. I, like I like the feel of it. I think it's fabulous. It's not, my f it's not one of my favourites, but I like it because I know it's a genuine gemstone. This is the... I love it. I love it. This is the best strand of agate I think I've ever seen. It's definitely the most interesting. It's really quite different, isn't it? I'd I'd say. You know, I have to say, I like, I like these crazy shapes. It's, it suits the actual name of the gemstone perfectly as well. You wonder whether Mother Nature's trying to tell a story like cave paintings do. I'm just going to turn that one that you said is your favourite upside favorite. down. This, to Look me, it. looks like crashing sea against the rocks in a stormy sky above with all of these... Maybe I can see faces in here, so, I mean, that, to me, is drama. I mean... Mm. Do you find totally. that mad? Somewhere now, crazy formations like that are happening. Mother Nature is just working it out and, and crazy things are happening, bubbling As we away. Speak, yeah, you never know in, in, you know, who knows how many years, hundreds, thousands of years it actually takes to create something like that. Yeah, because it's well, about well, the Earth's temperature yeah, uh -huh. and about the way it moves and about how things move on top of each other. No, wow. it's amazing. Just... Absolutely. Mesmerising. And think, you've got those yeah. edges. I'd put one of these in a ring. I want to see this every day. I want to see it. I want to look at it. I want to see it on me. Definitely. I think if, if you were to go and give somebody a genuine gemstone gift, you know, don't do something unusual. Don't give them, you know, everyday run-of-the-mill gemstone that everybody wears. Give them something that is unique and stands out like this strand. I Definitely. think that would be something I would gift someone. This has a difference. This is a, is a statement. What a wonderful strand. BOV, our 01, 1995. Should be a lot more than that, but it's not. Uh, this is a star buy for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is your item code. What did you just say in my ear, Becky? That's not your... This is brand new. You've never seen it before. We're going to bring the price down. 
massively. It's, in fact, the price drop is almost as dramatic as the gemstone. Not by a whisker, not by a whistle, not by a few pennies and pounds. Yep. 12 95 just get it. Get two, get two if you can. It's lush though, isn't it? Oh, it's great. I mean, if you, like you were saying, make a ring out of each of those pieces, you could sell easily each piece for 15 pounds, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So definitely imagine how many rings you can make out of that strand. So you've got quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces from what I can see on your hand there. So imagine that. You could make so much. Yeah. Good. I think it would look fabulous in the ring. Yeah, I'd, I'd want to put it in a ring. Gallery wire. Gallery oh, wire yes. with this. Easy peasy, mm. lemon squeezy. De oh, they had some gallery wire. Oh, great. Be on the... Uh, oh, only single figures, Oliver says. Oh, we'll give you an example of what gallery wire is, because you can even go around little tiny gemstones with gallery wire. I love gallery wire. It's fabulous. Isn't that, it just easy? It offers you the opportunity to create some really high-end looking pieces, um, even for people that, you know, that don't do the wire wrapping, the intricate one, mm -hmm. but still gives you the opportunity to actually do that. So be really easy yeah, around something like this. You've got those lovely edges to follow as well. Uh, do make sure you are checking out your baskets because, oh, and you are, I can see you now. I had a little bit of a hiccup, I couldn't see you, so Leah sorted it. Uh, Sheila's got two. Maxine in the Shire has two. Loads of you, in fact, um, indeed, there's lots of you buying um, from all over the shop. Uh, it's lovely to have your company here this afternoon. 90 carats of uh, what I think is the best agate strand we have. I love it. Mm, that's love fabulous. It. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Now, um, we'll give them a little kiss and we'll send them on their way. Now the rose quartz hearts, a lot of you have been asking, because we've been grabbing those, they're coming up in about half an hour, well, about 20 minutes time. 20 miniatos. Hey, it gets your stash going for Valentine's, never too soon, oh, though. Valentine's. Never too soon, yeah, I'm, I'm jumping ahead here, but it's so, never too soon, I think. Or if you're a maker and a doer, you need to be um, ahead. Yeah, do so, you know what else is quite popular with these? I've seen quite a few of is actually key rings with hearts on them, and they're oh, the perfect size for that as well. So back charms, charms, key yeah. rings, yeah, that sort of thing. So, oh, I'd love that. Imagine if you just bought a new kind, I'd you like know? that little rose. Oh yes, yeah. so genuine cute. gemstone key ring. Who wouldn't? That'd be Why lovely. Not? Would be lovely, mm. wouldn't it? It's quite exciting, isn't it? If you get a new car. when um, when my daughter got her car. I went and bought her a nice, it was a horse actually, a silver horse and a silver stirrup that went on her um, keychain. She loves it. She's like, oh, I love it. It's just a little um, exciting thing. It's just association, you know. You look at it and you think, oh, I've got a new car. It's so cool. So, oh, and now they, then they can pick you up and take you places. Mm. Now, <laughs> these. Hello. That's nice. Isn't I think I've it seen gorgeous. an engine like that before, actually. Graduated amethyst, is it? We had those graduated rounds earlier of rose quartz. And again, do you remember when we staggered them up with the, um, with the Howlite? Mm. These could do the same thing. Is this dog tooth amethyst? It's gorgeous. Really love, feels amazing against the skin, you by the way. You get a bit as well off the swallow rounds at you the do. back as well. So you've got plenty to make bracelets out of as well. They could be charms, they yeah. could be tassels. I've never seen the strand, I think it's lovely. Yeah, it's the first time that I've seen a graduated amethyst strand like that. Oliver's seen it before. Am I the only person that calls you Oliver? In the world? How funny, because that is your name, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> if you went, actually, Jen. My name's actually Alexandra. <laughs> I don't know if that's a name. Alexandra, that's actually quite a cool name. I just made it up. You may use it. Christen your children, <laughs> Alexandra. These would look lovely together, wouldn't they? In between. Let's I just love the colour combination regardless. It's very nice. It is, isn't it? Mm. Let's have a look at those shoulders on here. Because, like you said, you do get a very generous amount mm. of the smaller rounds. That's lovely. Our temptation here, I think, is to just strand it like this or maybe put a little seed bead in between each one or not. You could them. stretch it. I mean, nothing prevents you from adding in a little bit different touch of colour with different seed beads or even pearl knotting them mm. again, you mm. know, because these are perfect rounds 
to do that with so so much again you can do vcky06 20 pounds and 95 pence no dog's teeth have been harmed in the making of this strand it literally um just it actually if you look here you know the pattern dog's tooth i'm guessing you know you get like a herringbone or a dog's tooth i'm guessing yeah, that's where it gets its name from is simply for because of the formation i mean i don't think dog's teeth are in here no, pro sure probably not. not. Mm. But you never know. Could be theory, you know. Could be dragon's teeth. Yeah, dragon's we teeth. We just don't know. Dinosaurs, no, dragons. dragons are the same thing. We've established that in the first hour. Now. Ooh, these are fun. These. I, I've seen these before and I love them. They remind me of poppies, but blue poppies. Oh, like in a poppy field. God, yes. Do you think I'm mad or do you, do you sort of see where I'm going? I mean, I know you, you think I'm mad, but oh, I mean, where, in relation to this. You know, you're putting me on the spot here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody actually messaged in to ask me if I was on the same meds as them earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I just think I'm a normal human being. Now. Oh, this would be fun with the rhombus. Where are they? Oh, where are those okay. rhombus? Just because we had... The, I can't do the R very well, but you know rhombus. what I'm talking about. We haven't got them. They went... Uh, they, they went... Uh, they I, was like, I just away. like the quirky shapes together. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, yes. Hi there, now. obsidian. Do you want a hand there? Because you've only got well, two. I, I'm, I'm, mm, do I? They just go great, don't they? Oh, oh these are massive. They are. Big rounds, them. But these kite shapes, upside down that way, look like little gemstones. That, like, the, if oh. you were to draw a gemstone shape, someone said, draw a gemstone, draw yeah, a diamond that's right. for me. That's right. That's what yeah. they draw, isn't it? They would work well together if you, because they would slot, um, side by side quite nicely so if you were to make like a flower shape or um yeah flower shape then have pearls in the middle as a kind of accent piece i like them up like to. that yeah. they'd be great in a crown oh yeah wouldn't they uh -huh. oh when i am queen of the gemstones f a qvr 60 1495 uh is your jasper your graduated step cup um Pairs. I thought it, we were calling these prayers. You think I've got a crown? No, I don't own one. I am, I am not treated like royalty in my family, Oliver. They see me as a lowly annoyance. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence. FQV R60. If we were um, in the Lion Witch in the Raw Wardrobe, I'd probably be Edmund, the outcast. I mean, I wouldn't go off with the queen. Or well, maybe I would. She was kind of fun. You would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd be like, Aslan's great and everything, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can he make it always winter and uh, never summer? No. No. I just get well into what Lion Witch and the Wardrobe did you. I don't think it was a story when I was little that was It was told definitely much, a so. story when you were little. Hmm. It was written, like, ages ago. No, I was saying in Germany, I don't think oh, it's a Germany, big... Oh, in Germany, it didn't yeah. go through to Germany. I don't remember, maybe, but it was not a story I was told. My mum was used to read out of storybooks from Hans Christian Andersen. <gasps> me too, I love those. Do, I know, my favourite, my mum used to tell and me. And the Brothers Grimm. Yeah, love them. I so. love the Brothers mm. Grimm tales. They're amazing, and Hans Christian Andersen is amazing, the best ones. So, yeah, these are the stories I know, uh, more or less. The porridge pot one used to get me every time. I used to love that. I used to love it. Which one was the porridge pot? Um, the one that uh, the oh, with the, the Goldilocks. Pot. No, no, that's not the Goldilocks one. Um, it just kept going and making porridge and making porridge and making oh, porridge. I, I think that. that's a Brothers Grimm one. Okay. And then oh. another Brothers Grimm one was oh, Hansel and Gretel. Is that a yeah, Brothers yeah, Grimm that's, tale, that's isn't it? Yeah, Brothers Grimm. Yeah, there's so many. I adored them. I used to have a whole. But even now, I'd read it. If I had. I mean, they're great. They're the greatest stories. And did you used to watch this? No, we'll talk about this later. Uh, <laughs> getting well into this now. Um, the Three Ravens. Oh, no. yes. That's oh, a great and, one. And the, the brothers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With oh. the golden yarn. The golden goose eggs. Yes. Now, let's have a look. Ooh, what's that? Does this look like to you? I feel like I've got a, a story on mine. It looks like the sun 
blazing and it is just rising over some planet. I don't think it's Earth. Do you see what I mean? That oh, is yes. like a it blazing Oh, yes. It looks like in sun. space, actually. If yeah. you look at like a, a shot on Pluto or something like that, yeah. you've got the... Uh, massive sun rising behind it with space in the background or something like that definitely but yeah. it's super on fire yes that's it i mean the cool. sun is usually super on fire isn't but it's it? even more super on fire there will it keep keep going on fire and just never stop being on fire until it implodes and becomes a what does it become does it become a dwarf so yeah. what happens if the sun does that how long have we got uh, well, well after we did, I think. How do you know? We've got enough time. How do they know they've never landed on the sun? Well, that's what I mean. You can't land on the sun, so how do they know for sure? Well, how do we know without knowing? Oh, they've calculated. There's been some maths. Okay. Well, we can't, we can't do the math. I, didn't, I, can't I just do. thought of that, and then I'm now thinking, wait, what happens when the sun goes? Are we all in darkness? Will we all die? Yeah, it'll eat us. It'll we'll burn up. It'll suck us in. It is half term, so let's just watch. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that. Aslan will save us. Exactly. Aslan will save us. Oh, I'll tell you what will save us, the bumblebees. Oh, there we you must go. save That's them. It. Yeah, no, they'll come, they'll come and save us. Oh, these are gorgeous. I've seen those before, I think. Gosh, I've Do spent all this? this time worrying about things that don't matter when I should have been worrying about if the sun stops burning. Now, tassels. Nice. These, these are so dramatic. The colours are bright and they're bold, but they're also, um, they're also calm. Do you the know, dove exactly, grays. I was about to say that. They're really well balanced by the, um, the pop of yellow, but it's got the grey to kind of bring it back down to earth, really. Aren't these yeah, wonderful? Love those. Um, now, Becky, could you tell me, um, have these been heated? Have these been coloured? Are they natural? Right, so these are totally natural again. Does it, do, how do we get this bright orange naturally? It's absolutely wonderful. Honestly, it makes you wonder how, again, how these evolve when they're down in the earth's belly. It's fabulous, mm. isn't it? Love them. You have Love to do one. something that really crowns them. Yeah, that one I keep getting drawn to as well, but I really like this one. I love, and, and I like that the shape is there to fit. Look at the, that one, the lines across the that The lines one. across that, effect. that looks like a volcano eruption. Doesn't it? Mm, it does. These could actually signify volcano eruptions. You've got those bright, intense colours. This would look great in a sort of chevron style design. So you'd have maybe three. So you've got your biggest one and then you'd go maybe two or three. Mm -hmm. as a, do you know what I'm talking about? Kind of like a chevron style yeah. where you have maybe a figure of eight in between, like a leather weave and just have these. Does, does that make any sense? So you, a chevron like sort of pointing down. So you'd have these, just three. Is that right? So you just have your three. So you hold these up, maybe even with a tassel at the end, you know, so you yeah. just have these three obviously close Oh, and together. then have the macrame going down. Or the... Not even necessarily macram, or just even um, seed beaded like that together. So you'd have your tassel in between, maybe a maxi dress, something like that, to complement it, and have a really long um, chain or something like that to go with it. Gorgeous. They're fabulous. Love them. They're brilliant. Because obviously you really want to show them off. I think I, mm. there's temptation to just keep them, because I quite like looking at these. I, I, just, I think they're fascinating. Absolutely. And look what nature does. Nature's fabulous. P-A-V-R-O-3, remember it like Pavarotti, P-A-V-R-O-3, £14.95 pence is your price, 1.7 carats of bumblebee jaspers. No uh, bumblebees are actually harmed in the making of bumblebee jasper, we're just giving it that name because they are a bit bumbly. Now we're going to give you something else fabulous. Oh, I love these. I've got these in a bracelet at home. I should have worn it today. Your Murano glass. These oh, are fabulous. Oh, look at that. They've got like an eternal inner glow. Oh, look at that. They remind me That's of... so pretty. Oh, they remind me of marbles that I had when I was a kid that I used to cherish. You know, you had a box yeah. of marbles. With all the cool things yeah. in the middle. You had your real special ones. You had one or two that were really expensive in, you know, in child terms. Yeah. Expensive, kind of like... 
um, you have to haggle for them. I went the through a good one. year of a marble stage yeah. in my life. So did I. Look at them. They're beautiful. One, two, three, four, Merry five, Christmas six. Christmas again. Woo! They're gorgeous. The sparkle's gorgeous. The colour's mm. gorgeous. Really like those. You could put some of these in between. I've put these right. I've got a bracelet with some rose quartzy colours. They're not rose quartz, but they're like this, but they're mixed up all in the one gemstones. And I love them. I love them. Let's give them to you. These are they hand blown, these Murano? They are, aren't they? Turquoise coloured for $5.95. So less than a pound each. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six of them. They're less than a pound each. They're so perfect. How do they get them so perfect? I don't They're know. Hand -blown. I don't know. It's mad, isn't it? Just love them. Look at the swirls. Look at the formation of these. I like the fact when you can buy something like that and know that it's not just come out of some factory. Me too. It's entirely handmade. Love that. Me too. It looks fabulous, mm. doesn't it? I love those. Loads of you coming through for these. They're going to go really lovely with those uh, rose quartz hearts. Oh, everybody's bought them time too. Why are they called pasta? Why are they called pasta beads? Is that what they're called? Pasta beads. Um, I don't know why they're called pasta beads or pasta beads. Mm, I've never eaten pasta that looks like that. And don't eat them and don't mix them with pasta. Uh, lots of you there, Margaret, Joe, Angela's got two, Tracy's got two, Candy in Greater London, we've got Cornwall, um, the Shire, Patsy, Margaret, Tracy, Samantha. Oh, apples. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's like Hungry Hippos. <laughs> I love that game. No brain power required. I'm still trying to get my kids to play with me again, but for some reason they don't want to play anymore. Yeah. Can we play Hungry Hippos? <laughs> um, well, we're 18, so we're going out. But, I mean, maybe later. You know, all you want is a game of Hungry Hippos. No one listens. Aww. Now, these, oh, I love these little apples. They're very cute. Oh, look at that. Christmassy. The C words again. They are Christmassy yeah. though. What do you mean we've only got one more day? Can we start talking about Christmas massively as soon as November hits? We can, can't we? <gasps> oh, I can bring Where's the time back. going in life? I know. Where is it going? So here we have a gorgeous strand of crackled apples. Oh, a crackled apple, please. And you've got that mystic coating. So the crackling is done just heating the quartz. And these are genuine quartz. I love the fact that these are that shape. And I think these are going to marry up really nicely. You can put them edge to edge. They're brand new. They've never been seen before. And I think they're just waiting to become <coughs> part of your collection. Do you know what? These make a perfect monochrome piece, except they've got a little bit of a twist because they've got that coating on them. Mm. So you kind of got a monochrome, but not. They're like bubbles, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, no, they are. I love them. Yeah, I like these a lot. I like them a lot. You could actually, if you place them, I'm just trying to, to see what sort of designs you could make with them. If you kind of place them fa facing the, the narrow end to each other and then maybe put a, like the glass in between, the mm. Murano glass in between to separate them, you could make a little pattern sort of Make like a little Does bow that make out sense? of them yeah. as well, couldn't oh, you? Oh, look at that. Channel set. 9.95 for these 120 Stunning. carats of rainbow coated crackled quartz. OIG P91 is your item code. Um, a great price, a fabulous strand that we've never seen before that is brand new. Yeah, Can we nice. do these big ones? I love these. Me and Nadia like these a very lot, don't we? Yeah, we do. Obsidian. Oh, look at that. It's so nice. It's gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Really love this. Ready? It's a planet. Oh, it is. Come to the dark side. Oh, I love them. That could be what the moon looks like, the sun looks like once it stops burning. Now, these will go really nicely with our next star by those rose quartz hearts. These are big, big rounds. Ooh. 
Love them. Love them. That amazing. So this is silver obsidian. We're used to seeing mm. golden mm. obsidian, but we get a silver background to these. And they're massive. Do you know I what put it straight yeah. in my bracelet. Sorry. That's right. No, sorry. I'm just trying to, the minute you turn it around, it kind of makes me think of the Milky Way when you yes, twist exactly. it like that. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Got the star with all of the, you know, the peppering of the stars in the background is beautiful. I think these look straight in a bracelet just look really dramatic, don't yeah, they? Yeah, no, it would. You'd have to put that in a bracelet. Definitely. The, Love them. the nice thing about that, you can just make a stretchy with that. So easy. Put some in between, mm. put some silver beads in between maybe. Make it yeah. bling, make it sparkle. NAK Y39. Let's give you a fabulous price. Nine pounds and 95 pence. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pound each. We are definitely, well, under that. Uh, but let's do those rose quartz hearts. It's time for our first star buy of the hour. Okay, I've been uh, showing you these throughout uh, the afternoon show so far. You're getting here a beautiful colour, a wonderful gemstone. This is rose quartz, and these are such pretty, pretty hearts. You've got a nice puffy heart, so it's not too skinny. You can take a hold of these edges. You can see those edges there. So there's a lot you can do with them already. We've been talking loosely about this gemstone um, put, being put into handbag charms. I think it will work so well with handbag charms. I think you might want to get your crackle quartz to go with the little apples and just suspend it from that. I think if you're into crystal healing, these are going to suit you really, really well. One of these just suspended on a long silver chain will look gorgeous. You can put this gemstone with such a lot. We've been placing rose quartz next to amethyst all day, haven't we? And we know it works. When you've got such a big gemstone, oh, maybe this is a new baby piece. Maybe it's going to go for a little girl oh, with that colour. But how great is it with that, that blue chalcedony? Gorgeous. It's such a subtle pink. It can go with so many different stones mm. because it picks up the undertone of a lot of gemstones that you place it with. You know, it's, it's gorgeous. It feels so yeah. smooth when you when you just honestly, it's just gorgeous, gorgeously smooth when you touch it. FIGP forty one. You've got a lot to this strand. I'm going to count them for you because these could go into cufflinks for the groom, the groomsman, groomsman, ushers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 20 on my strand you should have there or thereabouts they're so sizable they're huge mm. less than a pound each seems very fair i would if i if you have your own craft stall or you're going to a fair christmas fair maybe and you're selling things what about just separating these putting them on a keychain mm. and selling them for five pounds each You'd Do you be know making that a major tea sale, I think, mm -hmm. because everybody likes keychains, everybody likes genuine gemstones, and just about everybody likes hearts. I'd say so. so. Absolutely. Perfect present for somebody. FIGP41, lots of you coming in for this. This is your star buy. Angela, you've got yours. Uh, Sue says, I wish I could live in Jenny World, either of them for just one day. Can you handle <laughs> it there, Sue? Come into the Janiki tribe if you can handle it. You're welcome, anytime. You can't get necessarily inside my head unless you're a worm that can fit through my ear. 12 pounds and 95 pence FIG, nine, uh, P41, 470 carats of your rose quartz at Puffy Hearts. Uh, Ros in County Cork, hello to you. Uh, Michelle, you've got yours. Karen in Cornwall, I love a bit of corners. Uh, we've got a jewellery maker in Cheshire. Gabby in Cambridgeshire, which is also good. Oh, do you know, you're shopping from all over the place and it is lovely 
to have your company here today and every day on Jewelry Maker, £12.95. Collector in Cheshire, Eleanor in Dorset. That's lovely there, isn't it? Uh, Michelle Louise in Lincolnshire. Uh, we've got Tanya. You're, you're there. Oh, Therese in Warwickshire. You're there too. It's lovely. Is it a lovely day? It's a lovly day outside. It's a bit cr it's crisp, isn't it? It's you know frosty what? I this I morning. Don't, I don't mind the crispness. I said, if there's snow and all that, I love the smell mm. of that. It's really nice as long as it's warm. But when it gets wet, it's miserable, not so much. Except yeah. when you're inside and the Christmas trees are up, you know. And you're the having... fire's on. And oh. you're like, oh, I, I can't go outside. It's raining. I'm just sitting all day and watching Netflix. Other... Oh. Um, other places where you can watch things are available. Uh, $12.95 is your price. This is a wonderful star, but I can't wait to see your makes with this one. Let's now give to you, we're gonna press on. Um, after the break, of course, at the top of the hour, we're going to be seeing Nadia's second kit. It's going quick, isn't it? Oh, it's flying by. Here we have some beautiful. What is that? Iolites. That is amazing. Kyanite, not Iolite. I honestly couldn't, it couldn't have told you what this is. So, such clarity to that. Normally, kyanite is a bit opaque, isn't it? Yeah, but you always get this sort of pulescence inside, wow, which is, it always is mesmerizes amazing. me. Cause but that one, more than all the strands I've ever seen, it's got such clarity. It's a top quality strand for sure. I think you, would, you would double take and think, why is that? Is that sapphire? That's what I thought first, but then I wasn't sure because of the pearlescence, as you mentioned. That's beautiful. It gets mistaken for Ceylon sapphire, which can't be a bad thing to be mistaken mm. for at all, can it? You know, Absolutely not. To be compared you know, by that gemstone at any time is a lovely thing. I think these will look great with your Chrysocola. I absolutely love that combination, those two striking colours together. They just work for me really well. I think these top drilled... They're, they're kind of like a, well, they're a square, aren't they? They're a square. They're like puffy cushions. These will fit together really nicely. So if you have got a bead loom, they will just square up to each other and fit in. And I really like that about them. So if you're into your uniform shapes, if you like to make jewelry that just sort of plays by the rules and fits in where it's supposed to, because otherwise you get in a <coughs> fidget and a fangle. Do you and know you get what all... they actually look like? Sorry, interrupting no. again. The ideas spring my head and the words come out of my mouth before, well, let them I, before, spring. before, before, before I let, allow them out. So as sorry. long as they're clean, then <laughs> you can speak them. <laughs> <laughs> well, but now she's right. gone silent, so that's uh, it. <laughs> right. I, I was about to say that these actually remind me of flower petals. If you have a they look at could, them, they could, yeah. Because of the shape, I mean, the frangi pani flower, which is one of my favourites, has got oh, kind of like yeah. a, a squat shape. So these would look amazing in maybe hair pieces or so with a little bit of a pearl. And the nice thing about that is as well that you have the. Um, the graduation in size. So if you were to create a vine with growing flowers as it reaches the top with some leaves, you could um, even make trees out of that, you know, uh, flowers on a tree mm. or something like that. Be beautiful, yeah. you'd be really decorative with this. So yeah, yeah, you're right, because they're graduated, you can, um, you know, it'll afford you to do that. These should be 39.95, but they are not. We're gonna give you a fabulous price, CWV X15, 50 carats from four to seven millimeters on an 18 centimeter strand, 27.95 for kyanite, beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Clarity, color, you've got that cut, they're top drilled, they're gonna give you such a performance in your pieces, a very high end strand and they're graduated. At that price, 27.95 for you. Uh, we're gonna move on now and we're gonna to give to you Oh, now I've never seen anything like this, and I think you. Oh, I, no, I thought, what, what, what gemstone do it, is that? Because I thought, oh, is, is there some amber in there? Yeah, it looks like amber, but then there's the greens. That's beautiful. That do, is really autumnal. It's gorgeous. Yeah. That's like the last um, throws of summer in between what autumnal leaves. If you think about it, you know, you've got still some green leaves on the trees. That's what it reminds me of. That's my favourite strand of garnet. That's beautiful, isn't it? I never knew it was going to be garnet. I love that colour change, Hessenite, in there. Colour change? Yeah. Wow. Zavarite, mandarin garnet. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is really, really oh, nice. Oh, if this was a flavour, it would definitely have some cinnamon tones in it, wouldn't it? These are gorgeous. Is it a newish strand? I've never seen it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. So this actually was launched quite a while ago. We hadn't seen it. We don't know where it's been. Oh, I love it. I think this is great. Just to, I'd want this in a bracelet, you know. 
No, you would. You wouldn't, mm. you wouldn't want to break it up because the colors really complement each other so nicely. So I think if you were to, obviously you could if you wanted to, but I think it would go much better if you were to keep the strand as is. Agreed. Yeah, I've got some Auralite on my wrist here. Previously acquired from Jewelry Maker. And wouldn't this go? It just happens to be on my wrist, okay? Um, wouldn't these go in between really nicely? Well, I'm just, well, what I'm actually doing, if you must know, is I am researching for my own purposes the healing powers oh. of the gemstone. Of and this has a lot, yes, yeah. it has a lot. So I thought, well, it would be rude not to put it on and see whether I could take a bit of that. And I gotta say, I have changed my mindset on a few things. Have you? I'm going, Jenny, calm down. It's okay, stop thinking about that. It's fine, quite a lot. Yeah, that's my personal opinion. And you know what? There's nothing to say that it ain't the truth because uh, obviously, you know, like back in the day before we had all these medicines, there were things that worked for, for yeah. our ancestors, you know? Why, gems, why would it be different with gemstones? It's like what they say, if you get a sty on your eye, you rub it with some gold, and all the doctors are like, that's not a thing, it's not a thing. Well, I'm telling you, it is a thing, because every time I do it, it works. Mm. So how come it's not? Tea bags. After you've made a tea, when it goes cold, put the tea bag on your eye. Yeah, mm -hmm. the tea, um, I mean, the tea draws out the toxins or something. Um, Paul said it in a different way, that it sucks all the bleep out. Uh, I don't think that's a nice... <laughs> Is it true, though? OK, well, I'll try it. Later on, you will find me with tea bags on my eyes. Um, TBB X32. I might Facebook Live it, actually, yes. I won't be able to see what I'm doing, though. £29.95, 24 carats of this gorgeous garnet. I love it. We've not got many of those left now. Now, now, my darlings. Let's get a little bit more high-end, shall we? Ooh, ooh. Let's just go to the jewellers and play some Morgan. Oh, look at the colour. <gasps> look I at the size. I goodness. couldn't be posh for too long, darlings. <gasps> Didn't last, did it, yeah? Again with those aura lights. That's a good sparkle oh, in the half. Isn't it? it just? Mm. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love Morganite. So pretty. And of course, if it's good enough for Tiffany and Co, darling, uh -huh. to be launched by them, uh, then it's good enough for us. Uh, Morganite was a, a gemstone discovered by the same chap who discovered uh, Kunzite. We know that. George Frederick Kunz. If you didn't know it, you, know, you do now. Um, it was launched um, during a big campaign at Tiffany & Co. Oops, a daisy. I accidentally pulled its tassel off. Um, now, these are just full of the most exceptional clarity. The way these have been cut, it's just, it just really highlights the delicacy of that pink. This really is it really allows, a fragile yeah. colour, but such a striking example with a big carrot weight. I think these are beautiful. It really also allows the light to shine. As you were saying, it highlights the colour so beautiful. Mm. You can see when the light hits it from the top, you can see the colour shining through from the bottom. It's beautiful. Very feminine strand. Very pretty. Very. This would absolutely be one to wear on your wedding day. Oh, yes. Such a high-end strand. So as soon as I, I grabbed it, I knew this was going to be one of those, you know, set above from the rest. Bit of an elitist gemstone, this one. IAB X 49. Um, pounds and 95 pence is your price. Under 50 pounds for a huge 58 carats of such a pretty gemstone. Um, if you ask me which one I like out of... Um, Morganite and comes like, oh, I always go, well, nine times out of 10, I go for Morganite. I just love the fact that you get some real peachy tones in Morganite. I get really, um, yeah, I really like that. I, re I, I just think it's so pretty. And I think it's undeniably beautiful, isn't it? And naturally beautiful. And, and, you know, it doesn't really need anything else other than to be what it is because it is already yeah, I think so special. Rose gold would set this 100%. off. 100%. 100%, yeah. This and diamonds, stunning. maybe. If you're, yeah, if yeah. You're that, yeah, 
Anne Diamond's, not Anne Diamond from GMTV. She would look good in this though, to be fair to her. Now, let's give you, let's give you some tiger's eye. I like the shapes of these. They do remind me of honeycombs. Aren't they great? Oh, they are. They are so, we've got so many unique shapes at the moment. I love that. Me too. If you, you know you can get honeycombs and honey mm. and buy it. Don't bite yeah. into it because it's oh. actually wax. So what, do you mean that they make up the honeycomb with wax or what? No, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. So I thought, I bought one in a block with honey, like, and the honeycomb was in it. Yeah. So I fished it out, thought that'll be crunchy and delicious. It's like this. Oh, you you are picking it out of your teeth for quite a long time. You can't eat it, but isn't the honeycomb, it's not actual wax because... In Swaziland, we could, you could buy the raw stuff as well, so you could buy it, and it was taken straight out of the hive and then sold as is. So, so you eat it, and it's supposed to be good for you, but it does taste a bit waxy. Yeah, yeah, it's not crunchy. It, so. I looked at honeycombs and thought they're going to be crunchy because I was thinking of like um, a crunchy bar with honeycomb in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> and I did think that's what it was like. And I was like, wait, this is. No, like, you're not supposed to eat it, and I was like, oh, but I thought it was funny. just. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect the wax, okay, is what I'm saying to you. Now I know. But you can in, you can eat it, can't you? Because it's supposed to be good for you. I, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't very tasty when I tried it. As you're saying, it's I'm gonna quite eat it. chewy. I'm going to eat some I'm gonna more eat of it. it because I just feel like it might be good for me. Maybe melt it then and so you don't have to, like, melt it, put it on toast. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I, but I saw some in a certain German supermarket once. They did it and I didn't buy it. Little tiny pieces of, oh, yeah. of uh, pollen or something. Or something. No, bees wax. It could, could have been something. No, it was like um, you could sprinkle it on your... And it was made out of beehive or something. And I wish... Not actual beehive. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It was bits of... bits. It could have been... Bits of what was it we were talking about? Um, what's it called? Honeycomb. It could the have been honeycomb, bits yeah. of that. Which is the beehive in essence. Which they so said not. healing properties. So I thought, oh, should I get that? And then I saw that it was quite expensive and I thought, mm. it wasn't jelly, it was little things you could sprinkle. How do we, is it jelly? Is royal jelly actually jelly? That's what the Queen Bee eats, the royal jelly. I thought that was just something in Marks and Spencer's royal jelly. I never knew that body gel. You could actually body buy gel. that, what the Queen eats. Imagine if you, we could eat what the Queen Bee eats. Wow. That would be my cooking at the moment, but. <laughs> we shouldn't take it off the bees because they need to have it more than we do because we're selfish as a human race, I think. Um, now, these are so pretty. Sorry, it just reminded me of the bees and I love it. I love that about it. Because I do want to be a beekeeper, essentially, one day. This is really, I mean, it's really cool. I had a friend who had beehives in Swaziland as well. Um, and it was a really cool thing to do because it would help the bees as well. Yeah. Quite often they would transition through uh, different areas and you would help them to move from one area to the next. Wow. And then it was really cool. So I think it's a really nice thing to have. If you have a farm like you do, I think it's really cool. I want, I want a lavender field and some bees, but I need to research more into it because you can't just be opening the beehive and be like, hi, bees, because they'll probably swarm out and sting me to death. I don't know. Get all these smoky things that you put on there. Yeah, I'll yeah. research it properly. I don't think you can go into these things without researching. They go out and come back in. Oh, cool, and you have, you have beetroot tasting eggs and some really cool tasting honey. Can't wait. Yep. Oh, it'll be so good. Honeyed egg. I'm not sure about that. Oh, honeyed eggs. Mm. No, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about honeyed eggs. Well, they already have chicken, the hens in the farm anyway, and I don't run the farm. My next door neighbour, well, we all live in one farm. Um, but farm shops open this weekend if you live near Letchworth Garden City. And we are going to be selling some of Gemma Crow's artwork. Oh, cool. Just do a little cheeky plug there. I'll probably get told off for that, but we are if you live near there. That'll be in there soon. Now. Uh, I don't know, told off by you maybe, Paul? No, no, not you. Now, these, again to me, tell a, tell a story. So here, oh. I feel like you've got a snowy day 
and I feel like, no, it's a good story. And I feel like these are the skeletons of the tree poking through. I always call them skeletons uh, you know of the what? tree. Like you look at it from space maybe and <gasps> you see the Siberian moose or whatever they're called running through the snow. Oh, I'd love to see a moose. Are they, ter are they terrifying? They're quite like... dangerous. You see Are they? Well, they go yeah. for you. Yes, they're quite, well, from what I've seen. But I thought they were peaceful like deer. No, they're not. They're quite, they're quite. So if I meet a moose, I should not <laughs> go up to it and think, oh, no. look at me, I'm Snow White. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, these dendrite opals, agates. Are just again another another really interesting agate strand. I think we I think agates really um, really given us a performance in these hours, hasn't it? No, they have. I mean, every, yeah, agate is such an incredible gemstone because you wouldn't believe sometimes that these are from the same family when you see different strands. It's like opal a little bit. You get such variety in agates. It's incredible. It is incredible, isn't it? Definitely. I really like these. I'm, I might be moving over to the agate side of life. It's, I'll be honest with you, like I said earlier, I've always appreciated agate. I think it's a great gemstone. It's never been my favorite. But maybe, just maybe, it's time for me to look at this gemstone and actually see that it really does give mm. one of the biggest performances. You know, there, there are some incredible agate forms out there. Mm. There really are, aren't there? Mm. W Q N V eighty two. This strand is twenty four pounds and ninety five pence. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's continue on. And we're going to give you yes. Uh, you've been asking for these since I pulled them out earlier. Now, oh, these ones were they're gorgeous, aren't they? We had them earlier mm. again. You know, blue lace agates, luscious colour. You'd think you hold them up against the previous strand, you'd be amazed at these actually come from the same family incredible these are chalcedony yeah. blues though aren't they look yeah. at that like that i love it just i magical. thought that was a chalcedony strand it's beautiful 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 look at that sparkle look at that color this could be a um a, a feeding bracelet you could have one um of these on um just in the center of the bracelet. This could be just restranded as a necklace. These yep. could be individual pendants. These could go into soutache. These could be gallery wired. They're just gorgeous. Um, and you've got a big carat weight. So these are slightly graduated, as you can see. Well, actually they're not slightly, they are graduated. Uh, 14 by 10 to 23 by 17 millimeters. And they're on a 20 centimeter strand. And they are gorgeous. They're just. Aren't They'd they? be great in the, the seed bead design where you kind of encase them and you have a sort of, I'm trying to think of how to explain it, where you have points sitting around the gemstone in the center and you kind of, it's like a push string closure. I'm not, I'm not really Oh, I know what you mean, yeah, like a draw. Yes, I know what you mean. I mean, I know what you mean. Yeah, so, so that's the design. It will look absolutely amazing with that. Really, beautiful. really beautiful. ZGRU24, we are going to give these to you for 16 95 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. On my strand, you should have there or there about £16.95. pence. Lots of ways that you can come shopping with us. All the usual ways, you can tap the app, you can get on jurymaker.com or of course you can give us a call, it's a free phone number. Three ninety five is all you're going to pay all day long, no matter how much you've got in a basket. And you've got a 30 day money back guarantee on everything that you buy from us here at Jurymaker. Aren't those lovely? Snowflake charms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't. Did I? He just said no. No, Chris bought tea. He did not bring snowflakes. Chris is bringing the snowflakes. Have we had any text messages? We'll read them while Chris is finding them. Um, we have. We're bearing with. We're bearing. We've bared. Oh, yes, you can eat it, and it's chewy. Um, okay, so I wonder, is it the, actual the, wax? Yeah. Am I pretty sure it is wax? I'm pretty it's sure. Just when, wax. I'll eat some. We've got some in the farm shop. I'll eat some okay, for research purposes, Good. and I'll do it during a Facebook Live. Thank you, darling. Um, 
and then I will describe the consistency. Okay, that'll help. So it'll probably yeah. not convince me to eat it, but it'll be funny but to think, watch you I eat it But I think it anyway. might have some kind of goodness in it. So I'm going to eat the whole thing if I can. Yeah. Now. We've got some snowflakes, and we were talking earlier about making um, decorations for your Christmas trees. Well, this oh, is a perfect one. Yep. Do you know what this would be good for if you're making your own crackers and you want to decorate them? And give somebody... So all of the elements you don't throw away, you put this on a little charm or something, put it on the cracker and have it on the front of the cracker, and then you pull the cracker and you have the treat inside. Oh, these would be cool nice. with, like, a tassel on the end as well, wouldn't they? I, I think these are going to be great... Um, just to simply wear as Christmas earrings and well, a Christmas pendant. Well, that's it. Pendant. When you go to Christmas parties, you just want to really go in a festive mood, you know? These are great. I am already in a festive mood, are I think. You? I wear Christmas stuff at Christmas. I can't wait to dress up as Mother Christmas. I can't wait to put my Mother Christmas. So, so how do you dress up as Mother Christmas? I've got a woolen dress, which is all red, but with the white fluffy around it. And then you just wear black tights and you wear a little Christmas hat, Mother Christmas. Oh, cool. Done. I might... And, and the dog is definitely having antlers. Oh, your dog's so cute. Thank oh, you. She's cute. cute. And Mia's bringing Minnie back from Ireland at Christmas, so she would definitely be some kind of Christmas elf because she is tiny. She's a dog, but she's the size of a guinea pig. Oh. But don't let, don't let that make you think that she's, like, all delicate and soft. She's not. Oh, we're going to we'll do the silver ones first, and then you get the goldies. Can't decide oh, like. We don't need to decide. Do you know what these would be great? You know, we we're talking about a wirework Christmas tree. Great on that. Great around a candle. Yeah. Oh, in yeah. In the centre of your Christmas. Right, yeah. Well, actually, if you have a big candle and uh, like a big fat one, you could just impress it onto that. Yes. Actually. Push it in. Yeah. That Get it would warm. Really nice. Push it in. Yes. We're going to give you a great price for this one. Six of these for four pounds and ninety-five pence, which makes them pence each. In fact, we'll work that out, because I'm not. I can't do that kind of maths. 4 92 each. No, I made that up. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> not good maths. None of the maths skills. <laughs> I don't know what comes out of my own mouth sometimes. Do you know that? Oh, I know the feeling. <sighs> yeah. Do you ever say things and go... How about you just stop using your mouth to talk? Before I even finish the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Do it all the time and I think, oh, stop. <laughs> I just, I passed someone when dog walking the other day oh. and I said uh, something like, hello, good morning. And they literally completely ignored me and I went, oh, you're ignoring me. That's not very kind. <laughs> like, I was like, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to say hello to you. Just leave it, Jenny. <laughs> oh, you're ignoring me. That's not very kind. Oh, we carried on talking to the dog. Like, they're not kind, are they? <laughs> oh. They've probably seen me before and thought, I am not getting in a conversation with that complete bonkers woman. Uh, oh. What, what, pardon? You thought I was going to... No, no, here we go. We've got... We've got some lovely goldies for you now. Oh, if you did the nativity, these could be your star, couldn't they? I do love a nativity scene. Whoops, where are you going? It's not Christmas yet. Get back on it. You don't, you've had one too many baby shams. Because you can have them at Christmas, because it's Christmas. They don't taste nice, but it's, it's the taste of the 80s. Baby sham is basically what... It's yeah, what like it? Lambrini. It's fizzy, whiny cider. You'd like it, and it comes with no. You'd like it, Becky. You're you're a baby sham girl, and it comes. Baby sham has got a little deer on the front. This little baby deer. Yeah, little baby sham. Cherry baby sham. I never had it. Cherry baby sham. No, is that a thing? I don't even. I've never even heard of it before. So I I'm think you should have a baby sham. It's okay. time. You've lived in Britain for long enough. I've had a snowball yet. Yeah. Eggnog is nice, but the name suggests it's not going to be nice. Yeah, I like eggnog. This is one thing I know. We, we, uh, uh, Christmas is so different. Our, in fact, a lot of things are different. All our stories, I mean, I'd never even heard of Mr. Blobby <laughs> until... No, uh, no. Until, Mr. Blobby is not part of Christmas. 
Mr. No, Blobby. Mr. Blobby. Oh my goodness. We had a show with Becky and she brought up Mr. Blobby and I dreamt of him. Never started. The next day he popped up on my Facebook. Just That's couldn't weird. Stop. Yeah, no, so no, it was. I can't oh. think of Mr. Blobby. It makes me feel a bit funny. Um, but we do have different traditions because you brought, brought up in Germany, but yeah. everybody goes over to Germany to the German Christmas markets, oh, don't they? Because they're amazing. Love to go. Yeah. Does it always snow in Germany at Christmas time? No, it used to. Yeah, it when used I was, to snow when, when we were little. When, when I was little, it used to snow a lot more. I mean, we used to be snowed in, you know, with, with like, yeah, I love that's being why snowed I, in. I know. That's why I like the snow. I like the cold until you have to drive somewhere and buy yeah. bread and. You know. if, if there's a rule like nobody has to go to school or work because it's snowing, then the snow day is the best day ever, isn't it? It's like a, an Love unexpected it. extra leisure day that you can always stay in with your pyjamas on. You can have snowball Ooh. fights and then you can eat something Drink delicious eggnog. and warm. Yeah, mm. And then maybe, maybe you could have a mulled wine. MZW, mm. uh, sorry, MZG P25. These are getting us in the Christmas mood for oh. sure. Yes, they do. They really Obviously, are. I love this. I love when we talk about Christmas and, you know, you're thinking about the decorations you're going to do. And I can imagine these being on my Christmas tree with the little sparkles, the cracker quartz that we had earlier. And it's just, oh, just kind of lovely. It'd be gorgeous. And we didn't, we didn't tell anyone the price of these, my darling. Four ninety five, same as the others. Uh, the Ocean Jasper Marquees are coming up after the break. And then we've got Nadia's kit followed yeah. by Nadia's inspiration. Do not go anywhere. The fun continues after this. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
at Jurymaker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Quick hide the chocolates. Now, yes, these it's are. time for the marquees. Now, um, when Alison Terry launches one of her new DVDs, you'll need these. The one with the ring. Oh no, they've both got rings. Just get them. Now, sorry, again, letting out cats of bags. Cats shouldn't be kept in bags, they don't like it. Now, these marquees are again fascinating. They could be almost surfboards, they could go on a leather cord. It could be fish. They're so... Yeah, but look, this one could be a fish. <clears throat> See? Oh, look. you could do loads with that. That would be quite nice when you have... Uh, yeah, there could be the body. This could be the body, and you could create legs. You could maybe mm. make a... Fish a don't really have turtle. legs. You never know. You know, <laughs> who says they don't, you know? <laughs> I mean... Hey, they could have one time had legs and then thought, do you know what? This isn't for me, I'm going back to the sea. I don't want these legs. I mean, you know, if dinosaurs are dragons. Anything's possible. Yeah, exactly. Anything. Yeah. I'm pretty sure sharks might have had legs at one point. What's the opposite way around now? Everything lived in the sea until we came to land. So I was a prawn. <laughs> But why? But I haven't got gills. How would I have breathed? I think Paul's trying to teach me something here. Let's... Oh. Oh, knowledge! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Look, look, Nadia, this one is the moon. And oh, flying yeah. and Do some... you know what? You go surfing at night. There's the moon <gasps> and the glow in the water. Oh. oh, yes, there we go. I love that one. That's fabulous. That's right. Look, there's the sea and there's, there's the moon. That's right. There's the moon shining on top and there's the foam of the sea. So you can actually so... go surfing in moonlight. This is so cool. Gorgeous. Then I'm discussing how bad I was at school. Well, like my mum said, like my mum said when she got called in to speak to my headmaster, I can't control her either. She's a free spirit. She's not to be controlled. Well, I think that's a great thing to No, be told. not that my teacher just looked at me and went, mm-hmm, I get it. Okay. We're wasting our time here, Mrs. Cleary. And off my mum, off my mum trotted. Back to La La Land. Well, they, sometimes they know nothing. There you go. Free spirit. Of course, it is half term, kids. So if you are watching now, listen to your teachers. They do know <laughs> quite a lot. Uh, uh -huh. Rebel later when it's your own choice. Now, you have got such an amazing, amazing array of patterns here. You're definitely right with the turtles. Definitely. We can see things in these, and that's what makes us love these kinds of gemstones. See, see how your imagination takes you. Mm. See, where, see where you 
you can place these in your jewellery. I think these could be very masculine, though. I think you can make quite Viking-y pieces out of these. Yes, you could, yeah. Viking-y is a word. AZV. R69. It is now. If you're feeling Viking-y, then you're going to love these. Oh, they are, they're Viking-y. 95 wow. And tribal at that as well. Uh -huh. Defo. Love these. I really love those. I think the nice fabulous. thing again is that you could either use your silver wire or your gold was that because it's got undertones of both in there as well. Maybe Mother Nature's trying to tell us something, but we're not listening. We have to really study these. I like the fact they're flat as well, which makes them really easy to um, seed bead around if you want to put them on sutras. Sometimes when you've got cabs like that, they they kind of puffy ovals or puffy. Shapes. All the way around, yeah. So these ones, if you want to seat bead them on, they've got a nice straight edge that sits flush to the whatever fabric you're putting them on at the back. So mm -hmm. it's cool for that as well. And yeah. if you want to, you can use a drill hole, obviously. The, do you know you're right? And having that flat back as well means you can lay them onto foundation board mm, and then exactly. um, foundation felt, speed around them, utilise it. They could be dragon eyes. Yep. AZV R69, 11 95 That is such a fantastic price. Now, talking to seed beads, let's start with your very first kit. Don't forget, um, if you've got any questions for Nadia, all you need to do is text us in. So here we have for you. Now, we've got the little piggy beads, which aren't called that. They're called duos, aren't they? Super duos. I always call them pig snouts. They're my favourite beads. I love them. There's, there's so much you can do with a little pig snout, isn't there? Um, now, we've got a tube of super duos in a mix of colours. So you've got your blues, your golds and your pinks in there. Let me find... that It's actually called something. <coughs> Where are they on my list? Your super duos. The mini duo Aqua Capri. At the Aqua, top. Aqua Capri, that's what I was looking for. Then you've got... The same, but all in your crystal colour. Crystal colour, is that what they're calling them? Super More like, they're a bit, they're, I would say they're a bit like plum. Like amethyst colour, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, plum amethyst, but they are a little bit, um, they're, they're not opaque, they're clear. They, they appear opaque, but they're not, they've got a bit of clarity to them. I'm trying to find a, oh, Vega on crystal is what we're calling that. I don't oh, know right. what that means, but okay. Um, then we have got your 11 O's. And those are in metallic dark blue iris. They're beautiful. Then you've got your golds and they're 8 O's by the looks, yes. Gold seed beads are just about a must in seed beading, I think. You've got to. Mm. Now, what are these curious little characters? These are really here? cool. I enjoy using them. If this, uh, these are crimp and findings. Crimp and, and I findings? I think they are fabulous. They have really you never are. Seen, have you ever seen them before? Um, I have seen them before. I've never had, I've never used them before, but they're fab. I, mean, I really want to Your use convert? them all the time. Convert, yeah. They so really do I get are. a crimp bead and then slide that on with a bit of glue then? I'll demo how to use them when I okay, when, in the demo as well. So we'll, we'll go through that as well. But they're brilliant. I really, really like them because they, they look classy, but they're quite secure as well. You get different sizes, different gauges for different size cords. Um, so these ones are quite small. I think they're fabulous. Yeah, so no, you get great. four of those, two lobster claw clasps, and you get four of the open jump rings. Then you're getting your beading <coughs> thread. So that is your uh, Nymo thread, uh, size B, and you get it in 72 yards. So a nice fine Nymo thread for you there in, uh, in the clear. All of this for under £20, that is such super value. Don't forget those lovely crimp pens as well. I've never seen those. 1995 EPXC45, your Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights, yeah. Oh, Arabia by night. <sighs> wonder what does happen during Arabian nights. Yeah. Is it warm or cold? It's really, really cold. Is it? Yeah, it's opposite of, in, in, during the day it gets scorching hot and at How night come? it goes below zero. How I don't come? Know. How is that even possible? I don't know actually, but it, that's what happens. So one minute you're boiling hot, the next minute mm. you're freezing cold? Yeah, like literally 
below zero cold, so it's quite interesting. So you actually. can't have your windows open in the middle of the night because you could be like, oh, it's too hot, Blah, frozen. <laughs> no, probably not. But let's, yeah. let's have a look at the gorgeous jewellery that Nadia has, has made. Love super jewels. They, they, I should have put them on the white bus actually. That's why. That's why you buy white and you buy black bus because you can diamond. actually see the different jewellery. So I know that's only one we have got. Adam could. I mean, so if we, if you. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, thank you. Thanks, see, Adler. It actually shows off. Thank you so much. Should have done that myself earlier, but it didn't look. Well, you don't know until you see it on the camera. To be fair to you, darling. Oh, that one hangs. Ah, oh, thank you so much. He's already brought them in for me earlier because I left them on the floor. On Adam, the you smell nice today, by the way. Nice. Did you just spray <laughs> something? Does he always smell nice? Is that your thing? Yeah, well, apparently Adam always smells nice. You You're sniffed so by many here at Jewelry Maker. <laughs> <laughs> So let's have a look at this gorgeous jewellery. Look, let's go. Right, oh, that is so beautiful. That's my favourite one. The star one. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. I thought because it is a starry Arabian sort of theme, you know, uh, make some stars. And plus it's Christmas. Just any excuse, you know. Can we get really close to those stars, please? Oh, please. And there's a gorgeous bracelet there. They're, go they're wonderful. I love them. Oh, I love that. Uh, that's why Super Jews are my favourite seed Because you can make stars? Use. Yeah, I make stars with them and mandalas and just oh, about any shape. I love shape. a mandala mm, and a star. So, loads you can do. I'm going to show you how to, how to make. I'm going to show you how to make the star necklace. Thank you, Nadia. No, it's actually really easy to do as well and it's so much fun um, because you, you don't really necessarily need to make the star necklace with it. You can... Um, just turn it into a bracelet or earrings or if you make you know use less components you can make a graduated piece so i'm going to start so we've got our different sections here so we're going to obviously need to have i'm going to bring the necklace over quickly again like i like to do to show you what we're doing i'm going to place we it go. on the actual can i move your piece. board so yeah, we're right and sliding there mm -hmm. there we go mm -hmm. I'll, I'll shift up a bit so there i'm in shot okay so we are so, obviously I need to get rid of that thing. So we're going to start, we've got different stars graduating from the outside. So we've got uh, little stars on the outside mm -hmm. and we're going to graduate to a larger one. So if you really wanted to, you could make the graduation a little bit more apparent, okay? No, I like how you've done it. Um, so it goes from little stars to a big star and it's actually really easy to make. So we're going are to these do three is, the same size? These are the same size on either side, different components, and we're going to make these individually and then just um, combine them together at the end, okay? So we're mm -hmm. going to start with um, a center and... So the biggest the star you start with, do you? Um, well, either, yeah, a bigger star. Oh, you mean we're starting one. at the centre of the star and working our way out? Yes. Right, sorry, yeah, but, but, I get it. But you're right in the other instance as well, because we obviously need to start somewhere. So we've got our Nemo thread, and if you undo it, uh, tend to condition it a little bit. Don't pull too hard, otherwise it breaks. I just kind of like to... Give it a little tug. Yeah. Pull it just to condition it a little bit and this is my quarter. You don't need much for each star, so probably about 30, 40, 50 centimeters enough. I always tend to go a little bit longer than I need. Better to do that, uh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is because, I mean, you can add in cord. It's not as difficult as it is in Macrama to add in cord, but I just, I, I hate it. I don't know yeah. what it is. I just it's don't a bother, like, that's why, isn't it? I don't like having to add in, so I tend to just go long enough. And it's a faff, yeah, that's what we're saying just now. All right, so we need, hmm? sorry, we I'm, I'm talking to my ear, sorry. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> we never know oh, whether those voices are real or not, me. do we? Yeah, we wonder sometimes, don't we? I've got chocolate all over me. That's my it's fault. Gonna... <laughs> sorry, it's a queen. That's like I'm eating like a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me then. Right, so the center star is six. Okay, so the way I do my counting is, so it's six, it's... Um, the mini super duos and our golden ones. So the way I do the counting is I start with one, two, I'm just gonna bring this over actually, so that I have them here. I don't count six of these and then six of those. I just basically go 12, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, nine. Nine, <laughs> ten, <laughs> eleven, and then twelve. Alternating so each time. Alternating each time, but I made a mistake somewhere because I'm ending. You see, uh, I'm ending with a gold. Well, and there's I'm two there. Gold. That's why. So you can see here, I made a, I made a booby, as I'd say. I've got two of the mini super duos. I'm just going to take okay, it off. You can take it off the end, can't you? Take it off the end, and I'm just going to add on the other side. So I'm going to add a gold. So now, you, if you count to 12, you should end with one and uh, start with one and then finish with the opposite. Okay, so good, close this up. And I'm going to create a little circle. Do you think in German or English? Um, actually, these days it's more in English. Um, I used to, I still count in German though, I have to say, that never, that never stopped, but I do think in English now. Isn't it weird? Aren't yeah. humans weird? I know. Well, I mean, it's funny, though, because I still don't think as English as being my first language, even though I've been even speaking Even though you're now thinking in English. Even I've spoken it for far longer than I have German, actually, as my first language. But I still don't think as English as my, my first language. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sorry, um, that was a completely irrelevant question, but I just wondered it. That's okay. Now you know. <laughs> I know. <now. laughs> I wonder myself. <laughs> So, um, so we're going to step up, which just means I brought the, the cord thread up to the top pole of the super duo. Okay, so we're coming out here. And then you're going to decide. So, again, this design is organic, so you can decide what, what kind of look you like. You know, play around a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly the same shape. You can make stars in, in a multitude of different ways. So the way I've done mine is I've just picked up another gold uh, seed bead and then two of my purple super duos and then gone through the end and we're going to repeat this until we've Might done we a need you just up a bit. full Thanks, revolution. Time. There we are. Right. Oh, we found you, don't worry. You found me, I'll just shift. Remember back in the old days when we didn't have the shifting camera? I think it was a, bit, a lot more difficult to keep yeah. me in shot because I'm, I'm generally all over the place. <laughs> You're not, you're grand. So, picking up the Next one, so we're going to repeat this. So we've got our two golds, one on either end, and the, the two purple super duos in the center. And we're just going to work our way around the little star. And as I said, it's organic. So if you don't like this particular look, you don't like the way the shape is building up, you can try something else, you know? Um, it's not set in stone. This is just a technique showing you how to do it. And I've done, taken three rather than two, so I need to come out. So when this happens, you don't no need to undo everything. You just come back through all of the seed beads, pull it through, and then it undoes. So you don't actually need to take the needle off and redo everything. Because that's another thing with um, when you make a mistake, sometimes you just have to undo the needle. And some threads are so difficult to thread on. But that, that one's easy enough, is yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's very easy. It's quite fine. Go on to the next. Continuing round. Whoopsie daisy. No, it's not coming out. And you're just going to work and see how it works. And it, in one of the designs, if you have a look at one that I've made, um, I've actually started off with a half finished star. And rather than going all the way around, I've just built onto the bottom, so I reversed my cord, my thread, and I've started building on. So this kind of mushrooms oh, so out to the out. side. Yeah. So rather than closing this off, you can then just go back and build onto the bottom section. Um, so it's just different design. I'm gonna pick up these super duos, and I've got one more revolution to do. Keeps catching on the side here. Oh, do you normally work on a flat one? Uh, yeah, I've actually yeah, got why. I've got several different trays at home, and, and different depending on what I'm working on, I keep switching. So, but I know someone who's got a tablecloth that is actually yeah, a, uh -huh. a whole furry thing that she uses as a bead mat. A whole fairy it, thing. Furry. So it's a whole bead mat, but oh, as right. a tablecloth, it's massive. Oh right. Okay. Which I thought well, was a really that good makes idea. sense yeah. because you can actually then have as much space. You don't mm. snag. You don't get caught on anything else. So it's quite handy. And if you have. accidentally fall asleep on your table, <laughs> it's dead comfy. <laughs> I must try that then. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've got the first start, and then it's time to build on. So all we're going to do here is 
uh, step it up again. So we're going to go through the top hole of the Super Duo. All right. And feed your cord through. And then again, you can decide whether you want to have a golden bead there or a Super Duo or a Mini Duo or something entirely different. You know, you could close this off with um, one of the faster gemstones mm -hmm. we had earlier, the micro facets. So we're going to just close this off. And then to fill this gap, I've just used two of my golds. Uh, one of my golds, sorry, then one, two of my purples and another one of the golds, like that. Okay. Yeah, and gone through the side. And then I'm just going to work my way around again. I'm going to pick this up. And then just work your way around. So basically you just work your way around until you come back to the section. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend I've gone all the way around. I'm not going to make you watch me do this. Okay. okay. I'm just going to come back here. So obviously you would, you would go all the way around. This is it. So we've got sections here. So once you have this section, we need to fill this up again. So we arrive at this bit here and you build up the point with another super duo, like so. And this is the fun bit about our super duos because they're like building blocks in my eyes and this would be the, the star so you'd actually end up with something like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you go make your way around. Obviously these sections would be built up first. Mm -hmm. And they're like building blocks. They're real fun to work with because you saw how quickly this actually works. Mm. So if you decide you don't actually like this particular design, you can undo it again really quickly and do something yeah, else. It's gorgeous with it, though. Know? I don't think you'd not I think you'd love it once it came together. Yeah. And can you imagine? I mean, as saying, you know, these components Components, they could be stars on your Christmas tree fall, you know, they don't actually have to yeah. turn into a necklace, you know. They could be so could you be. could sew these into cushions again, decorative. Yeah. These could go into so many different pieces when we're thinking home decor. Mm. I think a lot of the beaded pieces could. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring this in here. So once you have designed your your stuff, so the seed beads all over, it had to happen, it hasn't happened yet, so bound to. So once you have the star, what well, the last thing I've done here is um, I have taken some of the little eleven O's. I'm just to remember where I've actually gone into. All right, so this is from the top to the gold. Okay, so you're going to pick up three of your eleven O's, and then coming out from the top row, I'm going to move this up so you can see from one of the sections of the star and go through the gold. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the other side. Oops. What have I done now? Is it catching? It's just had a tangle. Oh, you know what I've done. You've done it on the thread that's <laughs> on the actually wrong, on there. The wrong thread is going to take it off. Um, take that off. There we go. So I've got the that right needle. thread here, there you that's go. it, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so we've got our needle here and pick up your 11 O's, three of them for this purpose. You just need to gauge what fits, okay? Um, sometimes three may be too much, depending on the shape. Then again, go through the seed beads here and place it. And this will kind of fit around the star mm -hmm. like that. So then what I've done is the, the thread actually goes through the bottom part because I didn't really want to fill up the top of the star. Come out where the gold is, yeah? Mm -hmm. Bring it through and then take another three of your left nose and then go through the top and just kind of slots seed beads in place and then just work your way around you're going to have to pull them into shape and the side if you don't like the look of the way they sit as a set you know change it around mm. um, play around with the different shapes there's so many gaps there that you can put your own creation to it um, and then carry on adding in so if you carry on with this kind of pattern you get the centerpiece here okay and then the to connect the different components okay you're going to use one, the tip of your star, so I'm going to go here and pretend this is finished. 
then all it is, I've used the 11 O's as connectors. Okay, so I'm going to pick up three, one, two, three, and then go through the tip of my star on the other side. So I've got three here, and then I'm going to come back around, pick up another three of my 11 O's. Pull this tight, and then what I would do is work my way through the holes here. So I'm going to pick this whole thing up, go through, and then make your way to the other side of the star where mm -hmm. you want to put your next connection. So feed your cord through, and then attach. I'm just going to go to the next point. It's actually quite. I find it easier to travel to the center. and then try and cross the design closer to the center rather than going all the way around and then zigzagging up and down. Go through there. And then make your way up. So then the next step is to actually, once you've finished with this, is to add your findings, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So you've used some chain. We have actually got some rose gold findings um, that will go really nicely. You've used gold in yours yep. to go with the gold seed beads, but we have got a, a rose gold alternative because that will go uh, in turn with the purple. So I think the thing about these um, these particular seed beads is that you could work either colour into it. Absolutely, yeah. It would work with anything. I mean, look at this. So that looks really pretty, yeah. yeah. It looks quite a different colour combination, but it depends on the look that you're after in the end, you know, so 100%. anything works. So, so basically the, the last step here is just to add um, sections of 11 O's, um, and then I'm going to show you how to do the clasp. One, two, three, four. Five. And I always tend to go for an uneven number when I create the loop at the end, um, just because it, it kind of prevents the cord from sitting in between two beads. That makes any sense? Yeah. yeah? So it's uneven. And then just tie it off. Um, and then the way to do the clasp, obviously you need the thread still. Just going to close this off. Pull it tight. In the way I'm going to show you these. So these ones, if you have a look at the actual design itself, it's a little tube. If you if you think of crimp tubes, okay, show this up. If you think of crimp tubes, they're pretty much the same thing, except that they have a little loop attached at the end, and they're really quite handy. So you have these here, but because this is quite fine thread. Oh, so do you go through with thread? Yeah, you go through here, so oh, use the thread. So I thought you were going to have to... That's brilliant. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. It's oh, really, that's what I'm brilliant. saying. It's like a brainwave mm. to have these because... Well, I thought you were going to have to glue it on or something. Well, you could as well. I mean, in fact... You would need to, you though, could. would you, if yeah. you've got the thread? So you brilliant throw it on. And, idea. and if you have thicker cord, you could just crimp it like as is. But because this is quite fine thread, I, for extra security, I went around the outer edge ones. I mean, you're not really going to see the new designs, but I just thought for better security, um, because it's quite fine, you don't want it to be pulled. See, see can you see one of the mm -hmm. there? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you just kind of pull it tight. And then all it is, I don't think I have a pair of pliers here, but I could, could show you with this. Okay, so if you have a pair of pliers, you could just come in between, and all you do is you would crimp this really oh, hard. Oh, squidge it down, yeah. Uh, and this would then set it into place, and this is what it looks like then. Fantastic. Oh, on here. Well, I think um, it gives it a perfect finish, though, doesn't it? It absolutely does, and it looks so... It's such a beautiful colour. It's such a buttery gold it's it's stunning it really is nice. it's got that it's the champagne gold so mm. those are the findings that are in your kit now the findings on your screen right now are 4.95 and they include 50 centimeters of chain two pairs of shepherd's hooks three pairs actually no two pairs um you've got all of these at four pounds and 95 pence oh no we're going down my thingy majiggy has gone funny if that makes any sense to you at all you know, Madubri. It's gone funny. Is it gone again? Yeah. Can somebody check my thingy jig? 
What do I press? I don't know. Go back, gonna... maybe. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. Yeah. It, oh, is that right now? Is that that's how it should yeah. be? Yeah. There we go. We're okay again now. It was calling me Michael. I got very confused. My name's not Michael. Well, at least it hasn't been for a while. A E A Z eighteen two pounds and ninety five yeah. pence uh, for those. Your ball head pins, uh, your crimp tubes, your toggle clasps, uh, your shepherd hooks, your open jump rings, and your oval link chain. Uh, you get uh, half a meter of the oval link chain. Now I think it's about half past clock. It's time for a star by. <laughs> Too. We thought this was Chrysocolla, yeah. it's Opalina, not to be confused with Thumbelina. Now, I don't think I've ever heard of that, to be honest. Thumbelina or Opalina? Opalina. Thumbelina is, uh, what's that, Brother Grimm's again? Yeah, we, me and you with our little yeah. Grimm's brothers. Now, here we have Opalina. So Opalina has opal elements in it, doesn't it? And it's a fusion of opal and... Mm. Wait there, I'll, re I'll remember it in a minute. Hang on a sec. It's Chrysocolla, it is, isn't it? No, it's not, Opal and Chrysocolla. It is. I like the name Opalina. I do. I like it a lot. Um, so, okay, we'd be forgiven for thinking this was Christ, or this was Chrysocolla. Actually, do you know something? Look, there's a piece that would definitely be, be like, yeah, that's Opal, but the rest of them look exactly like Chrysocolla, pretty much. You've got a sparkle in these. There's an intense blue in these. I think this will be lovely with the any rose gold findings. This is going to go so well with any of the purples that we've got coming up for you too. Opalina. In a fabulous strand of nuggets, these range between three by two to six by four, mil four millimeters. They're on a 16 centimeter strand and they give you a lot of texture. I think it's gonna look fabulous with some pearlies, aren't they? They're gonna, again, I, I like a lot of bracelets. I'm in a real bracelet mood at the moment. So do you think these are gonna lend themselves that way? 0800 644 655 is your item code. Is the, is the number to call, it's not your item code at all. We're gonna give you a hot to trot price. They go so well together. 14 pounds and 95 pence. Use these as accents. Use a little tiny portion of these, maybe a centimeter um, right in the center and then let something drop mm. from the middle of that on a jump ring. Maybe it's gold, maybe <coughs> it's rose gold. Adding texture to your piece, adding color to your pieces. Put these with white, put these with pink, put these with the um, amazing deep purples that we've just been showing you with. Put these with your seed beads. There's a lot mm. you can do with a Plenty. very powerful color, isn't there? Again, um, when you finish a, a piece, use it as an accent, mm -hmm. the nugget on the end. You know, use these headpins in the findings kit that we had on just now and, and create a little loop, wrap loop or yeah. an open loop as an accent piece. You've got loads on there. You can make loads and loads of, um, you know, signature pieces. You could just that. take a section of five of these, couldn't yeah. you, on the headpin, loop it, put yeah. the rest on chain, put this on a bracelet, Easy. put this uh, again as portion of a necklace, put these as accents into your earrings. IUJN26, 25 carats of Opalina. Opalina. What a gorgeous star buy. They, you don't want to hear what they're discussing in my um, ear. Who just asked that? Was that Chris who just asked that? Chris asked whether DuckTales was the one with the chipmunks in it. Because they're singing DuckTales, woo. Da, da, da. Oh no. Uh, Even I know that the chipmunks was Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're on about the rescue rangers. Ch, 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 chip and Dale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. I think I missed out. <laughs> Did you miss out? Time. Did you, you, yeah, you didn't even get the raccoons, no? No, not the raccoons. For me, it was the bum, bummy game. <laughs> 
gummy bears. <laughs> Bummy gummy. <laughs> okay, it's time. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do we say about the words when they leave your mouth kind of brain thing interaction it's not happening I missed that show <laughs> you mean gummy bears of course gummy bears oh. bouncing here and there and everywhere dun, 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 beyond compare we are the yeah. gummy bears those ones. yeah those ones not to be confused by <laughs> The bummy anything, actually. No. <laughs> Maybe you're watching a different show. I don't know. <laughs> what was that? That was the ghost telling us off. Oh, goodness me. Let's suck. Uh, it's okay. What are we doing? Oh, Nadia, this will bring us back down to earth. Oh, I need, Ooh. I want, oh, Opal, give me Opal any day. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. Well, it's your birthday, so it's it lucky is. for you to have it. Oh, I'm so lucky. Honestly, Opal is my absolute favourite, hands down. Oh, what a gorgeous strand as well. Look at this blue. And it's got oh. opalescence in it like you would not believe. That is amazing. Do you know there's a style that um, I've been working with for a while now? It's called Heady Weave. Wire wrapping with utilizes coils. It's quite organic as well. And you kind of lay the coils into nooks and crannies of your gemstones. And when you get, quite often they use these organic shapes in them because it just complements that particular style of weaving. Um, this is stunning. Oh, it's beautiful. Perfect for that. I adore this. This, look at the power coming from this strand it's natural it's coming out of the ground another one of mother nature's displays of utter power she's in control look at what you've got here look oh. at the pin now that is just exceptional isn't Beautiful. it that's amazing <sighs> who needs cartoons when the earth is giving us this kind of a display wow just incredible Look, every single one, every amazing. single one gives us. I just like the fact that we actually, I mean, where would you find a strand like that in the whole of Britain, the UK? Where would you, if not here? I think if I were to go You and, would and struggle. You would struggle. I mean, that's amazing. That's why we, we've got such variety in, in what we offer. Good old Marie. Yeah, and absolutely. Yes, yeah, no, she's amazing. She's not old, actually. She's probably younger than me. £49.95 for this very exceptionally high-end strand. Do not miss out on this. It's powerful. It's fabulous. It comes with a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. This is Opal like you have never seen it before. You've got 30 carats. They range from around 6 by 3 to 12 by 9 but of course they are natural, so you're going to get a little bit of a, a difference in each one. Not everyone can be the same, of course. What a strand. It's amazing. What a strand. Honestly, this is definitely something. I mean, if you're never going to use it for anything else but like that, it's something worth having because I don't think many people own something like that. I don't think they do. I don't think they do at all. I think it's like magic, isn't it? Mother Definitely. Nature's magic. Don't take things like this for granted, seriously. I just adore that strand. Okay, that was your star buy and it's just gorgeous. Was it a star buy? It wasn't even a star buy. That should have been a star should buy. Should have been a star buy. Whew. Whew. I don't think, how can we beat that, eh? How can we? Oh, hello again. Hello, wow. hello. That's like a bullseye from a cruise ship. Looking like a what from a cruise ship? Oh, yeah. Bullseye from a cruise ship. I've looking never been out on a cruise ocean. ship. Neither have I. I'd love to. Have you, Paul? And how was it? Did you get sicky or were you okay? It's amazing. Oh, very bougie. Was it really posh? Was there lots of entertainment? Is it like buffet all you can eat booze on? All you can eat food on the... Um, 
And you can just eat what you cool. like. That is amazing. And can, is there like a swimming pool on board and stuff? I'm just not sure about it. I'm not sure about whether I just want to be on the land going out of my room where I'm staying and look at... I should go on a cruise. Do you know what? It would be nice for three days just to see if you actually like it. Um, and oh, then, yeah, you should do then, everything once. Yeah. You only did two sea days in a week. Oh, okay, fine. I'm okay oh, with that. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, then. that's fine. I'll do that. Oh, oh, actually, I'm saying I'll do it. It's really expensive, though, isn't it? Now, let's have a look. This natural grey agate is just such a lovely strand. Now again, I've been, I've been getting right into agate in these hours, as you probably know. If you go onto a certain other um, shopping TV channel, that's three initials, one of them being Q, there is a, a certain design on there of a jewelry, um, and it's all agate. And they range from about £70 a piece upwards for a macrame piece. And I think, gosh, you could make that for a fraction. I'm not taking away from them because they're lovely designs, packaged beautifully, yeah, and no. she does a really good job. But um, this is a gem set that commands a much higher price than we give it um, credit for, actually. Often, I mean, really often, we're just spoiled here. I, mean, I keep saying that about our pearls as well. We've got such high-end mm. quality pearls and... And we you know, do them at ridiculous prices. No, I mean, whatever we have on here, I used to have to source everything, you know, overseas and try and bring it in and but then there's the risk of are you getting what they're saying you're exactly. getting so you don't get to First see it touch all, it enjoy the money back guarantee that as well and then the price is quite often um we have to buy them in bulk don't you yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen on my strand you should have there or thereabouts for nine pounds and ninety five pence you are g P46 is your item code, 490 carats of natural grey agate puffy coins. Um, just a gorgeous strand, an amazing amount on your strand for you. You could just re-knot these as they are, or you could use them individually. Look at these. That's an aquamarine and it is glorious. Then you've got morganite on this strand. Look at this. What a beautiful strand of beryl. And we were talking about beryl earlier. Mm, we were, yeah. Well, we had that, uh, that first quartz strand. strand. Yeah, the quartz Feels strand. Feels like five minutes ago, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. It was hours ago, that. Straight in bracelets again, in rings. He's got a lovely edge, gallery wire, completely and utterly. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that would look fabulous, gallery wire. In fact, where's that piece that Cufflinks. Thing? Got the... Here's gallery wire. So you go around a gemstone. So that's gallery wire. Mm. You could go around these straight into a ring and it would be glorious. How fab would that look? Be brilliant, wouldn't it? Mm. That was on the morning show. So do check out the website to see if there's any left. I think they were pretty limited on stock. So don't hold your breath, see, um, you know, <laughs> checking. Don't hold your breath anyway. It's probably not advised. <laughs> so here we have for you gorgeous colour. Absolute femininity, but you could put these into cufflinks so they don't have to be feminine. I can't believe the colour, the price we're going to give you, actually. $16.95 for these. Genuine barrel, so you know you've got aquamarine on there, heliodor on there, you've got the morganite on there. Beautiful. And of course, the greener version of beryl works its way into being emerald, doesn't it? So, ooh. So it does. What a, oh, I got a greenie. <clears throat> Bren's in. Hiya, Bren. I'm just waiting for your message to come um, onto my... There we go. Hi, Jen and Nadia. My new favourite bonkers twins duo. <laughs> uh, we've been called worse, so yeah. yeah I'll yeah. take that, will you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Ella, Ella says, Jenny, try baby sham and brandy. What? Oh. Okay. Very sweet. Let me just... I think I'm going to give that a go. You know, you have to do a little... Yeah, little taste. Little, little uh, test taste. Yeah. My mm. kids hate it when I do that. If I taste that, they go, they're like, oh, that's that noise she does. It's so annoying. And now, of course, now I know it annoys them, I do it even more. Uh -huh. We are so alike. I do that to my kids too. Yeah. They hate it. Oh, not, is it annoying not that you? Yeah. They're taste. like, Ugh. stop. My son also hates it when I take the words of his songs and I sing them in opera. Hates that. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> it's my favourite thing to do to him. Oh, my kids would just hate it if I sing full stop. Oh, so then I you must sing, darling. Oh, no way. Sing, sing. I'd annoy myself for that, so I'm not going to try that. I also, when my, I can hear my sons on the phone, I go into his room and I, I'm like, hi, can I speak to your friends? Hi, friends. He's like, out. <laughs> oh, same. Mum. I'm, I'm, I'm live. You can't say anything yeah. right now. Does he, does he unplug yeah. whatever he's doing so they can't hear you? Oops, did, did I accidentally turn the internet off? <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these are dramatic. Little big planets. Look at them. Look at them. These look like little pendulums going with that. Yeah, they look, just work, look so good with those, don't they? This is a brilliant. What about chakra bracelets? Did you I, believe you in chakra? You took the words out of my mouth, right? Did now. I? Yeah, absolutely. Keep doing you that. did. You did. I think chakra bracelets would be glorious with this. I can't remember what the blues and the greens um, represent, but you'll be able to look that up if you're making them. Mm. Chrysocolla, we know, grows in. Um, is often found in the same places that malachite is found. So you do get some of those sort of malachite greens Crossing running over. through. You get this incredible, strong, strong blue, but this light almost. Yeah, well, it is almost like a swimming pool blues through here as well, like tropical seas. Oh, I love this. I love this gemstone. I love this strand. I think it's just utterly gorgeous. What do you think? Do you love it? These rounds are 10 millimetres. There's the 60 millimetres. Do you know, these could go into macrame bracelets, but I do like easy. these simply in <clears throat> stretchies. Mm, yeah, I mean, these rounds are so easy and wearable as well. They're really easy just to pop on a, on a bit of a stretchy band. Um, or else you could put them with, um, we've got some gorgeous sterling silver chains, actually, if you would just rosary mm -hmm. link sides and then Ooh, use yeah, a single rosary. one. Yeah, We've got those with the magnetic clasps as well. It's just tons and tons you can do. We're going to give you a fabulous prize. $44.95 for a whopping 140 carats of Chrysocola. Um, hugely popular at the moment, Chrysocola. Pretty new mm. find when it comes to gemstones. A pretty new find when it comes to, um, sorry, gemstones that we sell here at Jewelry Maker. We haven't had this for that long. I, when I went and then came back again, this was a new thing to me. Chrysocola was. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We didn't have it before I left, which was three and a half years ago. Wow. So I came back okay. and then I was like, where did this gem come, stone come from? I didn't see this. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is a thing now, Jewelry Maker. This is how we roll now. And the other thing is it is actually not quite, not that easy to find as well. And my first Christ caller that I ever bought, which I actually thought was Christ caller, was actually not, as you were saying earlier, uh, that it was... It was I don't know what it was, dyed but something. yeah, it was dyed something. And I was quite disappointed, you know, I obviously bought it somewhere else. Um, and you can you can never get the guarantee that you get here where you get your certificate and everything else to go with it without it's actually the real deal you're getting. So it's quite easy to buy. Well, you can always get your certificate of, of yeah, authenticity, this. not downloadability. I just, I think I'm going, have I gone mad? I don't know. I'm always on the cusp of madness. That's what I am. Now, um, in a bid to calm me down, uh, Mark, my partner, has bought me spa access for a year, which is a very good oh, present. Oh, that is brilliant. Yes, it is. I was in I was in the hot tub the other day, and it, it's got um, like stars above it, and it's all relaxing, and they've got like a, a floaty steam room with stars in it, and I'm like, oh, I'm so relaxed. This is brilliant. <laughs> Oh. No, it's a different place to the other place that I told you about, the hot tub man. It's a different place. That's a different story, which I can't, can't talk about that. It's a bit rudy. Now, you know when you get in a hot tub and you're in a gym and, and that? And now, that, okay. I can, I can spin my tails from Sometimes there. people don't get in fully clothed and I don't think that's okay. <laughs> oh, no, definitely not. It's not Why okay. Not? It was I a think, different place. I think you'd see me out of the tub in a flash. Mm. Well, I couldn't because I didn't want to, you know, oh, right. didn't want to appear rude. Uh, yes, I don't I just it. slowly made my way out of there quickly. <laughs> yeah, they're going, you didn't want to appear rude? <laughs> JHG P92, right. 270 carats of rose quartz pillows. And these are 10 by 14 mil. I think these are brilliant for putting in rings. They've got clarity to mm. them. Um, whether you want to then swirl around so you can't see the drill hole, 
But again, I, I talk of cufflinks a lot, and I think I, th I think we don't make enough cufflinks. I think women can wear cufflinks. We can put these into pieces. That's actually very true. Do you know that? Yeah, we can. It's we can wear true. them. Yeah. There's no rule that mm. says we can't wear a cufflink. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it obviously, it depends the clothing you wear. But I've never even thought of that. I've got a couple of blouses that would actually f uh, cute, suit yeah. cufflinks quite nicely. You can make buttons out of these yeah. to go with it. There you go. Good you idea. Jazz up that outfit. Oh, I've got a black coat that would look quite nice if you had these as buttons coming through. See, That's a yes, accessorise idea. your clothing. Yeah. Now, oh dear, what's supposed to be in there then? Oh, that's in nine. More bumblebees. <gasps> I was just about to say, bring out the big chunks we had bring earlier. Bring out the bumblebees. We've got some tiger's eye that will go very well with these little bumblers. Oh, I love that colour. It's so happy. Yellow is a happy colour. Oh, it is the, it's the colour of happiness, isn't it? I think because of the sun and all that. Don't get us started on the sun again. <laughs> <laughs> I just had that moment of, oh my gosh, what happens if it stops being on fire? Now... Oh. These little tinies are going to set go so well with things like rose quartz. Mm. I, I mean, smoky quartz, not rose, but but rose quartz. Rose smoky quartz, quartz as are well, going to go really well. The, the colours. I think I might be tempted to put this into a necklace. I think this would look absolutely spectacular with amber. Look how oh, well nice. does that go? Yeah. They go really, amber's so light, isn't it? You go to touch it and you think it's going to be so much heavier than what it is. I love these sort of colours channel set because it shows them off so nicely. Yeah, it does. You could make a ring out mm -hmm. of it, couldn't you? You could, you could then put it in a brace. I mean, there's loads of things you can do with this gemstone. And, and of course, when you've got a rondelle, you've got so many options. XMV X02 is your price. Messages come in from Ella. Jenny and Nadia, let me know what you think of the brandy and baby shampoos. I will. I'm gonna I'm have to try I'm not sure where we well. can get baby shampoo, Crimbo. I've never tried it, so I'm gonna have to kind of get a bit of guidance on there where I can find it's stuff. It's a little it cute been... bottle. It's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to Google it because it's I have no idea. It's the sort of alcohol your gran would allow you to have, ah. um, but not necessarily your mum, because she was, um, oh, not right. with brandy. My gran, my gran used to give me Baileys and when I was little. And whiskey for toothache. Did she? Yeah, yeah. I mean, do not do those. No, it's no, not no, okay. No. We're just talking about the past when people didn't even have seatbelts in the back of their car. Things yeah. were a lot looser. The rules were looser. Much, much looser. And, yeah. the, and the seats in cars were bouncy. And you'd be like, boing, boing, <laughs> boing, boing. They were fun. I mean, not so fun without the seatbelt, though. Now, should we do those tigers like tubes? Tubes. I'm thinking of the um, uh, the Amazonite we had earlier to go yes, with Yes, those rough nuggets. They go lovely with mm. those. I like this kind of shape. I like this kind. You could come this way with them and do something that looks like a ladder. You could, you could oh, do yeah, a you toggle could, yeah. with them. Like, obviously, that tassel wouldn't be that far down, but you could go straight into a beaded tassel with loads of those yes. little bumblebee oh, jaspers. Do you know what you? else would look nice? is If you create, like, a cage with seed beads, you know, and seated inside, like, almost like a hot air balloon. Yes. <laughs> it's a funny, funny uh, way like of describing it. around. Yeah. Kind of like that, and then make, like, a... a beaded uh, ne necklace like that, that would look nice. Okay. You could do seed bead wings in black and that could be a bumblebee's body as well. Oh, there you go. Or a wire work bumblebee. You could do wire work around that and make it bumbly. I think there's a lot you can um, you can do with these, and I think you're going to really enjoy them. Um, of course, we know Tiger's Eye to be associated with courage, a protective talisman as well, um, if you believe in that kind of thing. YRV, I, I, sorry, R, not I, 93. These are 21.95. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On my stand, you step there or there in that. I just saw this come in through the studio. They were sparkling from the other end. Look at that. Which one are we doing? Whew. Nadia. These, these, these. Uh, one of the oldest gemstones known to man. They had to rewrite the Bible because of the... They, when they dated back this gemstone, they realised the Bible must be... Rock, you know, stuff like that. They had to rewrite history books. It's mentioned in the Bible as well, this gemstone. It's incredible. Look at the sparkle. 
So, so small. I love it. It's got more fire than a diamond, hasn't it, Zircon? It's often, it's the, the gemstone that's most mistaken for a diamond. And cubic zirconia. Look at that. Is not to be mistaken for mm. this gemstone. Look how gorgeous mm. that is. Such sparkle. Again, that in a channel set. Again, you'd have to use really, really fine wire and uh, maybe some bare copper that you'd oxidize just to show it oh, off. Oh, yeah. Perfectly well, but I mean like a kind of snaky design in a channel set with um, a bit of intricate wire yeah. weaving around the side. Look amazing. If you want the sparkle, then you've got it. For $16.95, this is one of the oldest gemstones known to man, and it's $16.95. Incredible. Uh, it's super, 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 super sparkly. I just, do you know what? Just get it at that price because you've got that sparkle. If you love diamond-like sparkle, then you're going to absolutely adore this. You're going to adore it. And you know what? As spaces for anything that is, um, if you have a gemstone that you'd like to dress up, something like a, you know, a black agate or something like that, this is the thing to Ideal. put with it. Black onyx, black mm. agate, anything like that really makes it pop. And of course, you can use this in your soutache designs. You've got some lovely opportunities to sort of thread this through. Oh, do you know what, what we could do? The, the big um, obsidian that we had earlier, the yes. massive rounds. If you take those and you kind of create a cradle around them, you know, like a bauble almost. Yes, they look have, exceptional that. Like would that. look amazing in that because of the dark background and the absolute sparkle of these, that would look fabulous. Nadia, thank you for That's all of amazing. your incredible inspiration. It's, uh, it's gone incredible. like that. It has. You're back tomorrow, are you? Uh, the day after tomorrow for the mid. Okay, and what, are and you then, doing some filming tomorrow as well for... No, I'm just, uh, just, uh, I'm just, just doing a show after, yeah. I've got uh, some work on the laptop to do, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. Oh, this is you. amazing. Well, thank you so much, Nadia. I'll see you after the break. Bye. Mwah. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
We'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Huge apologies, Ben and I both started choking at the same time. Now, if that was a coincidence, Ben, wasn't it? I've been choking all day. Ben's been choking it all day. <coughs> now, we're going to give you... Are we doing... We're doing them both together? <gasps> oh, the deal of deals. So we keep grabbing these. We've kept grabbing these pretty much most of the afternoon show. They're going to give weight to your pieces, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? I love the fact they've got these pointy tips. I love the fact you've got all of these areas all the way around. They're like kites, some of these. That was nice and loud, wasn't it? Yes, we just had Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers in our ears. There are other cartoons, of course. Other cartoons are available. Look at the edges of these. Look at the bottoms of these. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Such a gorgeous colour. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I do apologise. I had a little cough there. Gorgeous colour, gorgeous depth. Amethyst, of course, is one of your favourite gemstones. I think amethyst and labradorite tend to be our most popular of all gemstones. Now, pop a little bit of colour like this into the mix and hello, we've got a piece of jewellery. Maybe you want to soften it. Maybe you want to put some pearls in there. We're going to give you a five o'clock mega deal because it's five o'clock and this is a mega deal. ENX C54. You should be paying a fabulous value price of thirty-one ninety because that's only just what sixteen pounds each, just over, or just under. Incredible depths, amethyst February's birth gemstone, fabulous shapes, unusual shapes, but a five o'clock mega deal price not to be messed with. We are going to take these down to ten pounds per strand. You need to be quick. We've only got a few of these 75 carats in the uh, fasted trillions. Those are 12 to 15 millimeters on the graduation. And the pyramids are 16 by 9 to 22 by 10. That's what it says there. And you're paying just 19.95 for the both. So you know what? Don't hang around. Make sure 
you're quick. One of these independent. One of these, if, you're, if you've got a healing necklace, definitely with that center one. Why are at these? With the, with the trillions. You could just, you could prong set those. Oh, uh, might have done a cheeky little DVD with Alison Tarry that would give you the insight of exactly how to do that just yesterday. Uh, lovely to have your company. Hello, Christine. I've just opened up. There was a zipped up bag of cats and I let them out. I enticed them out, actually, with cat food in my hands. Angela, you're there. Lynn, you're there. Abby, Shirley, you're there from the Hertfordshire. Yeah, I did just help them out. Cat one, cat two, out the bag, go on. Never to come back in again. Oh, I do love a cat. 1995, but they don't belong in, in bag. Do you know what? I don't, I like cats and dogs for different reasons. I've got a cat and I've got a dog. My cat didn't try and kill me. She tried to bury me, two different things. She thought I was dead and buried me, which I respect her for. Kerry hasn't heard this story, so I'm, apologies to the, sorry, Becky hasn't heard this story. Um, so what happened was I woke up. Now I sleep like this. That's just how I sleep, okay? Because then, because somebody told me if I try and sleep on my back and I don't move, I would not get wrinkles. So I've trained myself to sleep like this. And if I fusion my hands together, it stops me from going either. I don't know why it just does. Because you can do this and this and either that or a silk pillow. Anyway, anyway. I wake up one day and I have a king size bed and it's just me in it. Well, it was at the time. And I wake up and I'm just there and I'm covered in moss. Just where my body is, nowhere else, right? And I went, because <gasps> you don't expect to wake up and be covered in moss. It's not an everyday occurrence. But then I hear this, because that's the weird noise my cat makes. She came out of the window, moss in her mouth. And then at one side of me just spat the moss out and looked at me like, oh, you're alive. Well, this is embarrassing because I've just spent all night burying you. She must have spent moss from my roof. She was putting all over my body. She buried me. And she almost looked annoyed that she'd spent all night burying me and there I was alive. She was like, I've spent a long time burying you. It wasn't an easy job, you know, up, down, up, down, and you're alive. Well, you know, what can I say? Fine. <laughs> ENX C54, 1995. Now the dog's never done that. The dog's never done that. But it does make me respect my cat a lot. She loves me. To, enough to spend all night burying me because she thought I was dead. Unless she was just gonna smother me after burying me, two birds, one stone. ENX C54. In which case, I had a very light escape, didn't I? 1995, 0800-644-655 is the number to be calling. Jewelrymaker.com, if you're on the Webulate, you could always tap what, Ben? The app. The app. Um, yeah, you can tap the app. Are you a little bit coldy burny today? A little bit, yeah. A little bit coldy. It's okay. It's a lot going around, Ben. Do be careful, darling, all right? Oh, oh, Have oh, some oh. Barocca. Oh, I've got some in my pocket, don't worry. Oh, he's, he's always got a Barocca in his pocket. It's six o'clock, that's my time. Ben, could you please pass me the black velvety board? Yes. Thank you so much. I like your golden, um, your golden jumper today. You. Chenille. It's gold. Do you know what you look like? Um, if you were a Tudor, that's, a, that's the cloth of which I think you would be dressed. Ooh. Because you would be a very important Tudor. I hope so. Quite a cunning one, I'd imagine. Yes, very. They weren't particularly nice in those days. Now, you've got beautiful cabochons here. Again, great for Gallery Wire. Did you tune in this morning? Most of it sold out, but if you did get some, these would be glorious for that. Also great for Soutash. These, now you get a lot here. You're getting 10 18 millimeter cabochons. So you've got 1,300 car carats. Is that, no, hang on, how many carats? No, you don't, you get 13 carats in each one. So you've got 130 carats more, I over -mathed. So some of these have great clarity. Some of these, it's all about that color. Some of them have a little bit of both. What a wonderful opportunity you're about to get. Sue Tash, if you watched the show the other day with Alice and Terry, these would be glorious for that. And we are loving the combination of these two together. BNK, Y63. God bless you and all who sail in you. 
11 pounds for 10 of these? One pound 10 each? No, one pound 13 each. No, one pound 10 each. BNKY63 is your, what are you rubbing on your hands? Not your sneeze. Anti oh, anti-back, okay. BNK, because I saw this. Watch you! I then spoke to people, well, everyone at home, and then I saw. So in between that, there was some antibacterial action. Phew, it's okay then, because I'm a bit like, not sure if I'm okay with that. Okay, he's not, <laughs> Kerry refuses to show, you can't take it off the wall, Ben. You can't, he's, he's now proving to me. It's all right, darling, I believe you. Not sure everyone wants to see the foam on your hands, Ben. It's, it's, you've got quite a lot. He's going to show you. There we go. He wants to show you. BNK Y63, 130 carats of light, amethyst rounds. Not all of these are light. Loads of you are coming to grab these. Let's see, let's see your names. Can you change? I don't know how to change it to names. There you go. Surrey, you've got yours. Birmingham, you've got yours. Kerry, sorry? Number six. These would be nice buttons. <gasps> Top drilled rounds. Top drilled rounds. Now, Becky has just found out what a snowball the drink is, yeah? Go on, what, what did they say it was to you? What is it, Becky? You tell us how to make a snowball. No, it's not as nice. Snowballs are really nice. Advocate and lemonade. Jen, it's all fizzy and snowbally. One hundred carrots. Wait, what is it? Of top drilled rounds. These with chalcedony. Now, the greatest thing about these top drilled rounds is that you make a beady bead with them. You can't see the matrix. And they do sit so beautifully. They're all so brilliant. If you would like to put a round into a ring and channel set it, then you'd need one of these because otherwise it's going to protrude too much. Because these... Do you see are at the base? Because that drill hole is at the base, you then have an opportunity to make rings out of these. They're just a lot more, do you know, I would go for a top drilled round over, unless you're making stretches, I'd go for a top drilled round over pretty much. I'd just go for it, especially for beady beads. These together, just glorious. 12 95 for these, and if you've not used a top driller, use one. You won't go back, I tell you, when it comes to a round. We're gonna give you this strand now because you've been asking for it. These little saucers are gorgeous. The color is incredible. And you get a lot to the strand. Amazonite saucers. Look, the really long strand. These in between, and pretty much anything you want to put with them, but <coughs> definitely with striking colors. You've got, is it a 38 centimeter strand? Nah, see, I'd say that's longer than 30 centimetres, isn't it? It just feels like it's a, it is a long measuring stick. I'm measuring stickless. Look at these together. Lush. So we know it goes with, with amethyst. I've been putting it with amethyst quite a lot. But what if we put this with labradorite? Gorgeous. That's so pretty together. We've got to do those soon. They're beautiful. Three by one on a 30 centimetre strand. This is Amazonite. What a colour, what a gemstone, what an incredible accent. And you know what, it can be quite frosty, this gemstone. So you could, you could think frozen and go down that route with the colours. Apparently frozen two comes, I still haven't seen frozen one. Everyone says it's really good, but I got annoyed by the song and then I couldn't watch it. Okay, so, so it's worth watching. Yeah, I can't listen to that Let It Go song. 
Okay, I'll watch it because I know everyone loves it. Yeah, I'll watch it. I like a Disney film as much as the next girl. Well, person. I don't know what my favourite Disney film even is, you know. It is not Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, though. That is my least favourite. 1995. Look at that colour. Think about where you're going to put this. Just beautiful. HNQQ 1620 carats are beautiful Amazonite. These saucers are, do you know, it's a rarity to see something like this, isn't it? But it will go so well, it will really accent. Can we do this one next? I love it. Thank you, darling. Well, those look great together. They do, don't they? They really do. Now, what songs are you singing in me, me ear now? Still DuckTales. Woo! I don't even like, I used to not like that at all. Was it Huey, Louie and Dewey? Yeah, I don't like that. Did not like that at all. Rescue Rangers is okay. I'd have watched it. It was, it was better than, than DuckTales. But I'm a lot older than you. I keep telling you, my favorite cartoon ever was, um, was either Dungeons and Dragons or it was, um, it was the raccoons. I love them. I did like the gummy bears though. I'm not taking anything away from them. But look, they don't know what I'm talking about. They're so young. At this. Grammy bear was my favorite. Look at that color. I'm looking up there because that's where my screen is. When I move this, $7.95 is your price. Did you see those great, big, amazing, that fabulous strand? You know, the one that I said, if, if, if we came down as aliens, we'd go, wow, they, they're definitely the most precious stones. XSR U2985 carats of Labradorite for £7.95. pence. What an opportunity. What an amazing gemstone this is. Make sure you're grabbing them fast because I don't want anyone missing out with those. We're going to power through because we we're running out of time. Jump rings. They won't make you jump. I wonder why they're called jump rings, actually, with that said. Hmm. It's curious, isn't it? Ben, please may you pass me those tweezers, please, darling. And there's some chocolates there for you to help yourself to. Oh, here's the tweezers. There's the tweezers, darling. Thank there you. Are. Thank you so much. Open jump rings. Now, if you buy pre-made jump rings, you can always be pretty much guaranteed that you're going to get that professional finish. You're going to get that cut exactly where you want it. So nice and sharp cuts. And these could go for your, you, I mean, these are sterling silver. So if you want to make a really high end piece of jewelry that's got a, a, part, a, part, a portion of it um, as chainmail, you can. You can use these in a sweetie style bracelet. You can use these to add charms to. There's a lot, I mean, these are, are part of the bones of your jewelry making. So you've got something that's gonna give you the perfect ending, the perfect beginning, be actually the key feature to your piece if you want it to, and know that it's solid sterling silver. Your inner dimension on these is five millimeters and you're getting 50 in your pack. 95 under 10 pounds solid sterling silver you can't argue with that kind of value can you it's brilliant don't forget to text us in because we're going in a 45 minutes in the mid show and then we take you through to the late show who's on that today is it becky oh becky and mel melanie blakey or a different mel silver clay mel i've not met mel green yet YHRF79, uh, a great price here for you, £9.95. pence. boop boop ba doo boop boop ba doo um, Number 15, you say? This is beautiful with the... Um, actually, these would be gorgeous together too. Look at these together. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, so you'll notice that I am a fan of these little bracelets because I've got one on. Um, I, I do love this. And again, if you want to 
if you want to be making beady beads, if you want to put something in between a gemstone and you want that colour, it's such a lovely natural colour, isn't it? And, and green's my favourite colour. Is it one of yours? I hope it is too. AYP053 is your item code. These little three millimeter rounds are gonna be perfect for sewing around things. They're gonna be perfect for your soutache again. They're gonna be perfect for accent beads. They're gonna be perfect in tassels. They're gonna be perfect in between pearls. And they're going under five pounds. So they're gonna be perfect for you if it's the last day before payday and you are shopping up with a budget. That is a great price tag, isn't it? Just. Uh, we don't have loads of these left. In fact, we're down to single figures and you are in for these. It's so lovely to see you. It feels like a Friday today, but it's definitely Wednesday, isn't it? Is it definitely Wednesday? Definitely Wednesday. Hmm. Halloween tomorrow. I feel like some a news flash is going to happen today. Yeah, I just had a little weird... I don't know. I can't ever tell. Just a news flash. Just a news flash. £4.95. AYP053 is your item code. Let's give you the same but different, but this time in a tiger's eye. So. You t I've got Becky and Kerry in my ears and they're sisters and they're cute. You, you two are cute. You're little gigglers together. You're little gigglers. Because if that was me and my sister, we'd be like, shut up. No, oh my, why would you say that? Don't tell them that. Oh, great. Now everyone knows everything about me. Now, but these two are cute. They're like, heh. <laughs> I think female beaver some butthead. Uh, JFP08, no, they're way cuter than that. They're very cute. Look at these together. They're so gorgeous. Now you're cute together. Ninety-five for tiger's eye. Um, you could put this in. Um, you could put this in quite masculine jewelry. You know. Oh, that's so pretty. I do love these around. Like, if you've got any tiger's eye cabochons, you might want to get this because you can um, CD bead around it. We've got some smaller ones of these coming up later. Oh, that'd be a great graduation. Those together, of course, they're the same gemstone. Of course, they're going to go together beautifully. These could go in between your dog tooths. Not, no real dog teeth have been extracted to make that strand because that would hurt the dogs, and we're all about dogs. JF, well, we're all about gemstones and jewelry making. JFP087, let's continue on. That's the one I just had. There's some more red tigers. I know, just literally put it back. Literally put it back. Now, let's have a look at these together. Oh, they're like Kerry and Becky. They're just cute together. Five carats of red tiger's eye. No, not from the red tiger. I don't even know whether the, there is a red tiger. It's just colored red and it's tiger's eye. Are there red tigers? There's white tigers, isn't there? White tigers can't breed though, can they? Two, no, they can't. So there's no such thing as a red tiger. Did you know that if you get a mule, so half donkey, half horse makes a mule, mules can't breed? Do you know that? Do you know that? They can't breed. So I think that's the same thing of a white tiger's can't breed. I, m I mean, I might have dreamt that, but I can't see why I would be dreaming about white tigers. Yeah, can white tigers reproduce? I don't think they can. These in a <coughs> ring. That on memory wire in a ring would be lovely, wouldn't it? £4.95. PRP021 is your item code, two millimetres. Oh, I love this finding. Let's give you this. Oh, it's very fancy. Did you get any gorgeous pearls during our pearl week? Oh my gosh, you're going to want this. So you've got... I think you could, mm, you could put this on a bracelet, you know, but you, I think, do you know, I can't decide whether I want it on a choker. Isn't that lovely? It looks kind of Victorian, doesn't it? Very high end. Sterling silver. 
two grams of solid sterling silver. Cubic zirconia in the center. You've got a big cubic zirconia in the center there. And you've got a lot of silver. I think this would lend itself into a chain mail. Have you had chain mail coming off either end? Really nice, thick. What's that thick, flat chain mail that you can get? What's that called? Well, you'll know what it's called. Um, that would be exceptional with that. And you could use it as part of your fastening, couldn't you? <gasps> oh, it's lovely. And to know it's sterling, we don't have loads of these. So if you love it and you're seeing it for the first time, you're going to have to hop on board. We've only got six of these left. It's under 20 pounds. That's going to make a massive difference to your jewellery. Knowing that that is solid sterling silver, absolutely under 20 pounds is a fabulous price. P R, sorry, P F R F 12 is your item code for that one. But like I said, we are in single figures of that. So if you do want it, please act fast. I think it's got that Victorian edge to it. So it's definitely something that I would enjoy having. I think you could make, um, you can make a lot of decorative pieces with that. So pretty, it's so ornate, it's so expensive looking. Looks like that's about to sell out. So let's go to, oh, now the silver boxes with the lids. Let's hope I got the lids this time. Do you remember what I did last time? Right, so let's make them. So we've got your jewellery boxes for if you sell your jewellery on and you want to package it properly, these are really easy to assemble. So let me talk you through it. Push the bottom so you've got a solid bottom, okay? It's always good to have a solid bottom. Now, not a wobbly one, to secure that, push that one inside. Now you see these score lines? Just give them a little press, just so that they are easy to pop in. Just t turn them both ways and then you won't let, then it won't be fracturing. So you can go uppy, downy with those. Now you wanna be outwards. And you wanna just push them in, push them in, push them in. Actually you could do, I mean you could do it that way or you could do it the other way around and hide your gubbins. So I've got my box there. Now I've got that little, uh, you can see that there, but you could put it over the top. Now, then you've got your lids. And these are really easy as well. So what you want to do is take the score lines and just press them. Where you see a score line, the best thing to do is just go over the top of them. These are really easy to make, so please don't worry. And they give you a lovely, lovely finish. Okay, so here you have some little, um, little score lines in the center there. So just depress those, push them in, depress those, push them in, press those. Um, if you go around and do all of those corners, then you'll find it a lot easier to just push this all in together. Okay, then you're going to press that over the top of there. Hang on. Press that over the top. Do you like my demo? Are you enjoying it? Well, I just want everyone to know it's, quite, it's easy to do, you know. It's very easy to do. Hang on. Yeah, you can, if you forget how to do it, you can always, you can always rewind this back. So that goes in there and there is your lid, okay? In you go, come on you rascal. Hang on, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Over the fold and in. Hang on, go on in. I know what I've done, that goes in. Sorry, that flap goes in last. Did I mess it up? No, because I want everyone to know, like, there we go, then put that flap in because it's got that little tag, so that then pushes into there. Okay, then we've got our lid, look. It's a nice lid. Onto your box. Well, are, we not, are we doing the lid separately? We're not, are we? Oh, you've never seen it come in two pieces, yeah. Well, then we can flat pack them, you see, and then wh what happens then is, you can just put them in your in your drawer like that. Whereas if you had five of these, they're harder to store. So it's easier if you make them fresh. Three ninety five. Now I'm going to get some of those for under the Christmas tree because I like that straight under the Christmas tree. I think it looks cute, straight like that. So we've got them in different colours. Would you like a full demonstration of all of them? Yeah, you can see red made up. Absolutely. Okay, we'll be quicker this time because we know what we're doing. Right. So let's. Are you all right, my dear? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay, so pop the bottom out. 
I'm remembering that this bit, this time, this time we'll go last with that flap. Okay. I would, well, you don't have to. It's just it would, but remember to fold all the score lines that are already there because it just make your life easier. Fold them now and then you're not folding them at the other end. Okay, we're going to push that in. And this, it doesn't matter which, um, which order you go. Right now, actually with the red, I would, right, so you see you're like that and you think, well, I want to cover that up. Well, you can. That's what that will do for you. So you've got that lovely finish. There's your box. I'll do this quicker now, see, because I just did one. Once you've made one up, you're on a, you're on a blooming roll, girls, or ladies and gentlemen. Um, push that out there. Push that out there. Remember to bring in your corners. Any of anything with a score line, just refold it. Push your corners in. And you want to see it again in white? I don't mind. I like doing stuff like this. I, like, I really enjoy making boxes, you know. There's something really therapeutic about doing stuff like this. Okay, now remembering we've got our tag piece on there. So we're going to fold in from here. And then we are going to push that that way. There we go. Come on, you little rascal. You went in there first and then you're arguing with me. Okay. And then we are going to go this way with that one. Put your corners in into that bit. Hang on, let me just score that that way because I want it to fit that way. In you go. Don't be a rascal about life. They're laughing at me. Why is this lid not as easy? <laughs> no, I won't be defeated by this lid. I'm not going to let it beat me. I'm not demoing the white one. Why is the red one more annoying? There, there we go. Are we live, yeah? Yeah. There you go, Liddy. Liddy. Wait, I've got to make sure it fits on. There you go. The same but white. I'm not doing it. So same price for the white. Uh, they're just white. Do you know what? You could colour these yourself if you wanted to then. Uh, yeah, you could little... Oh, this is for Santa. You could colour them in any colour. You could go Tiffany green if you wanted to. Um, but of course you must... I love getting jewellery, do you? I love it. It's such a nice present, isn't it? RZL. Do you know what my boyfriend did? He, I found a piece of jewellery, which he st I found it and he hid it in a really rubbish place. He's still never given it to me. It's still there. Yeah, is it for me or is it, was it for someone else? <laughs> now... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got you don't get the giggles, you two. They're like little gigglers, those two are. No. Oh. Is it just you two siblings, or have you got another sibling? Yeah, good, because the other one would feel quite left out, I think. So it's a good job. Imagine if you had a brother, you two. There'd be all sorts of arguments. Now, you wouldn't ignore him. Now, these with these. Little bead and then a shepherd hook. I think these could be quite Dior, you know. I think they're beautiful. So you've got your soft pink shell drops, 12 by eight millimeters. They're very Dior. I love this color. The, the girls are just telling me about how they used to tease their cousin and tell him that Mr. Nobody was coming to get him, but you can't see him. And he's really smart, yet he believed you. 
He's a scientist now. Do you know why he's smart? Because he went out and just had to research everything because he needed some rational thinking. It's your fault that he's clever. So I would take, I would take full, full blame for that. Those together, they're lush, aren't they? How much are these then? Let's have a look. We could make amazing flowers out of them. They'll go very well with the uh, amethyst that we had earlier, won't they? Won't they? VLGP30 is your item code for these. Don't think about how you're horrible to your cousins when you're growing up, because it is part of growing up, because if that's the case, you can't, you'd feel guilty about everything. I used to tickle my cousin Duncan until he wet himself. And I used to do it all the time and I knew he was gonna wet himself. You told him you were famous pop singers and he knew you all your life and he believed you. Well, I feel like he's got, he's a very trusting, lovely person. Now, I hope you're there to defend him against, you know, people who might take advantage of his trusting nature. He doesn't hang around with us anymore. None of their family speak to them anymore. So not even at Christmas. They're evil twins, these two. Forget Beavis and Butthead, think the craze. <laughs> not really, now. But if you get married, you'll invite them to your weddings, right? You will. These together again, you have to have that Amazonite strand. It just goes, seems to go with everything. Uh, these are great for baby feeding bracelets. If you have a little girl, this would be ideal. Something like that, especially, oh my gosh, my voice has got a touch of the croakiness. All of us, thanks a lot, Ben. You're welcome. <clears throat> Please do excuse me. Oh, I'm back, I'm back. But slightly deeper than I was before. Just slightly. Pink 04 graduated faceted rondelles. Two by one to four, four by three. Dragons and dinosaurs aren't the same thing. One descended from the other. What happened was the people of ancient times went, oh, look, there's something in this cave. Let's call it a dragon. But it was the last ever dinosaur. HCR U92, that's what I think anyway, because they're too similar. They're too similar for it to be a coincidence. How do you know dragons aren't real? You just said that about dinosaurs. I've never not found dragon bones. HCR United. <laughs> if you can't prove to me there were no dragons, like literal proof, there could be anything. We don't know everything. And don't forget, we can only go as far into space as fuel will allow. There could be a whole other world with a load of things that people talk about, but what's happened is one of them has come to Earth. You just don't know. There could be an Earth somewhere and they're just looking at us going, they're doing all that wrong. You just don't know. I don't think they're looking at us. I think they'd make themselves aware, but I think that's why we're like, I saw something. It's a theory, but we'll never find other life because for... Oh, it's, um, There's a theory that we'll never find other life because, because by the time, that we get to, by the time we, we get to a point where we could, we'll have, we'll have planet, destroyed our planet. We'll destroyed our own planet. So this, People will come back and visit Earth and be like, this used to inhibit lots of creatures. It's definitely other things, definitely. It's, it's almost impossible for there not to be life somewhere. Yeah, there's got to be life somewhere. I can't. And if we do find each other, what then? We're getting quite deep. Will they like us? Will they look like us? Will they be naked and be like, why, why have you got things on? We were saying this earlier. We're wearing clothes. Are they necessary? Five pounds 95, HCR, U92 is your item code. But it could be that we find a planet and the opposite has happened and they've destroyed their planet and it's proof to us that we've got to stop destroying ours. I don't know. Again, these are my theories. They're absolutely not based on fact or truth. Now, just theories. Lapis lazuli, one of those gemstones that we just get mesmerized by. It's amazing, it comes from this earth, which is 
amazing about all gemstones, I think. It's a gemstone that gives you, oh, it is lapis blue. That's where the term comes from in fashion, in painting. Lapis is crushed down and you can use it to paint with, or, or they did use it, or they do use it. They used to use it for, um, for makeup. I'm not sure if that still goes on to this day, but to give you, the Egyptians used it together with turquoise because it gave you that striking color. SXG P18 Lapis Lazuli 300 carats for £12.95. pence. Those natural star inclusions are created by Pyrite. So you've got a lot to love about this gem. So there's a lot of myth and legend if you believe in that kind of thing and you want to go and research it, um, then please do do that. £12.95. pence. I said do do, yes. Is this Russian diopside? Oh, so chrome tourmaline is found, it's from Russia though, right? With love. Oh, it's from Madagascar. Okay, but doesn't it look like Russian diopside? It looks very, very similar to Russian diopside and it goes so strikingly well with those deep, deep purples of the amethyst that I've got for you. Now, if you love Russian diopside, but of course it is a, it's quite a considered gemstone, this is going to be one for you. Tourmaline, we know, comes into, in so many different arrays of colours. I think it's one of the most colourful gemstones ever, isn't it, Tourmaline? It comes in, it, we really go through the colour spectrum. This is going to look amazing with those rubelite reds too, isn't it? Uh, 10 carats of chrome tourmaline, 3B1 to 3 by 2 Now, if this was Russian diopside, there'd be a 1 in front of the price that I'm about to give you. If you love the look of Russian diopside, but you just can't stretch those prices, then this is an absolutely perfect alternative. £24.95, so under £25 gets you something that's going to give you that wow factor. It's going to give you that colour. You're getting all those incredible chrome greens. Uh, now we're going to press on. Well, we're being very quick. We've got lots to get through, you know. These are lovely. And you've got a real nice texture on these. Of course, they're dyed to give this color. Well, I say, of course, I give you gemstones that aren't dyed and they're a fabulous color. Uh, these are dyed to give you the color. You've got this beautiful blue varicite. These are plain rounds. I, I don't like that terminology. I think we should call them smooth rounds because when you look at this, you don't go, they're plain. You go, wow, they've got incredible texture. They've got this incredible lacing. They've got a face in them that looks like it's screaming. Look. They are smooth, look. Two eyes, ah, mouth. It's very scared. Sorry, when you came back, I was like that. Gorgeous. 9.95. They're lovely, aren't they? Uh, NEP 013. I go straight into stretchy bracelet, I think, or earrings. Matching earrings, indeed. Lovely colours. Think about putting these in your macrame. Think about putting these pearl knotting in between them. Think about putting these with a, a bright pink if you want. These will go really nicely with Nadia's kit that she had. Now, we're going to give you the deal of the day. Let's see the deal of the day on the spinny thing. Should we spin it? We'll spin it. We'll just spin it. I feel like Chris isn't even there. He's not. He's not there. What have you got in your hand, Ben? A rat? Oh, an owl. Oh, you thought this was a rat yesterday. It's because you were holding it like it had a tail. Uh, There's an owl outside here, and when you drive out, you see it. It's amazing, isn't it? So cool. Yeah, it flies around and around the car park every night. Okay, we have got for you our deal of the day. Beautiful garnets. Now, actually, I've got one of these on me because uh, Carol and Carol and Gemma left me with this uh, gallery wire piece, which is from one of these garnets. And my goodness, they really, really lend themselves to the gallery wire. I think the gallery wire may have all sold out, but just have a look. It's fabulous, isn't it? Together with that gallery wire. Yes, it's a, an exceptional. You've got multi shapes. Gallery wire is great. Let me just get that little thingy print off. Oh, I do love these. Isn't that lovely? 
Isn't gallery wire just the best because it's like zero effort and then that, that could go straight into a ring? It looks so high end and it, um, it does make light work of something that would ordinarily be really, really hard to do because these are quite delicate. Um, another way of using these, of course, is to pop them into your uh, precious metal clay. Julie's got hers from Bromsgrove. This is your deal of the day. IKVR83 is your item code. Seven, seven carats and you've got the um, faceted multi-shape assortment and you've got them for under 15 pounds. So that is your deal of the day. And we just wanted to give you a reminder of it because we've only got a few of those left. They launched these. Look at that color. It's like a pomegranate seed, isn't it? Um, and of course, Garnet is January's birth gemstone. We know that's that's your price. There it is. It's been your price all day. Um, these are only available at best price for today. The price will go back up tomorrow. Fourteen ninety-five. What does it go back up to? Seven carats of thirty-four ninety-five. It will go back up to tomorrow. So if these sell out, gone. Otherwise, if you come back in and think, oh, I'll get them tomorrow, the price will go back up. Um, so this is your deal of the day, and they are absolutely. Gorgeous. I'm going to leave these. Now, Ben, they want those on the side so that everybody can um, okay. have a good old look at them throughout the, uh, throughout the day. Now, we're going to give to you... some ruby. Look at that colour. Ruby. Friends as precious as rubies. That's how JK Rowling described her friends, as precious as rubies. Rubies are precious. Do you know um, Henry VIII used to favour rubies as well and he used to like some very high-end things. I mean, it's probably... I mean, don't be like Henry VIII, but but you know he was extravagant and you know that he loved rich things and showing off. So rubies were definitely on the agenda. Delicious deep reds. July's birth gemstone. Five carats of precious ruby. Menvi, 15, and you will have Menvi. 28 pounds and 95 pence. M-E-N-V-15. When you look at another man and you think, wow, he looks good, do you get men V as a man? No, Ben, you get men V, don't you? Hi. Oh, we like twins. We like twins. <laughs> That's how I said it. We do like twins. <laughs> 28, you get hair envy. I get food envy when somebody's ordered something better than me. It's always my daughter, she always knows that. And I'm like, oh, I've got food envy. Your Magok Ruby in graduated plain rondelles are two by one to three by two on an eight centimeter strand. We're gonna continue on, we're running out of time. That's a new song I just sang. Now, run out of time. Who said I've been well behaved today? Obviously you've only just tuned in because if you saw earlier, I'd like you to keep that on for the, the remainder. Lucy says, gosh crew, what have you done to our Jenny today? So well behaved. Or is it your bracelet? Lots of love. Do you know what I was saying about that bracelet, Lucy? It has made a difference. And I, this is just me and I'm not preaching it and all of that. But I've been really able to not get too stressed about situations and actually just go, don't matter, don't matter, just let it go. Um, no, we did have um, a few meltdown situations. Nadia um, accidentally mixed up the gummy bears and mixed up the two first letters. What did I say earlier? I'm not repeating that. What was I talking about? I don't know. I don't know what I said. But, um, but thank you for saying that, Lucy. But if you do rewind, you'll find some moments, I'm afraid, of um, hysteria. They were big moments, were they? 
the crew are saying they were big. Well, I was talking about, no, it wasn't, it wasn't what you just said. I was talking about, um, we had a nutty tone of a strand that was so gorgeous. And then I was talking about, oh, I love a walnut. I love um, hazelnuts and I like, I like um, dipping them in Marmite. I thought it was really nice. And, um, and of course, you know, it went, yeah, whole nuts in mama. You know, it was just, it just went a bit wrong. Um, so that was a bit of a situation. Just to give you an, you know, I mean, not to repeat what I've done wrong and, and therefore strengthen the case against uh, firing me. Perhaps I should stop talking now. I didn't bring it up. XGG P08, 14 pounds and 95 pence. But if you are looking for a carb-free crunchy snack, I would definitely go with what I just said. If you miss Marmite on toast, other spreads are available. Then dip some raw cauliflower in Marmite. It's absolutely delicious. You can eat raw cauliflower. Only in dipped in Marmite taste, it's so good. But breath-wise, it's not probably the best. I mean, if you want to kiss someone. Oh, Hazel thinks white tigers can breed. But we don't know for sure. Liger, what's that, a lime tiger? You can't get ligers. What, a lion and a tiger? I never knew that. I did not know that. Does that mean a cat can breed with a lion then? No, because they're too big, aren't they? Oh, ligers. Hmm. You do learn new things all the time, you know, don't you? XGG P08, 640 carats of gorgeous amethyst. These slabs are going to work really well with the, um, do you remember the labradorite we had earlier in slabs? That'll work really well together. Under 15 pounds, can't be argued with. 640 carats for an incredible price. XGG P08. I've got a real weird feeling today. Is it, is it thundering outside or something? It's not, is it? It's actually quite nice. Too cold for thunder, okay. Mm, funny. Now, no, I said earlier, I feel like there's gonna be a news flash of something. Something weird's gonna happen. I don't know, maybe not. Look at that sparkle. Look at the shine that you get from inside these amethysts. They're just beautiful. Incredible clarity. Well, the other day I said the ghost's name and I've never knew it and you went and researched what it was and that was the name I said. So that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Pink amethyst, graduated plain rondelles with glow. I wouldn't call this necessarily pink, I'd call it, ouch, it just bit me. <laughs> it bit me. No, it's, there's a big spiky bit where, it, where the, the tail end comes out and it just stabbed me, it didn't bite me. Amethyst does not bite. The glow from these, I'd call it like a lilac. I don't think these are a lavender. Oh, I love lavender. That's what I want for my bees, it is. 12.95 EVR U01. Lepidolite. Lepidolite. Hmm. These have deep, 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 deep purples in them. And you've got, you get amazing. Amazing colours. Deep purples, whites, sandy tones. I think you want to put these in a wire wrap piece, three together, earrings to match. Definitely. I think it'd be a great idea. Now, you've got... A graduation, six, six to 12 millimetres on the graduation, these are 16 centimetres on the strand. Now, you've got, you've got the top drills here. 
so these are going to work to your advantage in many ways these could be charms these could be earrings these could go up the other way if you wanted to you could encase these in wire gallery wire is definitely an idea prong setting these is an idea FZVX79 is your item code. Becky is waiting in the wings. Very quiet today, Becky. She's coming over so quiet and very respectful. £12.95, because if that's me, I'm like, hiya, 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 down the microphone at her. <laughs> um, just a lovely strand and a really, really pretty. These remind me of pressed flowers. You know when you were young with your granny and you used to put them in between books and then open them? There'd be like a vice on them. I used to love doing that with my gran. Uh, really, they've got that kind of, it's kind of like a, a memory strand like that. Then don't forget this show does roll into another. The Late Show is coming up for you. Mel and Becky promise to bring you thorough entertainment. Liam's coming in with a whole bag of goodness, aren't you, Liam? Apparently, apparently, Liam, you are very excitable today. Am I? Yeah, apparently you've had too many E numbers. Yeah, I've got another lolly as well. Oh, oh, he's got a double liquor. That's what they're called, those lollies, double liquors. Right. If you look at it, yeah. Oh, yeah, double lollies. Yep. Yeah. FZV X79 is right to go for these £12.95. Keyword for the late show, please, Liam. What have you got coming up? Rhubarb that I've... size. Rhubarb. Huh? What did you say? Rhubarb site. Chrome diopside. Oh, chrome diopside didn't sound anything like rhubarb site. Eighty nine ninety nine. Is it lower than eighty nine ninety nine? Lower than sixty pounds. Yeah. Lower than sixty pounds. Oh my! Uh, it is Halloween tomorrow. Will you be doing some Halloween deals tonight? On the cusp of that, Liam. Liam's next to me. Okay. He said, "Sure, sure." There he is. Look at the cuteness. Look at him. He's had a haircut. Look. Ah, that's close. Aww. he's Bye. cute. Bye, darling. FZBX79. Uh, uh, we've had such a fun day today, haven't we? We have had too much fun in some of the cases. Um, so if you don't see me again, that'll be why. Too much fun had. Um, I've loved your company this evening. I will be back on Friday, maybe with some tales of what's happened to me on Halloween. Maybe not. I don't know. Only, only time will tell. But don't go anywhere because, of course, the wonderful Mel Green is up with the fabulous Becky and it promises to be a fabulous show. <laughs>